Ringo TV Reactions, back at you again with another one. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Let's get to work. Y'all niggas buy that paper. 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 Yeah. True man, I'm free. I wake up a new episode. I pop a cleaners, keep me up a level, though. She talk to me like I'm not me. I get it, though. Yeah, I'm so eclectic, I'm me to the credits Roll talk down to me, they might have this in medical I'm out the league, I'm OD, they pathetic Though look how I move, I'm protected Saw these souls wanting my presence The world going through it outside, they ain't really But I keep it cool, they can't press me I keep it pure with intention They see what I'm on, ain't no vixen I might slide through with that top down I keep it tuned with a high power Put it on me, I'm blessed Young nigga blessed Big bag, manifest the sky, no stress Keep no evil around me, can't ground me I built it since when I had less no hex on God can't pause, nigga. Look at how far we progress. Whatever we doing, we keeping it fluid. I don't see a thing. Nigga, buy that paper. On the jet, had a switch to the coast. One of a kind, I've been playing that role. They pay me to play me, I needed it for. It's real if I said I meant what I spoke. I'm legend, it's written, I shake up the city. Spin black till I'm dizzy, won't ever go broke. I'm chose, I must like the way that top down. I keep in tune with a high power. Put it on me, I'm blessed. Young nigga, blessed. Big bag, manifest the sky, no stress. Keep no evil around me, can't ground me. I built it since when I had this. No hex on God, can't pause. Nigga, look at how far we progress. Whatever we doing, we keeping it fluid. I don't see a thing about that paper. Y'all niggas buy that paper. Y'all niggas buy that paper. Y'all niggas buy that paper. Put it on me, I'm blessed. Big bag, but I'm just got out of stress. Can't ground me on notice since when I had this. Yeah, how far we progress? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back. We're back again. I had to change a setting on the stream. My apologies, my apologies. But we are back. Again, before we had to restart the stream, um, I had to make mention that I'm a little under the weather but I have to get this work done. Now, one thing you have to understand about me is that I expose false prophets. I expose false teachers. This is my specialty. I'm blessed to do this. And one thing we have to understand is the truth. There's a problem going on in society right now on social media where we have people that are misrepresenting the scriptures, rep misrepresenting the most high, and they're selling you a gimmick. And it's time for that to end. Now, once I finish this live stream, I promise you the said individual that we will be reviewing is in a lot of trouble. One, because when Ringo TV do a video breakdown to review your content to see whether or not you're in this truth and it is found that you don't really follow the most high, then your viewers are going to question you. Now, to the viewers of said individual, because we believe in making sure that you know who we're talking about. 
That's why I have the individual's name in the title, because this individual is proclaiming themselves as a chosen one. Now, what I am doing here is called commentary and criticism, which is protected under the fair use doctrine, which says a person can use your content for purposes of news reporting, teaching, criticism, and so and so forth. And that's what I'm exercising here. Said user has been pushing this ideology of chosen one throughout YouTube, TikTok, and so on and so forth, creating a following of people that believe he's sent from God. My job is to verify and put said individual under public scrutiny to verify if he is who he say he is. My job is to test the spirits to see if they be of God. Because if you are listening to this individual and it has come to find out that he's not following the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but he's using said talking point chosen one. And he's alluding to the idea that he is somehow some prophet, some teacher, some guy who is sent to motivate you. You have to question the authenticity of this individual. And if said individual don't welcome criticism or feel threatened by criticism, that's a red flag. I mean, if I teach something on YouTube, I would expect anybody to run it across the scriptures. I would expect anybody to challenge the things that I say. If you feel you can prove me wrong by the Bible, then do so. I'm not afraid of criticism. I'm not afraid of public scrutiny. I'm not afraid of anything because anything that I utter from my mouth or speak through this platform, I got to also be concerned with the fact that there will be people that will disagree, agree, or have questions about the things that I teach. So as a teacher of truth, if I'm afraid of the criticism, if I'm a, if I'm concerned with the possibility of being wrong and instead I want to play the victim, that's a red flag that you shouldn't be listening to me because a man of truth is not afraid of battle. He's not afraid of conflict because he can hold his own. But as a leader, if you notice that your teacher your pastor is afraid when people begin to question their ideology. That is a red flag that it's time to turn them off because it means that they're not really true. Do you understand? What I am going to do here is only one time because when I expose False teachers, I don't need a hundred videos, just one. Once you finish hearing this live stream, you're going to know beyond a shadow of doubt that this guy do not follow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You're going to know that with pure facts. You're going to know that with the receipts that I will bring. You're going to hear from his own testimony. Now, this entire live stream is for educational purposes. What we're doing is a full breakdown that is for scholarship. Because in this community, we have a lot of people that are not paying proper just due respect to Brother Newbreed Global Truth. 
Brother New Breed been in these YouTube streets teaching on chosen ones for many, many years. He's the pioneer of the talking point, which come from the Bible. But he's the one that pushed that talking point through these YouTube streets. So whenever you see anybody on social media talking about chosen ones, chosen one this, hey, chosen ones, chosen ones, you know, we got to live out chosen. Anytime you hear that, they got it from Brother Newbury. And this is why I said in my recent video, I talked about how if there's any content you should be listening to when it regards to Chosen One, New Breed Global Truth, Mark the Messenger, Ringo TV Reactions. Because when we understand and talk about this topic, it is about the chosen people of the Most High. It is about causing people to repent from their sins. It's to wake people up to the reality of the work that they got to do in terms of ministering to the people. It's about the lost sheep. It's about the people that were scattered all over this globe that came out of the transatlantic slave trade. The chosen people of the Most High. They have a special work. They're a peculiar people. But on social media, the talking point chosen one has now turned into a gimmick. It has now turned into a marketing cliche phrase, a catchphrase that put people in a trance that as soon as you hear chosen one, you become hypnotized. It is now to the point on social media, everybody believe they're a chosen one. You got various content creators that are using this talking point, not because they're trying to help you to overcome your sins, not because they're trying to wake up the lost sheep, not because they are ministering the gospel of truth, but it has become a business. It has become a way to hustle the people. That's what it has become. And speaking of hustle, right? Speaking of hustle, let me do this real quick because it was something very telling that I seen and I have to, I have to go to this fam. Let me see if I could do this real quick. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can type this in real fast. Um, because I got to show you this. I got to show you this beyond a shadow of doubt fam. I got to show you this. I got to show you this fam because it's one of them things where it's like, wow. You, you got to see it to believe it for yourself. Let me turn this volume off right here. Let me do this. Hold on. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. Because I know I seen it, but I got to find it just so I can show it to you. This particular, a particular comment that you must see, because before we begin, it's very important. Okay, I think I found the comment. Okay, let me get let me gather this comment. This particular comment was posted on the said individual's YouTube channel. Now, the reason why we got to do this particular video is because said user made threats at brother new breed i was going to stay out of this i was going to stay out of this one because i believe that brother new breed can hold his own but i have to do this because said individual has taken this type of situation to another level and i don't like it i really don't like it he made threats to run to Google with false, false allegations that New Breed threatened to harm him, which is a lie. He claimed that New Breed is cyberbullying him, which is a lie. He claimed that New Breed hates him. That's a lie. 
all new breed done is simply react to a video, which is what we can do on social media. And being that I'm a veteran in these YouTube streets, I've been here since 2006, way before everybody. I already know the community guidelines and I know what one can or can't do. But now let me show you this before we get into this wonderful live stream full of nothing but truth. This is going to be the best video breakdown you will ever see. Trust and believe that. I always deliver on my words. This comment was posted on his recent video. Somebody came in there and made this comment. And I want to read this before we begin. Under his recent video where he made threats to go to Google to snitch on Brother Newbreed, and we're going to get to that particular video clip in this particular live because what this show is that you're a leader is not really as strong as they claim to be because men men of truth they don't run to massa to make false complaints they hold their own because they're teachers of truth do you understand and the sad thing about this is that he taught chosen ones so many things of what to do if haters are coming, how to avoid people, ignore haters, ignore people that talk about you. But he never put it into practice. These are the things that we got to talk about, because if if Tren is your leader, he should be able to practice the things that he's telling you to do. It's no different than the Christian pastor. If the Christian pastor tell you to do one thing, but he's not doing it, come on now. But now let's read this comment. This particular individual, Forever Blessed 4032, wrote this comment to Trent and said, Brethren, honestly, you seem triggered. He was right. This whole video, you were on some worldly jazz. Not once did you refer to the Most High for protection or to handle the situation, the first thing you said was Google this and that. This is the guy that you crowned your leader. He said he's gonna to go to Google because he don't like the fact that people talk about him. But don't he always tell you folks that as a chosen one, people are gonna be talking about you and how you need to just avoid them, ignore them. Well, why he's not doing that? See, the problem, ladies and gentlemen, is not that anybody is doing anything to him. The problem is he don't want public scrutiny. He don't want to be questioned because his works are evil. He can't come into the light. He can't. And speaking of light, let's get that from the Bible because this is a biblical-based live show. And one thing I've learned about Tren is that he don't really like Bible. He don't like the scriptures. Let's find out what it says about the light. Let's find out about that. Because it's very clear that he's not with the most high and my job is to prove that. That's my job. So let's get this Bible verse so that we could do what we need to do. Because one thing I don't want is for believers that believe in the most high to be led astray. And as a believer of truth, you have to put on your thinking caps and be able to distinguish between good and evil. If not, you're going to be led astray. Right? So, let me get this on the screen for you before we begin. Very important. This is very, very important. Right? Very, very important information here. 
Let me take a screenshot. The Bible says all things must be proven. Prove all things. That's what I'm doing by the Bible. If you're a believer, you would know that it's your job to come from the scriptures, not from your opinions, not from your belief system that you conjured up. You got to come from the, the word of the most high. If not, you're just a, a, a tinkling symbol, just making noise. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 18 to 21, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light. Why? Because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. That would explain uh, Brother Trent. He is afraid of the light. He hates the light. That's why when brothers begin to speak in regards to his doctrine, rather than him stand firm as a man and show his audience that he is a man, instead, he cry wolf and say people are bullying him when that's not the case. We don't practice that. We don't condone bullying. We don't send people to his platform to do any of that. We educate and stimulate thought. That's what we do over here. We're simply reviewing his content to see whether or not trend is following the trend of the most high. And if he's not following the trend of the most high, then who is he following? And why are you following him? Now, let's continue reading. It says, For everyone that doeth evil hate the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. See, when a man is true, when a man represent the Most High, and somebody call him out, or somebody criticize him, or somebody call him to the spotlight, that man will begin to come to the light and say, hold up, let me see who's calling me out. Oh, new breed calling me out? Okay, cool. Let me see what he's saying. And then respond like a man. Ringo calling me out? Okay, let me respond like a man so I can bring forth my case so that my audience can see that I'm a man of truth. But if that particular man says, you know what? I'm going to run to YouTube to try to shut your channel down. You got to question that guy, that guy. You got to question. So hold up. Nobody could. So let me get this straight. So you're above reproach, which means you could be doing something wrong. And an elder brother in this truth tries to correct you. And as soon as he tried to correct you, you see that as cyber bullying. And this is the guy that's giving you information. Now, let's get back to this comment here before we get into this masterful production. Because like I said, I got nothing but receipts. I'm the best in the game when it comes to exposing false prophets. And I can guarantee you that this guy, Trent, he know who Ringo is. Trust and believe that. Everybody do. In these YouTube streets, trust and believe that. Now, he act like he didn't know who Brother Newbreed is. Come on. I don't know what it is with people. It's like they're afraid to call out people's names. Fam, I'm calling your name. Your name is in the title. Because you're the subject of discussion. And your viewers are going to know this. So if you're really a chosen one, if you're really a man of truth, then 
based on the truth, you should know what the Bible says regard, regarding these issues. I find it sad that you proclaim to be a chosen one. You're trying to lead people and teach people. But when real teachers of truth call you to the carpet, you play victim. Where's your knowledge? Where's your truth? Where's your God? Where is all of the things that you've taught people to do? How come you're not applying it? You know why you're not? Because it's a gimmick. It's just a way to make some money. Just like this individual in the comments said. The individual in the comments said, very clear, that uh, there's also a difference between teaching and motivational speaking. And to teach God's word, you have to actually read the Bible. The Most High God doesn't deal with crystals or tarot cards. That's witchcraft and blasphemy in his eyes. I thought you knew that. As a black man, I can't knock how another man feeds his family. Just keep it 100. This is a hustle. Now, somebody in his comments called him out and said, fam, just call, just say that you hustling the people. Just say that you're just doing typical of what other hustlers do. He said, keep, keep tickling them ears, though. It's working, I guess. This came from somebody that commented under his video. The person can see that he's hustling the people. But now the question that I have for the viewers is how come you can't? How come you can't see that you're being hustled? I'm going to tell you why. Because you don't read the Bible. And when you have people that are leading you that don't even read the Bible themselves, what we have is the blind leading the blind, which is what the Bible speaks of. The blind leading the blind. And that's where we're at right now. Now, again, when I do my commentary and my criticism, understand that I am very thorough. I break everything down to the smallest molecule. This is very, very easy for me to do. So as you come into the stream, we have 224 in the building. Let's get those likes to 224. We need everybody that watch his content to see this video because again what we're doing is we're trying to see whether or not trend is truly a chosen one sent by god that's what i want to know now i know the truth already but do you know the truth is trend a chosen one sent by god this is what you should be asking so without further ado you waited long enough. Let's get into this particular tape. We're going to break this thing down. We have a lot of content to go over, scriptures, and so and so forth. A lot of information we're about to break down. And all of these things are his words. By your words, you will be justified. And by your words, you will be condemned. Trend. My name is Ringo. Ringo TV. A real chosen one sent to do this work. And now I'm going to do this work with you where we're going to prove whether or not you are sent by God. We're going to hold your words to what the scriptures say. We're going to hold your words to see if it line up with Bible. And if it don't line up with Bible, then you were not sent by God. Understand, Brother Trend. I've exposed the likes of Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, Benny Hen, every TBN pastor, preacher, I exposed them all. And now, your file has come across my desk. And I don't like what I'm seeing. 
I don't like it. I seen your video that you made in response to New Breed, and I don't like it. It's a bad witness. It shows a lot of weakness. It shows that you're nervous. It shows that you realize that the men of truth are on to your game, that you're playing on the people. And as men of truth, we can no longer sit back and watch you pretty much mislead the people and lead them captive. We can no longer sit back and watch that. So the jig is up. Now, what you choose to do, you could do whatever you want to do. But we're going to do this content because this content is the content that chosen ones are supposed to understand. And again, New Breed is on a mission to destroy the talking point chosen one because it has been watered down. It has been misused. It has been defiled. And it has no more flavor anymore. Because now it's used as a marketing tool to make money. They don't care about your soul. They don't care about your sins. They're not trying to really save the people. They're using different types of ideology, Egyptology, various science, witchcraft, and they're mixing it all in. And it's now to the point where everybody on social media is calling themselves a chosen one, which is a total disrespect to the chosen people of the Most High, according to the scriptures. Let's get into this tape, fam. Once you hear this, you're going to automatically know the truth. The choice is yours. Now, without further ado, get the volume up. Everything looks good. Let's hear from his own mouth. From his own mouth, he is going to describe what and who is a chosen one. Now, again... He got the talking point from Brother Newbreed. Number Brother Newbreed started the talking point, chosen one, on social media. And from there, various other creators started to copy. They copied the man's style. They copied the man's titles. They copied the man's intellectual property. They copied everything from the brother to the point where it's frustrating. And a lot of you folks that view all of these other creators... You look at Brother Newbreed as if though he's jealous. Let me explain something to you about jealousy. Jealousy is good and bad. Let me say that again. Jealousy is good and bad. Oh, you need scripture for that? Okay, let me get that for you. You said you need scripture for that, right? All right. Let me get that for you. Jealousy is good and bad. It all depends on the context. Let's get that. Let's get that. All right? Let's get that, fam. Because a lot of people love to say everybody is jealous of this, jealous of that, jealous of this, jealous of that. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to prove this by Bible. Everything I talk about will be proven by Scripture. Not my opinions. By the Bible. Right? Right? Okay, we got three scriptures for you. Three scriptures proven that jealousy is good. Three. Out of the mouth of three witnesses, let every word be established. So that's what the Bible says, right? Okay. Let's get that on the screen for you. Check it out. One. Let's get it. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 16. They provoke him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations. Provoke they him to anger. Who are they provoking? The Most High Yah. Exodus chapter 34, 14. 
for thou shalt worship no other God, for the Lord whose name is jealous is a jealous God. Deuteronomy 4.24, for the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. People are going around saying that Brother Newbreed is jealous. If he is, he has a right to be. What does jealousy simply mean in context? When something belongs to you that someone else have taken or stolen. If you're a married man and another man lays with your wife, it will make you jealous. Why? Because another man have what belonged to you. The Most High do not want us worshiping false gods. Why? Because your worship belongs to him. Come on now. Come on. And this is something that people don't understand. And to the clown that's talking about uh, Future the Rapper, we're talking about Chosen One in the respect to Scripture. Do you understand or you're slow? Well, I first heard Chosen One from Future. So are you suggesting that Future is talking about the Bible? Is that what you're, is that what you're referring to? Do you know how long New Breed been on YouTube? Did you go do the research? Do you know how long New Breed been on YouTube? You're crediting a rapper? Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. But anyway, fam, let's get to the point here, man. Let's get back to the point because this just goes to show why people are lost. Now, that being said, the Most High is a jealous God. If you have or own something and someone else take what belongs to you, it's supposed to make you jealous. That's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. Even God himself said that he's a jealous God. Why? Because if we're supposed to be worshiping him, but instead we're following false gods, that's going to make him jealous. So wouldn't it make you jealous if somebody steal from you, take what belong from you, and they're, they're gaining everything that's supposed to be yours? They're gaining what belongs to you. That will make you jealous. So to all you folks that are saying, oh, New Breed is just jealous. You're this, you're that. You're acting like something is wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. See, you think jealousy is something that's wrong. No. When something rightfully belongs to you and you are the originator of something and someone pervert what you did or started and now they're using it for monetary gain, they're mocking God and they're mocking you. And that's what Trent is doing. That's what a lot of content creators are doing. If you go on YouTube and you type chosen one, you'll get a plethora of videos from various people using this, this trigger word, chosen one, to put you in a trance. Because once you hear chosen one, you all think you're a chosen one. Chosen for what? What are you chosen for? What are you chosen for? Who chose you? What makes you think you are a chosen one? Where did you get that from? What's going on? What is your purpose as a chosen one? From the Bible. You don't know, right? Of course you don't know. Because you're not chosen. And that's the problem. So now, let's hear Tren teach what a chosen one is. Let's find out from what he believes. Because again... What we're trying to figure out, ladies and gentlemen, in this video review, is Tren a chosen one sent by God? Is he? 
or is he a false prophet? I believe he's a false prophet. I believe he's a false prophet sent by Lucifer to mislead the chosen people for profit, which is typical of what these churches do. Your TD snakes, your Creplo dollars, the prosperity gospel, all the churches are doing is just getting money out of the people. Same thing on social media. Same thing. You got people that'll come in, wolf in sheep's clothing, present themselves as a minister of light, and deceive the people. How do you know someone is true from false? You got to know what the Bible says. Let's hear what he had to say. Let's go. What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Trent Genius. You tuned in once again, man. Look, so I'm making this video because I got a lot of people out there that, that keep hitting me up and they keep asking the same old question. And I know I done made like 10, 15 videos on this topic already somewhere in my archive, okay? But the question is, big bro, how do we know we're the chosen one? How do I know I'm the chosen one? How do you know you are a chosen one? He's going to tell us how you're going to know. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth to see if it be true. Listen, man, if you really want to know if you're chosen in this video, I don't know who you are. Okay? I don't know if you think that you're chosen. I don't know if you know for a fact you're chosen. But it's only 144,000 chosen ones. Okay? What? I'm going to say that one more time. Everybody is not chosen. All right? Most of, the, most of my subscribers, most of y'all are not chosen. Okay, it's only 144,000 chosen people in the whole earth. So let me get this straight. There's only 144,000 chosen people in the whole world. <laughs> Do you see why, ladies and gentlemen? Do you see why? Do you see why we got to do these videos? See, I do the research and I look through his videos because I wanted to find just one video of him pretty much exposing himself. Not by me doing anything. I wanted him to do this by himself. I wanted him to say something that I can use to prove that he don't know what he's talking about. This man literally went and he heard this. He didn't read this. He heard from the book of Revelations about the 144,000 that will be chosen from the 12 tribes for a particular purpose. But yet he's on YouTube telling everybody that they're chosen. Are you kidding me? This is not making no sense. Because when he starts his videos, he starts off, hey, chosen ones. <laughs> so you mean to tell me with 200 and plus thousand subs, only 144,000 of those subs are chosen? <laughs> I mean, we could just stop the live stream right here. He said, that's how you know you're chosen. And this is coming from a man that don't even read the Bible. He said it himself. We got the video where he literally said he don't read the Bible. He don't study the Bible. He don't even know the Bible. But this is what he believed. You know? 
And for all those that want to support the show, please use the Cash App. I already know who Moxie Approve is. Salute to that brother. Moxie Approve in the building. Appreciate the support, fam. Next time, please use the Cash App because we don't we don't shout out um, the Super Chats. There's no disrespect to anybody that used Super Chat. But you know how YouTube is, fam. They take 30 to 40 percent of everything you donate or support. So use the Cash App. Use the Cash App at the end of the stream. I'll shout out the uh, the cash apps. If you support via the super chat, I'm not going to be shouting you out. So, hey, do that at your own risk. You know what I mean? To make your comments stand out. But other than that, we're not going to keep shouting out people in the super chats. But I know who Moxie Approved is. I know some people might say, but hey, but you shouted him out. Listen, I shout out whoever I want to shout out. My point is I'm making the point. I'm making the point. So anybody after that, understand no shout outs. Use the Cash App because it distracts from what I'm doing. You see how I had to stop what I'm doing to talk about that? I don't want to keep doing that every minute. So please use the Cash App. That way we don't have to have no more interruptions. Thank you. Now, let's rewind back the tape. Let's rewind back the tape so we can listen to that again. Listen to him again. What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Tran Genius. You tuned in once again, man. Look, so... I'm making this video because I got a lot of people out there that, that keep hitting me up and they keep asking the same old question. And I know I done made like 10, 15 videos on this topic already somewhere in my archive, okay? 10, 15 videos he made already. 10, 15 videos he made telling people the same exact thing. Let's go. But the question is, big bro, how do we know we the chosen one? How do I know I'm the chosen one? Now think about that. People are coming to him, asking him, how do I know? He's not telling them, go read the Bible. He's not telling them, read what the Bible says. He's not talking about the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He's not talking about the 12 tribes. He's not talking about the people who came out of the transatlantic slave trade. He's not talking about the Israelites. He's telling them what he want to tell them. Let's go back to the tape. Let's go. Listen, man, if you really want to know if you're chosen in this video, I don't know who you are, Okay. I don't know if you think that you chosen. I don't know if you know for a fact you chosen, but it's only 144,000 chosen ones. Wow. Okay? I'm going to say that one more time. Everybody is not chosen. All right. Most of y'all, most of my subscribers, most of y'all are not chosen. Okay. It's only 144,000 chosen people in the whole earth. So in the whole earth, there's only 144,000 people. This is what he just said, y'all. That's crazy. So let me get this straight. So there's only 144,000 chosen ones according to him, but yet the people of the Most High, the biblical Israelites of the Most High are the chosen people, but he just said it's only 144,000. <laughs> this is who you're listening to. That's crazy. If there is only 144,000, how do you know you're one? He never answered the question. Let's get back to the tape. Let's go. All right. So I don't know if this, don't let this message offend you. Um, maybe maybe God is trying to work on you to get you to, to realizing that you are tr the true one, the chosen one. Notice what he said. Maybe God is trying to work on you to get you to that point. <laughs> Notice what it says in Revelation 7, 4. 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. The number of them which were sealed. Ain't none of you sealed right now. <laughs> and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes uh, of Israel. The tribes. That particular Bible verse is talking about a particular 144,000 that are chosen for a specific task. This guy don't know what he's talking about. Do you understand me? Because first of all, the people of the Most High, the melanated people of the Most High, who endured the transatlantic slave trade, the people who've been scattered all over the earth, the chosen people, the Bible says that their number is great. Do you understand me? What did he tell Abram? I'll make you father of many nations. 
You see that? But for some reason, he's telling you that the chosen ones are only 144,000. Well, if that's the case, how come he's not preparing those people for the work that they got to do? How come he's not preparing the 144,000 for the work that the book of Revelation says they got to do? Come on now. This is absolutely crazy. And this is why his viewers need to see this live stream. Because I'm breaking this thing down to the smallest molecule. Now, understand this. If you're a person with a short attention span, you won't even get past 10 minutes. This video live stream is for people of God, people that have the spirit of the Most High, the people who truly have been awakened to this truth. Because if not, you didn't even make it this far. You went to sleep. Because you don't love the word of the Most High. You love lies. You love smooth words. You like when people tickle your ears. As soon as the truth come out, you fall asleep. Listen. Okay, but this message is just for people that's wondering whether or not they are chosen. I'm about to tell you in this video right now, it has come to a climax. People have been asking me, what is it? How do I know? Here it goes. Okay, stay tuned through this whole entire video because you know your big brother Trans Genius got something very special for you. Okay, this, this shit about to be real powerful, what I'm about to tell y'all, okay? I, I, I never wanted to make this video. He said he never wanted to make the video. How could you say you never wanted to make the video if you're really a chosen one? That doesn't even make no sense. Fam, do you know how many times I get frustrated on social media when it comes to teaching truth and I say I'm not teaching no more? I'm not going to teach this truth. And I find myself still coming back to teach this truth. You know why? I have to. If I don't, the most high going to take me out. I'm not going to be able to make it. If I don't give you this truth, the most high going to cancel my ticket. If I don't teach this truth, the most high is going to rock my snot box. Shout out to Hassan Campbell. That's his talking point. Notice how I always give credit. Even though he a clown, I still give credit. <laughs> but I got to teach this truth. I cannot say I'm going to go fishing and not teach this truth no more. The most high going to jack me up. This guy said he didn't want to teach the message. Let's hear what he got to say. Because I don't want people to feel offended. Okay, but now since we got the dislike button to where... Hold up. You didn't want people to feel offended. So you want to... So hold up. So so you don't want people to feel offended. Oh, now I get it. Joel Osteen, right? <laughs> you don't want to offend nobody. So you tickle their ears. You tell them what they want to hear. You give them motivational speeches because you don't want them to feel offended. That's exactly what you do. That's exactly what you do. These haters can't feel like they doing something about disliking the video. I'm going to talk about it. OK, so listen, <clears throat> when you are a chosen one, when you are a chosen one, you will know it. You will know it ever since you was a kid. You will know it because the grace of God will be on your life. God so the grace of God will be on my life and I'll know it since I was a kid? God's hands will be on your life, okay? Really? Ever since a kid, you will know something strange is happening, okay? Ever since a kid, you've been knowing something is different about me from all these other people, you know? You always stood out. You, you always been the black sheep. You always been the one that's different. You always questioned things about life. You had an infatuation with the universe and the stars. and The, the universe? Once you start hearing people talking about the universe, you already know where they're going with that. And it's, you, you was an astronomer at a kid's age. An astronomer as a, at a kid's age. Get it, fam? Okay? This is how you know you're the chosen one, okay? Didn't nobody have to lay hands on you. It wasn't baptism in church. It, it, it wasn't a prayer that somebody gave you. It was none of that. Before you was born, God chose you. Really? Notice, no scripture, no Bible, He's just telling you what you want to hear. And keep in mind, all of that stuff that he just finished saying can relate to anybody. That can relate to anybody. Anybody could claim that. But that doesn't make you a chosen one. Let's go. Before you was born. So it was with you. It was with this power or this knowingness of being special or a chosen one. It's been, it's been with you ever since you was born. Really? Okay? Ever since you was born. All right? Um, and... <clears throat> Nothing can come upon you if you're a chosen one. No evil, no weapons, nothing. No, people can't get to you. You understand? Hold up. You just said people can't get to you, but you just threatened New Breed to go to Google because he made some videos calling you out. You just said if you're a chosen one, people can't get to you. But yet, because of some criticism, 
you want to run to YouTube to make bogus complaints about another creator because he's challenging what you're teaching. What does that say about you, sir? Let's go. If you're the real true chosen one, you will have you will have experienced this already. Nothing bad can happen to you. No diseases, no sicknesses, no voodoo spells, no Are you are you serious? This guy is literally saying that you can never get sick if you're a chosen one. <laughs> that nothing can happen to you. You're virtually invincible. This is crazy. Curses, none of that can work on you. You different. People have probably tried to put spells on you. People have tried to, uh, you know, fetch you rocks. People have probably tried to do so many things to you in the past. You probably had a lot of NDEs, near-death experiences, or whatever the case may be. It never works on you because you are different. You are the chosen one, specially selected by God himself. Specially selected by God himself. Specially selected for what? Specially selected for what? What are you selected for? You said in the opening of your video that there are only 144,000 chosen ones in this world. That's what you said. So now your viewers should question you on that. Because if there's only 144,000 according to you, how do your viewer really know and have confidence that as they listen to you, that they're truly a chosen one? Come on now. This is how you know that you're misleading the people with lies for profit. You have turned this into a gimmick because you really don't know God. You don't know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You have not repented of your sins, sir. You're not a teacher of biblical truth. So why are you using the term chosen ones? Why are you doing that? You didn't study the Bible to learn any of this. You've copied from other creators and you take bits and pieces from various religions, various talking points, and you turned it into a hustle where you can now profit from people that are delusional too, who are tossed by every wind and doctrine. That's what you're doing, sir. You're taking advantage of people that really don't know the truth. And you're making them believe that you're some sort of spiritual leader when really you're not. This doesn't even make any sense. If you're a spiritual leader and you claim all of the spirituality, why, when you're confronted by elders in this truth, you cannot come on YouTube as a man of knowledge and stand your ground so that your audience can see that you're knowledgeable in what you believe. Why would you threaten Brother Newbreed by making a false report which goes against community guidelines? Sir, in your community section, you violated YouTube's terms of service. You didn't know that? You made a post on your channel, in your community section, telling people to mass report Brother Newbreed. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This guy, Trent, violated YouTube's community guidelines. He literally orchestrated a hit on Brother Newbreed. He instructed his audience in his community section to go and make a false report about Brother Newbreed. That goes against community guidelines. You're not supposed to use your platform for that. I cannot tell my viewers to go and do anything to anybody. That's harassment. You can't do that. That's cyber bullying. You can't do that. You're attacking that person now. See, the very thing that he accused Newbreed of is what he's doing. Do you know, Brother Trent, if you two go to your platform right now and see that community post you make, you can get a community guideline strike. Just for that, you violated the terms of service because you're telling people to go and attack another man from your platform. You're not supposed to do that. Even if you have a disagreement with somebody, you're not supposed to orchestrate a hit on someone like that. You're going about it the wrong way. The way you handle business, sir, is if somebody call you out based on your teachings, the best thing to do is come on live and talk about what they're talking about to clear the air like men. But to tell your viewers to go and report another user, that's wrong, bro.
That's wrong. You lose credibility like that. Because what it shows is that you're a coward. What it shows is that you really can't stand on your own like a man. Criticism is a good thing. I welcome people to criticize me. I welcome anyone to challenge anything I say. Now, what I won't tolerate is people just making up lies and slandering my name. But if, if I say something and you challenge that, I welcome it. But I'm not going to go tell my audience, hey, you know what? I don't like that person. Report their channel. What does the Bible says? Do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. Is that what you want people to do to you? See, again, sir, you don't read the Bible because if you did, you wouldn't do that. How would you feel if every channel just start reporting all your videos and you lose your channel? You lose your livelihood. That wouldn't be nice, right? So why would you do that? How could you represent a chosen one and you're practicing evil? Why would you do that? You're wrong. And your audience need to know that. And anybody that would even follow that objective, that just proved that they don't even follow the most high either. Because anybody that's in this truth would know that what you suggested is evil. It's wrong. That's like everybody on your job report you to the supervisor with false, bogus statements that you never did. Let's get back to the tape, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. OK, so one of the first one of the first things that, that signifies that you're a chosen one. One of the first things that signify that you're a chosen one is what he's going to say. Let's see. It's just you a lucky person. So hold up. If I'm a lucky person, that makes me a chosen one. <laughs> The Bible says that when you're truly in Christ, you will suffer persecution. The Bible did not say anything about luck. The Bible does not say anything about you're a lucky person if you're a chosen one. The Bible do not say that. Nowhere in the Bible does it say chosen ones are lucky. When you're dealing with luck, you're dealing with chance. You're dealing with a different spirit. He said, if you're lucky, that's an indicator that you're a chosen one. That's not what the Bible says. Okay, if you experience nothing but luck, okay, from the moment you wake up to the time you go to sleep, it's like everything, it's like good luck all the time. All the time, you're the lucky one, okay? If you, if you write your name on the ticket and y'all doing a raffle, they gonna pull your name out. If you're the chosen one, or you're going to be the second winner or the third winner, you're going to be up in the running. You're going to be on the platform. You're going to win the, either the gold medal, silver medal, or the bronze medal. You're going to win one of them because you've always been a winner all your life because, like I said, you're the chosen one. You are blessed. You are anointed. Okay? Y'all got to understand what being blessed really means. A lot of people walk around talking about they're blessed, but they're really not blessed. First of all, this guy don't even know what blessed mean. Now, he just said you're lucky from the moment you wake up all the way to when you... uh get some rest or whatever the case is this is what this is what they're pretty much saying and it's crazy he said people claim that they're blessed but they don't really know the word blessed mean empowered to prosper that's what the word blessed mean empowered to prosper the word of the most high says nothing about luck nothing it don't say you're lucky if you're a chosen one. So where's he getting this ideology from? Where's he getting this from? From Lucifer. Let's go. Okay, they just think they are. They want to be blessed. They want to be a chosen one, but they not. Okay, if you look at their life, you can see you can see them, you can see so much toxicity in their life. Okay. Or so if anybody have problems in their life, they're not a chosen one, according to him. So according to him, if you got any hardship, any problems, any struggles, any issues going on in your life, in his mind, you're not a chosen one. You start talking to him, you can just hear so much evil coming out of their conversation. You know what I mean? You know they're not chosen because of what they're talking about. You know they're not chosen, okay? Chosen ones notice other chosen ones, all right? That's why chosen ones flock together. It's like notice how many times he says chosen ones. Notice he don't say biblical Israelites. Notice that. 
Notice that. This is why I am suggesting to Brother Newbreed, Mark the Messenger, you don't have to follow what I'm saying. You don't really have to. But if you're in this truth and you see the severity of this problem, it needs to be addressed. When brothers do videos, fam, we got to keep this thing strict, Israelites. We got to keep this thing what it says, man. We got to really literally stop using that term chosen one because everybody think they are. Everybody think they are and they're not. We got to keep this thing biblical. So when we address these type of things, don't use that catchphrase chosen one. Stop hypnotizing these people. These people are hypnotized. When they hear chosen one, they hear me. That's what they hear. Me. I'm a chosen one. And they're not even following the Bible. They're not even following the most high. So as men in this truth, we got to do what we got to do. Because we got cats like this that are misleading these people grossly. Literally making them believe that everything is, notice how many times he keeps saying chosen ones, chosen ones, chosen ones. It's embedded in your head to the point where you so believe you're this chosen one. He said in the beginning of the video, only 144,000 people are chosen. We got millions upon millions upon millions of people in this world. So you mean to tell me there's only 144? Then who is he talking to? It's a gimmick, people. This is a gimmick. No different than in these churches when they misleading the people. If you are a believer in the Most High, you got to be focusing on repenting of your sins, people. I know you don't like to hear that. I know you don't like to hear when brothers in this truth tell you, you got to repent of your sins. Brother, you got to stop watching corn. Brother, you got to stop beating the drum. Sister, you got to put down that rose toy. Sister, you got to stop sleeping around with all of those ninjas. Brother, you got to really take care of your kids. You can't be out here doing this wild stuff. You don't like to hear it. But if you truly born again, you would want to hear this truth. But see, that's what we need to bring back, the standard of righteousness. We got to repent. We have turned, well, not we, these charlatans have turned the chosen one talking point that Brother Newbreed started, which was for a righteous cause. They have turned it into a marketing gimmick to sell products, to sell courses, to sell one-on-one uh, -on -one consultations. This is what they're doing now. This very same brother have courses, consultations, where people are literally calling in, looking for answers. Those people should be going to Brother Newbreed. Those people should be going to Mark the Messenger. Those people should be watching my platform. You know why? Because we're doing the actual work. We're leading the people into righteousness. We're teaching the people to repent of their sins. They don't supposed to be going to men that don't even follow the Bible. It's like in today's day, people love hearing what feels good. They love hearing motivational speeches. They love hearing all of these type of talking points that really don't address their life in terms of following the most high. Let me tell you something, people. When I teach this truth, the power of the most high is upon me. I actually will wake people up out of their sleep to listen. Do you understand me? Because I'm breaking it down to the smallest molecule. I'm not making up things as I go. What we're trying to prove here is whether or not this brother is truly a chosen one. That's what we're trying to prove. Now, from his own mouth, he said, 144,000 people are the chosen ones. He said, nobody else. That's what he said. So how many people view YouTube? Millions. How do you know you're truly a chosen one? I talked about that in a previous video that I've done where I shared what a chosen one is because the Bible says many are called, few are chosen. People love quoting that one verse, but they don't quote all of the verses before that, which illustrates 
what a chosen one actually does. Chosen ones preach the gospel. Chosen ones teach people to repent of their sins. Chosen ones teach people to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. That's what a chosen one does. The chosen people of the Most High are the biblical Israelites that were lost sheep in the transatlantic slave trade, sold all over this world. This particular brother, Trent, taught people that they're reincarnated angels, reincarnated pharaohs. Pharaoh put the chosen people in bondage. Why would he tell people that they are chosen people and how they are reincarnated pharaohs? All we're doing is asking the questions, people. Now, again, to Brother Trend, if you're a man of truth, respectfully, why are you getting triggered because of Brother Newbreed calling you out? If you a man of truth, a man of integrity, and you got a following on social media, you got to stand your ground like a man. You don't come out on social media threatening the brother to go to Google. Like, come on, fam. If you know you hustling the people, just say you hustling the people. But don't go making false claims against a brother talking about, oh, you know what I mean? I'm going to Google because you're cyberbullying me. Bro, you're a grown man, bro. How is it that a brother can critique your commentary and you call that cyberbullying? Do you even understand? Did you graduate high school, bro? Did you graduate? Do you even know what cyberbullying mean? When have New Breed made a threat? When have New Breed physically tried to harm you? So why would you utter those words? That's wicked. Why are you playing the victim? If you're a man of truth and you're leading people, you're supposed to stand your ground like a man. I'm doing this content standing my ground. And when I talk, I make sure people know who I'm talking about. I don't act like I don't know who this is. When you did your video, bro, you can't even call out Brother Newbreed's name. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? If you stand your ground, your audience ought to be able to see that. You made many videos about chosen ones, but you're not even practicing none of the things you teach. You told your audience, ignore haters. Ignore haters people who talk about you. But you just can't seem to ignore the fact that New Breed called you out. And I know you're watching me right now. I know you are. Because the Heavenly Father will make you watch me. Because he know that when I do this work, I do it so well, so good, that I leave no stone unturned. See, it's not about me. I'm nothing without the Most High. I cannot do nothing without the most high. Do you understand me? Let's get back to this tape because we cooking fam. We are cooking. Like birds that fly south, they migrate and go south or whatever, you know what I mean, for the winter because they all on the same frequency. Same thing with chosen ones. Chosen ones, all right, they know each other by the fruit that they bear. They know each other. They he said they know each other by the fruit that they bear. What fruit? What fruit have you bear? You said that we know each other. I know you to be a false teacher. I know when I see a righteous brother of truth, you're not one. That's why I'm warning the people. The Bible says to warn the people of them that speak contrary to the faith. It says to mark them that cause divisions and have nothing to do with them. I'm marking this territory to make people know that you're misleading the people. You're not coming with the scriptures. You don't even read the book. So why are you calling these people chosen ones, making them think that you got a message similar to New Breed? Because the only reason why they're watching you is because they watch New Breed. And for some of these people, they stopped watching New Breed. You know why? 
because you make them feel good. You're not teaching them about their sins. You're a motivational speaker. You're, 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 you're a motivational speaker. You're not a teacher of truth. You're doing what these churches do. Tickle the airs, making people feel comfortable in their sins. When have you told people to repent? When? When have you told people, repent of your sins, overcome your sins. We got to keep the commandments. We got to follow the laws of the most high. When have you taught this? You don't. And don't even try to start teaching it now because you don't read the Bible. We'll know that you're just regurgitating what you heard me say, regurgitating what other brothers say. So you can't really teach what you don't know because it's going to come, it's going to come out. It's going to show that you're really not true. Again, anybody that watched this particular video is going to know automatically that Brother Trend is not a chosen one, but a charlatan sent by darkness to mislead the people. Because he distinctly said only 144,000 people are chosen ones. That's a lie. That goes against the Bible. That goes against the Bible. That's false. And they can feel the energy. It's something that, can, that, that only they can feel, okay? And so, you know, when you're the chosen one, if it, it started to feel after a while, you know, of your self-discovery or realization that you are the chosen one, it started to feel like your birthday is every day. Notice what he's talking about. It feels like your birthday is every day. Did he even talk about the Bible? Did he even mention the most high? Did he even talk about being born again? No. Yeah, you know how some people wait wait till it's holidays to celebrate and, or some people wait till their birthdays to have a good time or whatever. You be doing this every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing new to you to celebrate. It's almost like having so much fun to you, it's like something that you got to stop doing because you're starting to do it too much. That's how you know you're a chosen one. And the reason why that happens is because, like I said, once again, God's favor is on your life, okay? You live a life of complete abundance, okay? You Notice, a life of complete abundance. I've been on YouTube since 2006. 2006, teaching this truth. 2006 and I've always been the same from 2006 till now I've seen every content creator and I can tell you that this guy right here doesn't represent the most high yeah he do not represent the most high you live a life of prosperity you live a life of abundance you get everything you want you're like a spoiled little kid so a chosen one is like a spoiled little kid. Are y'all listening to this? What does the Bible say about pride and arrogance? Why would he say that the chosen ones are like spoiled little kids? Why would he say that? We're not spoiled. That don't even make no sense. Okay? You like rich and rich. All right. It's like intruders going to try to try to come rob you. People going to try to do this to you. They're going to try to make you feel bad. This is why people is this is if you are chosen. This is why people is so against you. This is why they this is why so many people try to do you wrong and they don't even know what they're doing. It. Fam, we all had people that tried to do us wrong. That anybody can relate to that. But see, that's what people fall victim to this nonsense is because he uses catchphrases and he uses circumstances that can relate to anybody. Everybody had issues where people tried to do something to them. That doesn't mean you're chosen. This is crazy, fam. But it's a spirit inside them. It's an evil, negative spirit inside people that is attracted to you. And so once they get around you and they, they, they try to take what you have, which is the being chosen, okay? And they try, to, they try to twist it up and they try to make you feel bad. They, they try to do anything they can do to make you feel like you owe them something. Or people will try to do anything that they can possibly do to try to make you feel like you are not important because they know you're important. They know you special. They they know they think about you constantly. They Are y'all listening to this madness? He said that people do things to try to make you feel bad. Don't you know that when you actually study the Bible and read the Bible, the Bible will make you feel bad when you're in sin? It's supposed to. But he's not coming from the Bible. That's why his audience are blind to the reality that he's really not true. Because they believe that for somehow, some reason, they believe that he's a man of God. They believe that he's some sort of spiritual teacher some divine chosen one sent to give them downloads. No, he's not.
The book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 15 says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Titus chapter 1 verse 11 says, Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. It's all for the check, guys. That's all. That's what it's for, fam. Let's get back to the tapes. No, they can't get you off their mind. They know this. So when you come in contact with so many people, this is why so many people always do you wrong. It's because they sense that you are totally different from anybody they ever met in their whole entire life. Fam, all of this nonsense he's talking about here is subjective and can relate to anybody. And so what they try to do is they try to make you feel like you are like them, like you're an average person. That's their whole goal. So an average person is, is nobody, but if you are above average, you're a chosen one. Sounds like the prosperity gospel to me. The whole goal is to make you feel like you're not as who, who you truly are, okay? So that's how you know that you're chosen. Uh, another thing that happens to, that to signifies that you're a chosen one is when you realize you don't need people to help you, okay? If you're the type of person who lives in codependency on other people, like you dependent on somebody to do this. You dependent on people. What are you talking about? You depend on your viewers. That's how you get your check. Like, this is not making sense. Like, he's dependent on his viewers. The only reason why, as a content creator, you're able to even get paid is because viewers view your content. So what are you talking about? You depend on your viewers. You depending on her to do that. Or you looking for a chick to, to let you live with, live with her. Or, you know, you, you calling your mama because you need this. Or you a daddy's girl and daddy's always got to help you, help you, help you. And notice this, fam. I don't even have to say what I want to say, fam. The chat is already catching on to the rainbow uh, actions of said brother. The chat can see. They they picking up on that energy, fam. I don't even have to... Listen, fam, I don't even have to say anything. Y'all viewing, y'all can pick up on the energy. I don't even have to say nothing. All I got to do is say rainbow and you could pick up on the energy. You could pick up on it, fam. Let's go. Help you, help you, help you. You're not chosen. You're not chosen. People that's chosen don't have to be codependent on every on people. They codependency is on the most high. God. But you don't even know the most high, though. You said yourself, bro. You said that you don't read the Bible. You said you don't study the Bible. He said this himself, fam. We got the video. We got the video, fam, where he said it. We're going to bring it all out. We got a lot of stuff to cover, fam. I'm, I'm not playing here. God himself, the creator, the orchestrator. the creator. Which God? Which God are you talking about? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? You don't follow him, sir. You're misleading the people as if though you follow this God, but you don't know him. Of the universe, okay? God is the one that supplies the chosen one with everything he or she needs. He's making me lie down in green pastures. You know what I mean? He's quoting things he don't even read. He heard. And you don't need nothing from nobody because it naturally comes to you through the universe, but from God. You understand? But like I said, only the chosen ones will realize that they have this special privilege. Only chosen ones will realize this. So only chosen ones have this special privilege, but yet... The chosen ones are at the bottom, the first fire, the last hire, right? The chosen ones are the ones that's in captivity in these nations. But he's making it seem like the chosen ones are above all the other nations in terms of economics and so and so forth. No, we're not. Some of us have made it to a certain level of success, but the majority of our people are in captivity still. And he's not reaching them. He's not even trying to give them a helping hand. He's only concerned with his own pockets. This is sad, man. Let's go. Most people out here walking, they need help from somebody because they're not chosen. They, they, they feel like they have to have certain people in their life. They, they feel like they have to be in a relationship and they have to be in a situation. They feel like they need other people to make them fulfill. Not chosen ones. Chosen ones can be lonely, can be by themselves. They can stay by themselves. They don't need a soul around and they still are happy. No matter what, they still happy and they don't even have to have nobody around them to boost their ego because they already know who they is. All right. So that's another sign that you were chosen. one. If that resonated with you, get this video a thumbs up. Haters, they didn't resonate with you. Sorry, but uh, you can't even see that you dislike the video. <laughs> huh? Anyway, do you see the body language, the body movement? You see what I'm Listen, man, it's very evident and clear. Moving on. So, OK, another, another thing that signifies that you are chosen is when you, ha you, you start to notice that you have an abundance of things or material assets, or just you have an abundance. Like, you chosen if you got an abundance of cars. Like, if you get, you get car, you know how hard it is for some people to get a car or how to- So hold up, getting a bunch of cars makes you a chosen one? This guy just said, 
The more material things you have, that's how you know you're chosen. The Bible says that the Messiah didn't even have place to rest his head. The Messiah didn't even have a house. The Messiah didn't have no house. He just said, you're chosen if you have abundance of material things. That's what he just said. The thing is, you get car after car after car after car after car. You can get many cars. Something as simple as cars. You, you, are, you are abundant. You are very abundant. Um, money and prosperity flows to you naturally. Do you see? I told you. I told you he's coming from the prosperity gospel. I told you. I can read, dude, bro. I told you. He's pushing the same stuff Creflo Dollar and them preach, fam. Same thing. Prosperity gospel. He's saying, if you have a bunch of cars, you're a chosen one. This is crazy. So if you just bought a new Benz, you're a chosen one. Okay, most of the time, you, you didn't even have to work hard for it. You just did something that made, you know, that, that just in the moment, and you just did something real simple, and you got a whole lot of money, okay? Wow. Or... You mean like you, like misleading people. <laughs> you mean like what you do in terms of misleading people with chosen one, chosen one, but yet you're making a whole lot of money. Oh, I get it now. You, you, you're talking about yourself. That's what you're doing. Fellas, like, you're a chosen one if you, you know what I'm saying, like, when it comes to women, like... You might thought this girl was the hottest chick, right? She might have been the hottest chick that you ever met, you know, and she she appears to have it all together. She appears to be a chosen chick or whatever she call herself, you know what I mean? But if she if she does you wrong or if she's trying to, like, do you dirty or something like that, and you'd be like, oh, why what you do that for? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why are you trying to make me look bad or baby? Like, what, why are you arguing with me all the time? You know what I'm saying? Like, if she does anything wrong, the universe is going to process another girl that's 10 times, 10 times. The universe, he said. The universe is going to process another girl. Are you listening to this? <laughs> 10 times 10, better than her, just because you chose her. So as soon as she do what she done, as soon as she try to, try to like, X you out or whatever, or try to throw you under the bus or whatever she do, the universe is only, only going to give you something that's way better than her. And she's going to have to live with the fact that she had you one point in her life, now she don't have you no more. None of this mess have anything to do with chosen ones. Do you see what I'm trying to show you, ladies and gentlemen? Look, to you viewers that watch this brother's platform, you got a choice to make today. You can either continue to be deceived and go down a path of destruction, or you can actually watch the true brothers in this truth that's going to teach you what thus saith the Most High. Because this brother here is not leading you to the Most High. He's literally keeping you in his church long enough so he could get paid. That's all he's doing. Just like these, these churches out here that keep people locked in their churches, they're not teaching them the truth, but these churches are making millions of dollars yearly. Off of what? Lying to the people. Listen, when the Bible says many false prophets will arise and deceive many, he's not talking about just the Christian pastors in these churches. He's talking about social media. Many false prophets will arise and deceive many. Influencers. People starting platforms. YouTubers. TikTokers. Instagrammers. Facebookers. False prophets. False teachers. And they pop up every day. There's a new influencer, a new guru, a new tutorial, a new, uh, you know, book a session, a new here's my here's my course that you need. If you want a one on one consultation, call me. But they never talk about God. They never talk about the Bible. They never talk about you repenting of your sins. It's just how to make money. And there's nothing wrong with making money. But these people are misleading you, fam. They, they misleading you. She's going to have to see you buried with the chick that's better than her. That's how you know you're chosen. And it's vice versa with women. Like, if same thing with women. Like, if you're a chosen woman right out there, if you're a chosen woman, like, the God that did you wrong will be suffering. Like, you will look back at his life and you'll see, like, on his page or something, or you'll see, like, you'll hear through the grapevine, like, what he's doing and people will tell you. And you will hear him going through problems. Like, he's going through problems. He's suffering. I hate to say it, but maybe something tragic happens to him or, you know, he just not living a good life like he was when he was with you. Then you a chosen woman because every other guy that comes after him will be way better than him, will be more handsome than him, more smarter, more stronger, everything. They'll, they'll be more secure. And So she's a chosen woman if she goes through that? Are y'all listening to this? So she's a chosen woman if she goes through this. Fam, practically every woman been through that. Every woman.
every woman been through a scenario like that? Are y'all seeing how dangerous this is? Fam, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. He says things that can relate to anybody, and that's how he hook you in. You will feel more and more comfortable every day of your life as your life progresses. This is how you know you're a chosen one. Remember, when you're the chosen one, everything goes your way, okay? Wow. Everything goes your way. The universe works for you, literally, literally. So, any, so let me get this straight. So he's saying that as a chosen one, everything works your way. As a chosen one, you won't ever have no problem. <laughs> if that's the case, it contradicts the example he just finished making. <laughs> wow. If everything works your way, everything he previously said is a contradiction. Are y'all not seeing the manipulation? Are y'all not seeing how he's tickling the ears of people that are unlearned, that don't have discernment? Wow. Okay, another thing that signifies that you are chosen one is when you have access to the supernatural realms of the universe, right? What? So as a chosen one, I have access to the supernatural realms. What is he talking about, bro? Some people is not don't have access to spirituality, folks. I hate to say it. Y'all know I'm a life coach, and a lot of people book sessions with me. If you ain't booked a session with me, just book it in the comment section. And Are you seeing it now? <laughs> if you haven't booked a session with me, look in the comments and book a session. <laughs> Fam, book a session with God. <laughs> Do you understand me? <laughs> Fam, have you ever seen me come online telling people to book a session with me? Have you ever heard me say, book a session with me? Call a number so I can give you some sort of consultation. I never did that. You better go to God. You better go into prayer. Either watch the content so you can learn or go into prayer and have a consultation with the Most High. You don't need to be calling him to have no consultation. Like, why are you contacting a man that don't even read the Bible? How could he teach you or give you advice when he don't even follow what's in the Bible? Why are people this delusional? And again, if you're a viewer of this brother's platform, you got a choice to make. All I'm trying to do is ask the question, is Tren a chosen one sent by God or a false prophet? I just want to know. And you should want to know that too. Every time just click that link, book session with Big Bro now. But I personally know a lot of people who I introduce God to. What? I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people who, who I've talked to. Notice the hand movement. And they just say, hey, Big Bro, can you. You see that? Please make me spiritual. Check it out. What's up, Chosen One, man? It's your Big Brother Trend. You tuned in again to another Divine video. Man, when I started making this video, I looked at my phone. It was 11 11. I was like, yes, it's about to be a good video, man. Listen, man. It's your big bro trend, man. Listen, chosen ones, listen close to what I'm about to tell you in this video. Notice how he used the term chosen ones again. He don't say biblical Israelites. He don't say Hebrews or the Israelites or people of God. He don't say that. He used chosen ones. You know why? Because it can resonate with anybody. Now, remember, he said only 144,000 people in the world are chosen ones. Let's go. Because today, what I'm about to tell you, today, I'm going to prove it to you. Now, get, ladies and gentlemen, listen to what he say, right? Listen to what he say and do exactly what he says. Because he's going to tell you to unsubscribe from his channel by himself. Without me even saying anything. Watch what he say. Hey, what I'm about to say today is going to happen in your life. And you're going to know what I'm saying was right, actually right. You're going to see it for yourself. All right? If not, unsubscribe. Okay, unsubscribe. If, if, what, if what I'm about to tell you right now, if you don't see it today, unsubscribe. So he's telling you if what he don't, what, what he's going to be talking about, and I'm not going to go through every single thing, but my point is he's literally telling you to unsubscribe from his channel. Why? Because he's using that as a reverse psychology. That's a way of trying to make himself appear as if though he's right, when really he don't even know what he's talking about, 
but he's playing with your mind, manipulating you, right? But you need to follow his advice. Trust and believe. You need to follow what he just told you to do. Listen, try this. Check this out. Now, one thing about me, bro, I don't really know scriptures or nothing, bro. Like, I'm not a, I'm not no Bible scholar. I'm not no book scholar, nothing like that, bro. I'm not really educated. I don't got no degrees or nothing. You feel me? Like, I don't really study a lot or nothing like that. I just try to read sometimes when I, when I got the desire to, like, learn something new. But one thing I do know is that I do get downloads, bro. Do you listen to this madness? Are you listening to what he just said? Am I making this up? This is the guy that you're listening to. This is the guy that you say is a chosen one, a guy that's educated, a guy that has given you knowledge. He just said that he don't even read the Bible. That's what he said, fam. Check it out. Unsubscribe. If, I, if, what, if what I'm about to tell you right now, if you don't see it today, unsubscribe. Listen, try this. Check this out. Now, one thing about me, bro, I don't really know scriptures or nothing, bro. Like, he said he don't know scriptures. He just said he don't know scripture. He don't know scripture, guys. I'm not a, I'm not no Bible scholar. I'm not no book scholar. Nothing. He's not no book scholar. He's not no Bible scholar. Nothing. What does the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, 15? Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But he just said he don't even read the Bible. This is what's going on, people. He just said he don't read the Bible. He don't study the Bible. So how are you teaching people about God and you don't even study the Bible? Like, what is this? Listen, listen. I don't like that, bro. I'm not really educated. I don't got no degrees or nothing. You feel me? Like, I don't really study a lot or nothing like that. I just try to read sometimes when I, when I got the desire to, like, learn something new. He just reads sometime. Basically, he don't read at all. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5 to 6 says, For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Do you see that? <sighs> the man publicly said from his own mouth that he don't read the Bible, he don't study the Bible, he's not educated, but he's telling you that you're a chosen one and he's telling you that he get downloads. Downloads from who? Who? Who's talking to this guy? Let's go. But one thing I do know is that I do get downloads, bro. Like I get downloads like they come to me. Like how could the downloads come to him and where are they coming from? And how could he verify the downloads is from God if he don't even know the Bible? Come on, man. Come on, y'all. You cannot get downloads from God if you don't even know what's in the book. And God is not going to give you a download. That's another thing. God is not going to send you a message if you don't even read his book. It don't work like that. You got to read the book. In order to teach this truth, you got to know what's in the book. And he publicly said he don't read the Bible, y'all. I just did just now what I'm about to tell you. I get downloads that come to me and I can't even explain it sometimes. He can't even explain it sometimes. He said he get downloads and he can't even explain it, y'all. But you listen to him as if though he's leading you from God. Wow. I personally know a lot of people who I introduced God to. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people who, who I've talked to and they just say, big bro. You see the pyramid sign, fam? You see it? Do you see the pyramid? Do you see 
Do you see the hand sign? In plain sight. In plain sight. In plain sight. It's, it's literally shown right there on the screen, fam. This is absolutely crazy, man. In plain sight, this guy says he get downloads and he introduced people to God. How could he introduce somebody to God if he's not even following the Bible? How? Can you please make me spiritual? Check this out. Now, one thing about me, bro, I don't really know scriptures or nothing, bro. Like, wow. I'm not, a, I'm not no Bible scholar. I'm not no book scholar, nothing like that, bro. I'm not really educated. I don't got no degrees or nothing. You feel me? Like, I don't really study a lot or nothing like that. I just try to read sometimes when I, when I got the desire to, like, learn something new. But one thing I do know is that... Let me read this scripture somebody just posted. Let me see. Uh, and that doesn't mean I'm going to read everybody's scripture. But Good Times only says, YouTube not letting my post Isaiah 8.20. Let's put that out there. I know exactly what scripture you got. Let me see. Let me put this out there because I know exactly what you what you bringing up. So we want to make sure that we put that into the stream because this is also a great scripture because what it proves is that when men teach, they got to be coming from the word of the most high. If they're not coming from the law, statutes and commandments, if they're not coming from these scriptures. You got to turn them off because they're coming from Satan. Right. So let's get this. Right. Book of Isaiah 8, 20, 20 says to the law and to the testimonies, if they speak not, uh oh, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Do you understand, fam? Now, this is why he can't come to the light because there's no light in him. To the law and to the testimonies. That's what people got to be speaking if they talking about they preaching this truth. How you going to talk about chosen ones and you ain't speaking thus saith the most high? How are we supposed to know you a true man of, of the Lord if you ain't coming from the book of the law? That's how you know who's false. If you don't see me opening up this Bible and teaching from the book, quoting scriptures as I teach, bring into your remembrance the word of the most high, turn off this channel, turn it off, because that means I'm leading you astray. And, and I pretty much validate everything that we talk about. I do it. I validate all the points we talk about here. You know, let me get this thing going. Let me see. Hold on a second. Uh, let's take this off the screen. Okay. Shout out to the person who posted that particular scripture that definitely helped out. Right? Let's get back to the tape. Let's go. I do get downloads, bro. Like, I get downloads, like, they come to me, like I just did just now, what I'm about to tell you. I get downloads, they come to me, and I can't even explain it sometimes. If you look at all the stories and stuff in the Bible and stuff like that. Listen to this part, ladies and gentlemen. You got to listen to this part, please. You got to listen to this part, fam. You got to listen to this part. Man, you got to listen to this part. <sighs> this is why when I do these videos, I study. I study people's words. I listen to what they say. I listen to the contradictions. Listen to this part, fam. Listen. All the same stuff was happening in the Bible. It's just that don't nobody talk about it because people are afraid of the truth, yo. You feel me? You got a lot of people that just talk about stuff and just they quote scriptures and put comments up on the videos and, and Hebrew this and, and James that and, they, and they, they, they don't even understand what it really means. They just want to make somebody else feel comfortable with their problems that they have. They not the true chosen ones. Did you just hear that, fam? Did you just hear that? He just said the people who quote scriptures are not the true chosen ones. That's what he just said. He just said the people who quote scriptures and talk about Hebrew this, Hebrew that. Y'all ain't peep it, fam. 
He's basically saying brothers in this truth that claim they Israelites, the Hebrews, that we're not the chosen people. So he's talking to all of us brothers that are in this truth that rep the most high, that claim we the Hebrews, that we the Israelites. He just said that we're not the chosen people. From his own words, y'all. And it went right over everybody's head. Nobody heard it. Nobody's paying attention. It's crazy, right? So he don't believe that we are the chosen people. You know why? Because he follows Egyptology. We're going to get into that shortly. Let's go. They not the true chosen ones. Wow. They not the true chosen ones. Wow. They not the true chosen ones. Man. All right. You're going to have a lot of people. Listen, it's a lot of people that claim to be this and that. They not this and that. Because you see that? He's literally saying there's a lot of people that claim this and claim that, but they're not this or that. Do you see what he's doing to his audience? He's telling his audience that we're not the biblical Israelites. He's speaking against the truth, y'all. This is crazy. But he's using chosen one trigger word talking point to mimic the people of the Most High while deceiving the viewer for profit. They have to they have to say that they are. No, so notice what he just said. He said chosen ones. He said, if you're a real chosen one, you don't really have to say that you're a chosen one. Listen to this. Listen to this mess that he just said here, fam. Let me rewind it back a little bit. Listen. They not the true chosen ones. They not the true chosen ones. They not the true chosen ones. Listen. All right. You're going to have a lot of people. Listen, it's a lot of people that claim to be this and that. They not this and that because they have to they have to say that they are. See, when you are two chosen one, you don't have to say it. It's just naturally you have it. Now, he just said, if you're a true chosen one, you don't have to say it. You just have it naturally. But that's all he do is say chosen one, this chosen one, that chosen one, this chosen one, that. Why? Because he's using hypnosis. Anytime you hear the word chosen one. You, bec you become blind, like a robot, and you do what he tell he you do what he tell you to do. Just like in these churches, they play the music, they play the piano, they crank the organ. Before you know it, you in the spirit, right? You're in a trance, and the money start coming out your pocket. Same thing. You have a chosen one. You have a power. Okay, I don't know what your special power is, but you have a power. So now he's telling us that we all have special powers. Let's go. Some of y'all got the power of magnetism. Like wherever you go, you can just attract people to you like quick, boom. Maybe like you don't even know why you're doing it, bro. None of that stuff makes sense and it's all subjective and everybody has magnetism. Everybody. So what he's saying can relate to anybody. Listen to this. Check this out. Now, one thing about me, bro. Listen. I don't really know scriptures or nothing, bro. Wow. Like, I'm not a, I'm not no Bible scholar. I'm not no book scholar, nothing like that, bro. I'm not really educated. I don't got no degrees or nothing. You feel me? Like, I don't really study a lot or nothing like that. I just try to read sometimes when I when I got the desire to, like, learn something new. But wow. one thing I do know is that I do get downloads, bro. Like, I get downloads. Like downloads from Satan. He's not getting no downloads from the Most High. The Most High is not working with this guy. Why would the Most High send you a message to deliver to the people if you don't even read his Bible? You don't even read the book. He literally said anybody that's quoting scriptures that those people are not even the chosen ones. That's crazy. They're coming from the book of the law. How could you say that they're not chosen, but you are? It makes no sense. He, he's literally self-appointed. Again, New Breed Global Truth started the talking point chosen one on social media. And various influencers took the talking point and began to profit with it because it get views. It gives you attention. As soon as you type chosen one, people automatically come to your videos to watch because they're like, Ooh, that's me. I'm a chosen one because it now turned into a new religion. 
Chosen Ones is now a new religion that was now created on social media where everyone can claim they're a chosen one even though they don't even know what they're chosen for. Nobody don't even know what they're chosen for. They don't even read the Bible. They don't have no clue. Let's get back to the tapes. They come to me like I just did just now what I'm about to tell you. I get downloads They come to me and I can't even explain it sometimes. I can't make this up. Oh, I can't make it up. So if you are, if you was tapped into spirituality at a very young age, chances are you could potentially be a chosen one. If you, if you were tapped into spirituality at a young age, you could potentially be a chosen one. What? <laughs> what is he talking about, bro? If, if whatever family you was raised in, your mama, your daddy, whoever, if they brought you into spirituality when you was born, that was God himself trying to get you connected with him through other people. Chosen one. If you consider yourself a chosen one, you are somebody. Listen, people. Listen to this part here. Very, very, very disturbing things he will be saying shortly. Very disturbing. It's so disturbing, I cannot believe that anybody's still watching him. You claim you following Jesus. You claim you following the Most High. And you listen to what he's about to say. And you still following him. You definitely not with the most high. That you don't really realize who you are. Now, some of you might know who you are because you probably don't did the research. But listen, some of us chosen ones are are reincarnated princesses. What? All right. Reincarnated kings. What? Reincarnated princes. Reincarnated ancient Egyptians. What? All right. Pharaohs. Listen. Reincarnated ancient Egyptians. All right. Pharaohs. Wow. Reincarnated ancient Egyptians. All right. Pharaohs. Fam, at that point, just turn him off. Turn him off, bro. What, what more do I got to show you? That man don't follow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, y'all. He literally just said, chosen ones are reincarnated pharaohs, ancient Egyptians. The Egyptians and the pharaohs had our people, the chosen ones, in bondage in captivity. He just said that you, as a chosen one, was reincarnated. Where in the Bible does it even teach on reincarnation? He's teaching Egyptology. He's teaching Egyptology, y'all. He's not teaching, thus saith the Most High. Nowhere in the Bible did it say you came back reincarnated because of your past life that you lived. This is what he's doing. And people are listening to him lead them. Once you hear that, you're supposed to turn it off. Realize who you are. Now, some of you might know who you are because you probably don't did the research. But listen, some of us chosen ones are, are reincarnated princesses. All right, reincarnated kings, reincarnated princes, reincarnated ancient Egyptians. All right, pharaohs, reincarnated ancient Egyptians. Wow. All right, pharaohs, reincarnated ancient Egyptians. All right, pharaohs. Yes, Buddhism too. You correct. Buddhism too. Let's throw that in there. Lively cuts. Buddhism too. Yeah, man, he's literally saying that the people who oppressed us in slavery, captivity, that we now are reincarnated as Egyptians and pharaohs. Clearly, this man do not follow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The truth is not in him, y'all. We could stop the live stream right there, but I got so much more to cover. But I'm making so much valid points, this brother won't even be able to refute, refute anything I say. He cannot even find a way out of this. At this point, he has been exposed as a false teacher, false prophet. I told you I'm the best in the game when it comes to this job. I take my time, I bring out the evidence, and I make you decide, you the people. This guy clearly said from his own mouth and he published and pushed Buddhism, Egyptology, 
in terms of reincarnation as our enemies. So basically he's saying that the biblical Israelites are now reincarnated Egyptians in today's day. This is what he said, y'all. I ain't make it up. From his own mouth, he said it. Titus chapter 1, verse 10 to 11 says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. And that's exactly what he's doing. That's exactly what he's doing. He is the type of guy that came out of various ideology, various belief systems, various religions, and he put together pieces of every piece of different religions and beliefs all in one. And he ran with the chosen one talking point and God this, God that, and made himself into a coach, leading people to the lake of fire. Guys or angels, okay? What? So hold up, he just said that we're now reincarnated angels, y'all. That's what he just said. Let's rewind that back. He just said that we're reincarnated angels. When have angels died? <laughs> he just said that we're reincarnated angels. Listen to what he said, fam. Realize who you are. Now, some of you might know who you are because you probably don't did the research. But listen, some of us chosen ones are, are reincarnated princesses. All right, reincarnated kings, reincarnated princes, reincarnated ancient Egyptians, all right, pharaohs, reincarnated ancient Egyptians, all right, pharaohs, wow. reincarnated ancient Egyptians, all right, pharaohs, gods or angels, okay? He just said that we're reincarnated gods. He just said that we're reincarnated angels, archangels. Angels. We here in a different form. What? All right. And you are not who, who you think you are. This is crazy. You feel me? It's a lot of people in the world who are not who you think they are. Some people is just straight demons, just demonic people, just negative, mad at everybody, always angry, hating on other people because they can't get it right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just weak souls, just weak. If, like y'all said, if somebody taking my content and they using it to, to attack me and to cyber bully me and stuff like that, okay, well, guess what? Okay, okay, well, guess what? We can go to Google. We, we got Google. We got, we're going to go to Google on it. What? We're going to go to Google on it, and we're going to see if it's true or not, because I don't know if it's true. We're going to let Google find out if it's true or not, and they'll tell, they'll, they'll prove, and they'll see what's right and what's wrong. It'll be, see, they'll see what's fit for it. So hold up. The chosen one who's pushing all of this chosen one leading people, falsely accused Brother Newbreed and said that he's going to go snitch on Brother Newbreed. That's what he just said. Is this your leader? A man that run to Google because people are questioning his content to see if he's chosen or not? This is all about money with this guy. He's not saving souls for God. He's accusing Newbreed of cyberbullying. New Breed never made threats. So why is he playing the victim over criticism? Why? The Bible says, 1 John 4, 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out in the world. And that's exactly what New Breed did. And that's what I'm doing. The Bible says to try the spirits to see whether they are of God. And that's exactly what these brothers are doing. Brother New Breed is testing the spirit. What I'm doing here is testing the spirit. His reaction is to report people falsely. Why? Because he don't want it to interrupt his money. Is that what a chosen one does? Is he really concerned with the people or the money? You be the judge. Let's get back to the tapes. Because I ain't got time for it. 
I get paid way too much money Whoa. to be going back and forth. On he said he get paid way too much money to be going back and forth. Do you see what it's about, people? It's about the money. It's about the money. Listen to what he said, fam. It's about the money. We're going we to holler at Google. We're going to holler at Google. Yes, we're going to holler at Google. Listen. We're going gonna to holler at Google on it. We're going to go to Google on it, and we're going to see if it's true or not, because I don't know if it's true. We're going to let Google find out if it's true or not. And they'll tell, they'll, they'll prove and they'll see what's right and what's wrong. It'll be see, they'll see what's fit for it. Cause I ain't got time for it. I get paid way too much money to be going back and forth on internet with internet thugs and stuff. He call us internet thugs. It's not about going back and forth, bruh. It's about who you really are. Own up to it. You're hustling the people. You don't care about the souls. For you, it's a check. You said you make too much money to be going back and forth. Nobody's going back and forth with you. I'm only making one video about you. And this is all I need to do. Anybody that come across my video will never watch you. We're talking about people that follow God, people that believe in the Bible, and people that want to get their life right. After this video, they, they would never watch your channel. Because you're not being truthful with the people. You're showing yourself to be a man that cannot stand on what he teach. You say you're a chosen one, you should be able to step into the light when called out. Not run to Google claiming that somebody is cyberbullying you. Nobody threatened you. Nobody nobody made any sort of attack against you. We're literally reviewing your content to verify if you actually follow the Bible. As a Bible believing teacher, I'm reviewing your video and I don't see anything that can show me that you are coming from the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Therefore, you're not qualified to be teaching nobody nothing. As chosen ones, you're not qualified, sir. And I am your elder. I've been on YouTube before you, 2006. You have not put in more work than me. Do you understand that? You're not equipped to teach. You, you haven't even read the book. How can you lead people and you don't even read the Bible? How can you talk about chosen this and chosen that and you don't even teach people about their sins? This is the new religion people want to follow, the feel-good religion of motivational speaks, speeches that make them feel good. This is why people don't like real brothers in the truth because we teach people to repent of their sins and nobody want to hear that. They want a feel good message. Like that. I don't got time for that, bro. But we going to we going to holler at Google. We going to holler at Google. Yes, we are going to holler at Google. Okay. Bro, you can holler at whoever you want to holler at. I don't care. At the end of the day, the people going to know the truth. By the pure fact that you would come online and expose yourself like that. You don't sound like a leader. I'm just being honest with you. To have a man criticize you and your first initial approach is, I'm running to Google. Imagine, imagine you're in a church building with this guy and the enemy run into the church. He going to flee and leave you there. That's basically what he's doing. He cannot stand his ground against brothers in this truth. We're too strong. I would be embarrassed. I would be embarrassed if I'm a follower of this guy. And I'm hearing him say that he is going to Google because he don't like the fact that people are talking about him. That's amazing. Let's go. And we're going to see who doing the cyber bullying and who doing the attacking and sending the negative uh, toxic uh, to toxic cyberbullying attacks. What are you talking about?
What are you talking about? Nobody made any threats at you. We understand the community guidelines and even YouTube will agree. Nobody's cyberbullying you. YouTube takes cyberbullying very seriously. And as content creators, we know the rules. You're talking to veterans, verified channels with check marks. We're official. Do you understand me? Like, I don't even know why you even doing that. <sighs> this guy is literally acting like a child at this point. He's literally acting like a child rather than a grown man. You're resorting to childish behavior at this point. Feminine behavior at this point. Grown men don't do that. Iron sharpens iron is what the Bible says. The Bible don't say, oh, somebody criticized you, run to Google. What? Fam, if I'm a viewer of a content creator and somebody call them out based on their teaching and I'm a viewer of that channel and that channel, rather than refuting what they say and they run to try to report channels falsely, I would stop viewing that channel immediately. I would not view that channel. Nope. Because that's the first indicator that that person is not a leader. That's the first indicator. I can stand on my own. Any one of you can make videos about me. You could challenge me all day. I know the Bible. And I welcome all the challenges. Bring it. Bring it. It's just like when I teach on the subject of polygyny. And I tell people, bring it. Make a video. Prove me wrong. They can't. That's why they get upset. Rex so or whatever to me. And we're going to handle that. So whatever. So that's how you are, bro. So that's how you handle your business. You don't know how to communicate with men. You run to Google. Google is not going to do anything because nobody violated any community guidelines. So stop playing this petty little game about going to Google. We're having a discussion here because we're reviewing your content to see if you're actually leading these people according to the Bible. That's what we're doing. The audience is right there. They're listening. And trust me, if something is not right, they'll call me out. I'm reviewing your video. We got people in here that know the scriptures. We got people in here that follow the most high. They can see as well as I can see. I'm called to do what I'm doing. This is easy work for me. I'm taking my sweet time to slow cook you. And all I'm seeing is you running from the light. You don't want to stand in the light so that we can verify who you really are. Who do you serve? You never mention the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You don't talk about the biblical Israelites. You don't teach people to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments. You don't. Okay. So I don't, you know, I, I'm legal with my stuff. I don't really. What do you mean you're legal with your stuff? What are you afraid of? See, the truth of the matter is you've been caught. You've been caught. You've been called out. And you know, once people start to catch on to the hustle, it's over. You're going to have to find a new gig. And that's something you don't want to do. You thought you could continue to do this and the real brothers in the truth, the real chosen ones are not going to pull your card. No, we're going to check you, bro. We're going to check you. You see, you're misleading over 200 and something thousand subscribers into the lake of fire. And what's sad about this is the people that are viewing you don't even see. They can't see the manipulation. That's crazy. That just goes to show how strong the stronghold is that you literally are manipulating these people for personal gain. I don't get into the, 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 the I don't get into the ghetto stuff. I don't get into the ghetto stuff. What does ghetto stuff have to do with anything here? A brother called you out regarding your teachings. What does that have to do with ghetto stuff? So you think you're above people that live in the ghetto? The Messiah lived in the ghetto, bro. The Messiah in the Bible, the one they call Jesus, he lived in the ghetto, the slums. He didn't even have a house to lay his head. So you're disrespecting the Messiah now. Now you're disrespecting the Messiah. First Timothy 3, 5, 6. 
For if any man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? How can you take care of the church of God, sir, when you can't even rule your own house, your own body? You can't even rule. Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. That's exactly where you are, fam. Now, you know what's so crazy about this, bro? I'm going to tell you what's crazy about this. It ain't like you have smaller content creators that have three subscribers, five subscribers making videos about you. You got verified content creators that been in these YouTube streets, brothers that put in this work, and we calling you out. It would have been wise for you to sit down at the round table and say, you know what? You got me. You know what I mean? It is what it is. I, right. I've been hustling the people. Uh, I'm not really learned in this truth. And I just found me a little niche. I decided to run with it, make me a few dollars, get paid. You're right. You got me. It would have been better for you to do that than to resort to playing the victim. Because when your viewers realize that you got content creators, not just one. See, when New Breed made his first video about you, a lot of people were saying he's jealous, he's bitter, he's mad. But now you got me. That's two. So now you got two verified content creators that have years of YouTube experience. They're teachers and educators. And we're all reviewing your content to see whether or not you leading these people in the right path. And we're, me and New Breed are in agreement that you're misleading people. That's two witnesses. According to the Bible, it says if one goes and the person don't hear that one, for them to go get another witness. Ha ha, I'm here. Another witness. That's two. So now I'm reviewing your content. And it's crystal clear that you're not leading the people to the most high. So what does that say? It says that you're a false prophet. And according to the Bible, no one should be listening to you. It would be better for you to say you follow Egyptology, but don't try to mimic chosen ones as if though you are repping the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Don't do that. It would be wise for you to tell your audience, look, guys, I don't follow the Bible. I don't follow, you know, the most high. I don't really follow that. You know what I mean? I follow my own spirituality. It would be better for you to do that. I would have more respect for you as a man if you would come online, make a video and say, you know what? Brother New Breed, Brother Ringo TV Reactions, they right, y'all. They called me out. They proved it. I'm definitely not a follower of the Bible. So, hey, you know what it is? If y'all want to unsubscribe, hey, it is what it is. But I have my own journey I'm doing my own spirituality and I follow my own belief. It would be better for you to do that than to mislead people as if though you're coming from a biblical base when you don't even read the Bible. Come on now. You playing yourself at this point, fam, because you distinctly said you don't follow the Bible. You said you don't read it. You said you don't study it. So if you don't study it, how you lead in people with chosen one? Just say you follow Buddhism. Just say you follow Egyptology. Just say you follow paganism. Say you practice all these different dark arts, sciences, tarot cards, witchcraft. Just say you're into the law of attraction. You're, you're into these things. Just express that in your content. Do that so that the people who follow you can realize, oh, I didn't know. So hold up. He don't really follow the God of the Bible? Nah, I don't really follow that God. That way they can leave your channel and go to New Breed so they could go to Mark the Messenger, so they could come to my platform where we actually teach them what the Bible says. But you're misleading them. You're making them think and believe that you're coming from the laws of the most high when really you're not. I'm legal with this stuff, you feel me? 
and I ain't playing no games with my stuff over here. So if you think you're going to come over here and just try to, like, toy with me and play around with, with what I have built. All with what he has built. Notice that, ladies and gentlemen. He said with what he has built. What did he build? A money-making machine. A money-making machine of content that tickled the ears of people. Not what God has built, what he has built. It's not about the people, y'all. It's not about the people. He don't care about the souls, y'all. It's about the paper. Over this time of these years, you got the wrong idea, dog. You got the wrong idea. You better have your money together. You better have everything together because guess what? As soon as I holler at Google, as soon as I tell them, as soon as I show them, if y'all send me the information. Brother, you can go to Google all you want. You could go to Google, you could tell them whatever you got to tell them. If anybody from YouTube wanted to review my video, they can clearly see that I'm within guidelines. You're playing yourself at this point. So basically what you're saying is that we're not supposed to critique one another. You could go to Google. They're not going to do anything. They're going to be like, there's nothing wrong with his video. He's reviewing your video. He's sharing commentary and criticism. He's been respectful the whole time. No profanity in his video. He never made no threats. He never made no attacks. So how could you make a threat? See, what you're doing, sir, is you're making threats. Because you're saying you're going to go to Google to report New Breed or anybody that critique you. That's a threat. Because what you're trying to do is attack their channels. You're in violation. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, for the record of the court of public opinion, on his platform, he made a community post which violates YouTube's terms of service. In the community post that uh, Trent made, he called for his audience to mass report Brother Newbreed. It's right on his channel. If YouTube see your posts, sir, they will give your channel a strike just by that post alone. If, if whoever look at your channel, sir, is real petty and, and picky, they'll look at that post and just give your channel a strike because you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to go and tell your audience to mass report a channel Falsely. That's harassment. That's bullying. You're in violation of the very thing you accuse people of. He's basically mad because people are reviewing his content. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. You can't get mad at that. Let's go. It's like y'all been doing. As soon as I tell them and show them and they see the proof, it's going to be in the pudding. Chosen one, listen. You're going to have to start ignoring and blocking <laughs> energy vampires. Now, he just said you're going to have to start ignoring and blocking energy vampires. Okay, sir, why didn't you do that? You came to your audience under this chosen one. And again, all of those videos are on his channel. I went way back looking at his older videos to find what he got to say regarding ignoring haters. All I did is go on his channel and just type in what I need to type and it'll bring up the videos up. He's told people, chosen ones, this is what you need to do to avoid energy vampires. Okay, so if I'm an energy vampire, if New Breed is an energy vampire because we're criticizing you, why you didn't just ignore us? Why you're not practicing what you teach people? You know why you're not? Because it's a gimmick. Once you see criticism come your way, all of a sudden now you forgot about everything you taught everybody. Why? It's a gimmick. You're concerned about money now. What happened to this teaching here? Let's play it. Okay. They are want, they want your attention. Okay? okay. We get into a point right now in our society where a lot of people are lost. 
all right? They have not done the self-development. They have not tried to go on the inside and try to heal themselves. They don't want to fix themselves. So what they're going to try to do is what a lot of people going to try to do is if they're not already doing it. What are they trying to do, sir? What are they trying to do? All right. They're going to notice you chosen one. OK, we notice that you're teaching false doctrine. That's what we're reviewing here. See, I understand that there's a lot of believers in Christ that may not be as knowledgeable as me, may not be as knowledgeable as New Breed, may not be as knowledgeable as Mark the Messenger and, and various other brothers respectfully in the space that follow the Most High. Being that I know this, I know it's easy for a lot of you to get deceived and misled. I know this. So as an elder in this truth, I can sit back and see things happening and I got to talk about it. That's why we're talking about this particular guy here. Because he's misleading people that are new to the faith, people that may not have, in, in, you know, information. And he's misleading them. And that's wrong. It's not cool. He's taking advantage of people that are new to the faith. They're really believing that this guy is following the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob when he really don't. He's following his money. They're going to notice your smile. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they're gonna notice your good vibes. They're going to notice how... You know, you just you just have the flavor. You just have the swag sauce, you know. Sir, you don't have any swag sauce. This has nothing to do with swag or any sauce. This has to do with doctrine. This has to do with the fact that you're misleading people with lies and various other belief systems packed into one. You can't do that. You're calling everybody a chosen one. When we started this stream, you said there was only 144,000 chosen ones in the world. Well, if that's the case, then literally the majority of your channel are not chosen ones by that standard. Because you cannot possibly tell me that 144,000 chosen ones are actually viewing you. It's not happening. In the beginning of this live show, we played a video clip where he said, if you want to know anything about the chosen one, only 144,000 people in the world are chosen ones. This is what he said. If that's the case... Everybody he's talking to is probably 1% that are chosen. Do you understand? He's misrepresenting the Bible. He's taking what the book of Revelation says regarding the 144,000 who will be taken and chosen from the 12 tribes of Israel. He's using that, misunderstanding the Bible. The chosen people of the Most High are the biblical Israelites. They're the chosen people. But the 144,000 is chosen for a different task. When the Bible says many are called, few are chosen, that verse is talking about a different purpose, which, which deals with the teachings of the Most High in terms of us going out there, waking the people up and bringing them to the knowledge of the truth. This is why the Bible says he gave some pastors, some prophets, some teachers, some evangelists, for the perfecting of the saints to do the work of the ministry. That is why we're called to do this. Do you understand? We're called to do the work of the ministry. We're building people up so they could go out there and teach this truth. He's hate. Listen, this guy don't have no content. Teaching people to overcome their sins, y'all. No content. Teaching people to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. None. That's crazy. To be calling people chosen ones. And none of the people that view you respect the Bible enough to live holy. And you're wondering why brothers in this truth raise the bar to call you out. It's because you're a false teacher. Now, if you want to be a false teacher on YouTube, do so. But when you got men in this truth that are here, understand that we are going to make the people aware that you're not repping the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That is like, I'm from the hood. We see you on the block doing something on the corner in terms of selling some sort of narcotics or whatever the case is. 
And we like, yo, who that? You're not from around here. We're going to go to that corner and we're going to check you. Because you're not from this hood. You're not from the block. You can't come on the block selling dope to our people. And that's what you doing, bro. You out here perpetrating a fraud selling dope to our people. Making them high off of nonsense, bro. This is crazy, man. They're going to just notice you for the fruit that you bear. They're going to see all the things that, you know, you have the ability to do. They're going to see your gifting. They're going to see how you got blessings on your life. They're going to see how you got this good luck. Okay. And what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to attach themselves to, to you. Just like a leech. Just wow. like a leech do on animals. They're going to try to attach themselves to you so they can suck your energy from you. Okay. And so how to ignore people in their opinions. People are going to always come to you and give you their opinions. And I'm going to tell you why. Most of the time, people always want to tell you something, but they don't never really want to help you with nothing. Don't you notice that? They always got something to say about how to do this, how to do that. Go over there. Sit down. In my mind, I be thinking like, shut up. You know, because they always want to tell you how to accomplish something. They always want to tell you how to make them something work, but they never really ever truly give you a helping hand, do they? They want you to look at them. You know, they're going to do all kind of stupid stuff. They're going to do all kind of play all kind of games and stuff just so you can turn your attention and be focused on them. Well, listen, this is why I said you got to learn how to ignore them. And secondly, you got to know how to block them. And I'm going to tell you what the, the terms of blocking people. If you Now, he just said you got to ignore them and you got to block them. So my thing is this. Why is he listening to the brothers in the truth that are calling out the hypocrisy in his content? Because clearly he is misleading the people with lies. So if he's saying to you that you need to know how to block people and and, and ignore them, why he's not doing that with us? See, when Ringo TV do this work, you can't ignore this. Because I'm thorough in what I do. I make sure that I leave no stone unturned. We've been on for two hours, 27 minutes. All it takes is one video to put the nail in the coffin. One. One video. I don't need 20 videos to deal with this issue. Right? Right? So let's get back to the tapes. You know, if you think somebody playing with your emotions, block them. Slice and dice. Comment below and say slice and dice if you agree with me. We ain't playing. Slice and dice. Because, listen, your energy is more important than anything. It's like riding on a gas tank with full gas. You feel so good. You know, you feel so good. You're like, yes, I'm going to feel good now. I can ride around a block three times before I go home. Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me put it up to 100 real quick. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But see, these Decepticons don't want you to have a whole bunch of gas in your gas tank. No, they don't want you to be like that. They want. Notice this guy don't teach people to overcome their sins. He teach people to worship themselves as gods and angels. Those of you that been here from the beginning of the stream, put a one in the chat if you heard the part where he said that we are re reincarnated gods, reincarnated angels, reincarnation reincarnated Egyptian pharaohs put a one in the chat if you heard that part because I'm trying to figure out where in the Bible does it talk about reincarnation there is no Bible verse that says anything about you being reincarnated from some past life that you lived it's nowhere in the book but this is what he's teaching people why because he's coming from different religions and you should never, as a believer in this truth, listen to someone who practice Buddhism, Egyptology, and various other doctrines from other belief systems. It's very dangerous. And even if you were to look at this guy's channel art, he have Egyptian-style avatar, Egyptian-style, uh, you know, graphic art at the top of his channel, all of that is Egyptology, man. He's not coming from the Bible. 
you to take everything that you have for yourself and just dump it on them. You see what I'm saying? Well, guess what? Slice and dice. You got to learn how to slice and dice. All right. Don't don't become friends with these people. You know what I'm saying? Just understand what what's going on in the beginning when you meet them. They they want their five seconds of fame. They're trying to get your attention. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so if they're trying to get your attention, five second five seconds of fame or whatever, why are you listening? And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very old video he have, but we're reviewing it because we want to see how he was talking. I'm reviewing the fact that he's telling you to do one thing, but he's not even practicing the things he's telling you to do. So how could he give you advice? How could he give you a counseling session? How? And he don't even follow his own advice. Come on now. I'm the prettiest. You should put your attention on me. I'm not going to show you any. I'm not going to um, make any. Fam, I don't know what's going on with this guy, but his mannerism, body language, I don't know what. I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm going to leave it up to you to judge. But at the end of the day, he is literally displaying a lot of characteristics of them folks. Initiative to, to call you. I'm not going to make any initiative. And also for the chat, only use the rainbow uh, emoji. Um, don't go posting any other nonsense in the chat. Keep everything clean and respectful. We know what we're talking about. We're all on the same page. Use the rainbow emoji. It says it all. All right, let's go. It's because everything's about me. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. You're going to still be, you're going to still be over there. I'm going to still stay over here, okay? Nobody worried about you. Somebody comment below and say, ain't nobody worried about you. And see, that's what these Decepticons, they, that's what they want you to do. You know what I'm saying? They he called people that disagree with him Decepticons, right? So I guess I can call you a transformer, <laughs> right? He just called people that disagree Decepticons. So it would be safe for me to say that you're a transformer and you're claiming to be an Autobot. Get it? Auto. Bot. Bars. Let's go. They want you to worry about them. They want you to worry about them. You need to come after me. Do you know who I am? Come wow. in below and say, do you know who I am? Wow, wow. Now check it out, fam. Check it out. That's what he posts on his page, y'all. Look at this. He posts this on his page. He says, I don't know why people who call themselves spiritual YouTuber, well, I don't call myself spiritual anything. I never use that term spiritual. He says, I don't know why people who call themselves spiritual YouTuber are out there making videos about me, taking my content and manipulating it and attacking me and cyber bullying me, but please go to their main channels, pages, and report them, folks. Look what he just did, y'all. He just violated the community guidelines right there. That's a clear-cut case of violating YouTube community guidelines right there. If he was smart, he would delete that comment. He would delete that whole post because if YouTube find that comment right there, he's going to automatically get a strike on his channel because what he's essentially doing is causing people, he's inciting attacks and cyberbullying on other people. He's doing the very thing he just said people are doing to him. He just commanded his audience by telling them, uh, go, he said, but please go to their pitch page, main channel pages, and report them folks. Report them for what? For criticizing you? That's crazy. He said, this is ridiculous. And trust and believe I have already sent Google investigation team all you guys reports that you sent me. They will be looking into this immediately. Thank you for supporting us, big bro. This is what he's doing, y'all. This guy who claimed to be a chosen one, 
is out there sowing discord among the brethren. If that's not enough to let you know that he's not following the Most High, I don't know what else to tell you. He's not a follower of the Most High. Followers of the Most High don't go around reporting brothers that call them out. You don't do stuff like that. He made a community post. And what's crazy is the community post got 1,600 likes from when I screen captured that. So ain't no telling how many likes it got now. Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling how many likes it got. And that just goes to show how many people are deceived. That they would even click the like button on a post of someone who's literally telling them to go and commit a crime. That's no different than somebody telling you to go to somebody's house and y'all all pull up at their house. Are you, are you now pic picturing what I'm saying? By him telling his audience to go and report a YouTuber just because they're reviewing their content, which is protected under the fair use doctrine. It's no different than telling people to physically go to your house and harass you. That's pretty much what he did. If anybody from Google see that post that he made, his channel can get a strike. Why? Because YouTube updated their community guidelines regarding community posts. And what he just did right there is in violation. Once somebody from Google see that post right there, that post, it goes against YouTube's terms of service. He's going to get a, a community guideline strike. Just like that. So he needs to be very careful because what he's doing is setting up himself for his own judgment. He's setting up himself. Let's get back to the tape because nobody cyber bullied him. Check it out. Check it out. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Cyberbullying, the use of electronic communication to bully a person, typically by sending messages of an intimidating or threatening nature. Nobody has sent any messages to this individual intimidating him or threatening him in any capacity. Nobody. Right? Bullying, to bully is defined as a person who habitually seeks to harm or intimidate those whom they perceive as vulnerable. Nobody has ever bullied this man. This is crazy. He is literally misleading people with false allegations. I don't see how could any intelligent person listen to him after watching this live stream. This makes no sense. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is my original content that I normally did back in the days. I'm very good with an investigative report and exposing false prophets, false teachers. This is what I do, right? I'm very good with this. Um, it's very easy for me to do. I understand YouTube's community guidelines. At no point have you heard me threatening this man. I have never attacked this man. I am simply reviewing his content and proving that he don't follow the most high. So why is he accusing brothers of cyberbullying? Is that what he do when he get criticism? Is this what he do? Rather than him stand his ground and begin to show his audience that what me and Newbreed says is false by proving it, instead he resort to playing the victim by saying somebody's cyberbullying him? Nobody's cyberbullying this. This is a grown man conversation here, fam. Like, are we men or are we children? We're grown men over here, fam. Like, this is crazy. We are grown men over here. You claim you're a chosen one, but you're resorting to these type of petty tactics? This is crazy. And we are in our own bodies <laughs> and entrapped in our own minds. So no one is going to ever be able to understand you fully. It's not that people don't want to understand you fully. They can't. They don't have the authorization. Only God does. So that's. So only God can understand somebody, but you're claiming you understand everybody. 
Are you seeing the contradiction, people? Are you seeing the contradictions? And if my eyes seem watery, I told y'all in the beginning of the stream, I'm a little under the weather. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But at the same time, if you notice, he said nobody could really figure you out like that. Only God can. So how is it that he have all these answers for you? But when he is in a situation where people are critiquing his content, he's crying wolf. It doesn't make any sense, fam. Why it's very important to follow what God is telling you to do. Because first of all, when you when you choose to follow the universe, you know, when you choose to just go on the path of your own your own path that 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 was placed in your heart since the beginning of time when you were born. You take on a whole new lifestyle. Your whole life, you will see your whole life the way you are supposed to see it. Nobody can see the magic in nobody else's life. We just get to have a seat on the outside and, and to see a very special person. I, I hope you're seeing the things that I'm... I'm pretty sure you could pick up on the... I'm pretty... I'm gonna leave it like that. I know y'all can pick up on the energy, right? Okay, cool. Let's, as long as we all on the same page, let's go. Person do some very special things, but nobody really knows what a person goes through in their mind and in their heart and in their soul to be special the way they are. You know, we're just like, you know, people in a movie theater looking at another character like us, like you, who's doing their thing in their life. You know, nobody has the opportunity to see through somebody else's eyes. So what's going on in my life, I can tell you right here, I can tell you, you can take notes on it or whatever, but I'm not telling you about my life, but I'm just saying, you know. I so he's not going to tell you about his life, right? This is amazing, guys. Yeah, the shirt, man, definitely. <laughs> But hey, I can tell you all I want, but you'll never see the things that happen in my life. You'll never see the type of way, the, the way synchronicities happen in my life. You'll never see the way coincidences happen in my life. You'll never see the way miracles happen in my life. You'll never see the supernatural things that I see in my life. I can give you as many testimonies as I, as I want, but you'll never see through my eyes. So basically what you really have to do most of the time is really convince people. You got to convince them that what you're saying is true. Ladies and gentlemen, did you just hear what he just said? You got to convince people that what you're saying is true. Are you listening to this? Listen, listen to it, fam. Because they won't, they will give you their opinions. Now, if you buy into their opinions, they don't want your belief and they don't change your mind wow. from your very own beliefs. Listen. So it's very important that you convince people of the things that you believe and you convince them that, that no, this is the way I see it. This is the way I see it. Wow. And so, you know, that's another problem that... Are you seeing this, ladies and gentlemen? Do you hear and see the manipulation? This is what he's doing to people that don't really understand the Bible. He's convincing them that what he's teaching is the way of towards the truth. And he's lying. We, we've experienced in our world for such a long time, you know, people just like, Shh, be quiet, don't say nothing, don't say too much, just sit back and just let people run all over you. No, don't ask for no raise. No, that's enough. Don't you, don't say that to boss, don't say that to master. You're going to get us all hurt and killed. Like, you know what I'm saying? People have been brainwashed and programmed to just sit back and accept whatever they are given. And that's not the way that things work in this world, which is why it, there's so much, you know, things that are messed up, you know, the systems out of order and all this stuff, you know. And so we have to come back to that, that, that oneness with who we are as individuals, you know. And when it comes down to, you know, having to ignore people and all this and that, just, just know the people that are giving you their opinions, they just don't know how to stay. How it all works, folks. That's why you don't never need to pay no mind to haters, you know. Now he's telling you, you don't never need to pay mind to haters, but he's not following this advice that he's giving you. Instead, he's paying them mind. He believed that anybody that criticized him or speak against him is a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater at all. Throughout this entire video, I've been nothing but respectful. No profanity, no insults, no nothing. I'm just reviewing his content to see whether or not it aligns with the scriptures. That's all I'm doing, you know? But he called them haters. 
Because that's the new thing nowadays on social media. If you disagree with somebody, you're a hater. Haters hate because they, they want attention like you have attention. That's that's why people hate on other people. Like, people hate on other people. First of all, first of all, the original cause is because we all have this Christ-like consciousness in us. Like, Notice he's mentioning Christ, y'all. Are y'all not paying attention? He's mentioning these things because he's trying to build that audience of people that will come to him based off their belief in Christ. Listen, man, Christianity is a big money-making business. All you got to do is say you follow Jesus and create some gimmick. You could create a church, a following, make millions of dollars because people don't read the Bible. Well, it feels like we can conquer the world and we're the best at being us. Keyword, being us. You know what I'm saying? So when we see something, when we see the another godliness of another human being do something special before us and they just really do it so good, you know, and you like it so much, people hate on it because they don't know how to love that thing and they don't know the laws of the universe. Like if He just said we don't know the laws of the universe. <laughs> what about the laws of God? Y'all not seeing it? Y'all not seeing that he's not following the most high, y'all. He's following some other type of law. He's talking about the laws of the universe. What, what kind of religious belief is he following? He's not following the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And this is what I'm trying to show y'all. That's why I had to bring out these receipts. I had to sit down and study his content and put together this particular live in order to illustrate the truth. I don't rush into talking about nobody until I did my due diligence. And when I do my research and I put together the content, I'm telling you, man, it's gonna be amazing. This guy do not follow the most high. He don't. If you, if you, um, you know, praise somebody for their, the good things that they're doing, the universe blesses you in return. The universe will bless you, he said. Not God, not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said the universe. This is crazy, man. Ways that you do not understand, but a lot of people do not understand those universal laws. What universal laws? Fam, dude don't even follow the Bible. He don't even read the Bible. But he's telling you about universal laws. What is he following, bro? What is he following? And why are you following him? In order to, you know, give that love to that person who has something special going on with their life because they work so hard and they choose to follow in their own path and believe what God is telling them in their heart. Instead, people choose to hate. And, you know, you can always sense haters. You can always sense haters because they don't have love. So haters don't have love. He said haters don't have love, y'all. He said haters don't have love. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's see what the Bible says. He says, haters don't have love. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay. He said they don't have love. See how I'm able to just go to the Bible? You see how I'm, I'm just able to just open up what the Bible says? Not my opinion, but what the Bible says. And that's the difference between false teachers. False teachers, what they do is they teach their own thing. They never come from the Bible. They do their own thing. Right? Okay. Just gathering up a few scriptures for you. All right. Let's put this on the screen. Do what we need to do. It's crazy how I'm doing this work and I'm feeling a little, not even a little under the weather, fam. Like, it's like my nose is stuffy right now.
and my eyes just keep watering. But yet I'm still doing this work. That shows the dedication. Right? Now, let's see what we got. Okay. Um, let me see. All right, we got this. We got this. John chapter 14, verse 15 says, If ye love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. The Messiah says, John 13, 34 to 35, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Now, Now, what is the love of God? What is the love of God? Because he says, if ye love me, keep my commandments, right? And he said, here's a new commandment, love one another. So how do I love one another? How do I love one another? Let's find out from the Bible. Let's find out from the Bible. Let's get it from the Bible. John, let's see this. Whoa, I could get these both, both of these scriptures. Hold on, let me get these two scriptures. These two Bible verses will do. Let's go. Do you see this guy when he teach? Do you see him opening up the book? No, of course not. Do you see him dedicated to edifying the people? Of course not. He don't care. I do. I care about teaching the people. Let's find out what is love according to the Bible. How do we love people? Let's find out from the scriptures. Let's find out, guys. 1 John chapter 5, verse 3 says, For this is the love of God. So now he's telling you what the love of God is. That we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. That's the love of God. So how do we love one another? We teach each other to keep the commandments. That's how we love one another. We love one another by teaching the commandments of the Most High, by teaching our brothers and sisters how to overcome sin, how to stop being rebellious, how to stop committing adultery and worshiping idols. That's how you keep the commandments. That's how you show love. But he said that these haters, you'll know they are because they don't got love. Well, everything that New Breed showed is love. Everything that I'm showing throughout this video is love. So how is it that this brother don't understand the love of God? Come on. Was my mic muted? I think my mic was muted. My mic was muted? Let me know if my mic was muted and how long. I need to make sure, because I had my mic muted. And I know I just switched the camera on, so I need to make sure. For how long? How long was my mic muted? And if my mic is muted, never just sit there listening while it's muted. Always make noise in the chat, that way we can know and I can get, you could get my attention. It's very important that you do that because I've been in live streams where my mic is muted 
and I'm there for 15 minutes and nobody don't say anything. You know what I mean? So, um, let me say this because I don't know if it was recorded. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 10, in this the children of God are manifested and the children of the devil. Whosoever doth not righteousness is not of God. Is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. Do you see it goes back to loveth not his brother? So how do you love your brother? By teaching him to do righteousness. By teaching him to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. By teaching him to follow the most high. By teaching him to overcome his sin. You understand? That's the whole point. You see? In order to love, you have to teach the brethren the truth. And this is something this particular guy, he don't do. He don't teach this. So I need it for you to understand that. So now let's get back to the tapes. Let's go. So if you ever want to know who a hater is or you already you want to know who a person, you know, you, you don't need a beer around is, just just notice the way they 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 treat you. Just look at the way they treat you. Like if you're a loving person, right? You're very By his own definition, he would be a hater. Because he's the same guy who said he's going to Google to report brothers because they're criticizing him. So by his own talking points, he would be considered a hater because that's not love. That's hate. Because what you're saying is, I don't like the fact that you're talking about me. So because I can't really combat what you're saying, my only objective is to uh, try to silence you because I don't want your words to interfere with my money. You understand? That's crazy, man. Um, to everybody that's in the live chat, press the red dot so that you're up to speed because a lot of you are commenting on something I've asked over 10 minutes ago. And this is why I don't like doing my live stream where I'm in DVR mode. I really don't like, next time I do my lives, I'm not gonna do no, no more lives in DVR mode because a lot of you are literally behind. You got to go and press the little red dot. You know where it says live on your phone? You know what I mean? You got to make sure that you're doing this because if not, you could be 20 minutes behind. And if you're 20 minutes behind and I'm streaming, I could be talking about something and you're not up to speed. You know? Let me see if I could show you. Um, let me wait for this ad to pass. Right. You see that that red dot? Let me see. The red dot. Where is it? You see that red dot? You want to press that red dot so that you're up to speed. If the red dot is if the red dot is clear, that means you're you're behind. You got to get to where we are. That way, when I'm speaking, you're live with me because some of you are commenting and you're like 20 minutes behind. And I'm looking at the comments and I can tell people are still writing one minute, this minute. We already passed that already. So it becomes very confusing and annoying and it pisses me off when I see stuff like that. It really irritates me because I'm like, why are you still responding to something that we already done finished talking about? You know, so click the red button. Let's go. Uh, you're very affectionate, you're romantic, you're outspoken, you know, you, you like to speak up, let your voice be heard, which I, I highly advise you to do at the very bottom in the um, comment section after this video. I need y'all to speak up and let me know your opinions on this topic and do you have haters? Do you have people to come to you and give you opinions? Make sure you subscribe. But you'll notice because they don't resonate love back to you. Do you see how he's still talking about resonate love? He don't know what love is, y'all. He don't know. Because he don't read the Bible. To love your brothers and sisters is to teach them the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. That's love. And that's what we're doing. He's not doing that because he don't know what love is. For him, love is, is, is an emotional thing. 
In his eyes, love is telling him what he want to hear. And this is why when he do his content, he's always calling you chosen one this, chosen one that. And he's giving you motivational speeches, giving you smooth words, telling you what you want to hear. He's not telling you things that's going to make you get upset because that's going to mess up the money. When have you heard this man teach you to overcome your sin? When have you heard this man teach you to pretty much overcome uh, uh, the habits that you have? You haven't seen, not, you haven't heard him teach on these things, fam. Shout out to brother New Breed in the building, man. Told you already, man, I feel like I'm, I'm really under the weather right now, but I got to do this work. I got to do this work. I got to do this work. Doesn't matter how long it takes. I'm going to get through this particular content, right? Um, again, New Breed is in the building. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Support that brother. Um, New Breed is the originator of the talking point. Chosen one. So make sure y'all show that brother his respect, man. Make sure y'all show him his respect. Right? But getting back to this case, fam, make sure you check out New Breed's videos too because he covered the case as well. You know what I mean? Now, getting back to this case here, this brother doesn't teach you the laws, statutes, and commandments. You know, he don't teach you to overcome your sin. But the brothers that are in the truth, we do. Now, throughout this broadcast, this particular bro, Trent, basically said that the Hebrews are not the chosen people. I don't know if New Breed caught that, but we already, we played the tape where he literally said that brothers who come from the scriptures talk about I'm Hebrew this, Hebrew that. He said, they're not the chosen people. And I was like, wow. So we're not the chosen people? So who are you? This is crazy. But anyway, let's get back to the tape. If, like y'all said, if somebody taking my content and they using it, to, to attack me and to cyber bully me and stuff like that. Okay, well, guess what? Okay, okay, well, guess what? We can go to Google. We, we got Google. We got, we're got we gonna go to Google on it. We're gonna go to Google on it and we're gonna see if it's true or not because I don't know if it's true. We're gonna let Google find out if it's true. So he don't even know if it's true, but he's willing to go snitch. And this is the leader that you guys are following, fam. You know what I mean? Proverbs chapter six, Verse 16 to 19 says, Six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. Let me make it visible for you. A heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that are swift and run into mischief, and a false witness that speak lies. And he that soweth discord among the brethren. That's right. And that's exactly what Trend is doing. He is literally taking a trend that New Breed started and he's capitalizing off of it and turned it into a business. You know what I mean? And in case New Breed is, because he's now joining, he probably didn't see the, the, the beginning, but we, we already done been on for three hours. So it's about three hours of content that you miss if you're now tapping in. Uh, we shared a lot, bro. <laughs> My goodness, man, we shared a lot. Based on this brother, he said only 144,000 people are really the chosen ones. That's, that's literally what he said. <laughs> we, we already played the tape at the beginning. He said uh, only 144,000, but yet he's misleading his audience right now. We also brought out that somebody from his chat room made a comment, basically calling him out, telling him that, yo, bro, just tell the people you hustling. Just tell the people you hustling the people. Let me bring it out. Let me see if I can bring it out because it's very telling and, and I'm surprised nobody's really paying attention to it. But let's see this comment right here. Let me make this comment larger so everybody can see it, All right? All right, so this person says, brethren, honestly, you seem triggered. And, and again, New Breed, this particular, video, this particular comment is found in uh, 
the video where he made the threat to go to Google. This comment is in that, that comment section. He said, brethren, this is somebody else responding to trend. They said, brethren, honestly, you seem triggered. He was right. This whole video, you were on some worldly jazz. Not once did you refer to the most high for protection or to handle the situation. The first thing you said was Google this and Google that, which mean he crowned Google as his God. You would think a powerful chosen man would have enough authority to stand his battle and stand his ground. He says, there, there's also a difference between teaching and motivational speaking. And to teach God's word, you have to actually read the Bible, right? It says, the most high God doesn't deal with crystals or tarot cards. That's witchcraft and blasphemy in the eyes, in his eyes, excuse me. I thought you knew that. He said, as a black man, I can't knock how another man feeds his family just keeping it a hundred this is a hustle basically the dude called him out and say yo you hustling the people keep tickling them ears though it's working i guess so basically dude already understand the game you see that dude already understand that trend is hustling the people and it's like i said throughout the stream yo trend if you listening to the live it would be better for you to just say yo fam Y'all got me. Y'all caught me out there. I appreciate the fact that y'all made those videos exposing me. You're right. It is It is a hustle. You know what I mean? I'm just doing my thing. So now that I know that you called me out, I'm just going to keep it a buck with the fans and let them know that I'm coming from different beliefs. I'm following my own walk, my own path, and, and that way the people know the truth. But don't mislead these people, fam. Just admit that you hustling the people. Just admit you trying to make a dollar. I would respect that. I would respect that more if you just came on and be like, yo, fam, yo, I don't even got nothing else to do. I saw what New Breed did with the Chosen One. I thought it was cool. I got different belief systems from Egyptology, Buddhism, Christianity, and I just figure, hey, I'm finding my own path. I mean, New Breed even covered a video where you literally, and it's in the videos that I'm reviewing, but I didn't review that section, where he talked about how uh, he was following or watching other people's walk. And to make a long story short, it's one of them things like he was watching other people's walk in their faith and he found his own way after watching other people wondering why it's not working for him. It would be better for you to just come online and say, yo, I found my own way. I'm not really repping the Bible. You know, it is what it is. I'm just a spiritual man. This is what I do. If I offended anyone, it is what it is. But uh, this is the path I'm walking. That way, the people who follow the Bible can cut ties with you and come over here with the brothers in this truth that really rep the most high. And the people who want to continue to rock with you, with Egyptology, Buddhism, and some sort of whatever it is, whatever science you following, they can follow you on that regard. But it don't go out here misleading these people and posing like you a man of this most a man of the most high when you know you're not. You said it in your own words that you don't even read the Bible. You said you don't even study. It makes no sense that you out here trying to pose as chosen one and calling everybody chosen one. Stop doing that. Stop misleading the people. Go Google on it, and we're going to see if it's true or not, because I don't know if it's true. We like I said, fam, you could go to Google. You can tell them whatever you want to tell them. Brothers in this space understand the guidelines. We are verified channels. You see the check mark by New Breed's name? That's a verified channel. He's not a newbie in the game. You look at my channel. Check mark, verified, been here, longevity. So you're not dealing with people that just started YouTube and just started talking about you. You're dealing with brothers that are in this truth, brothers that read the Bible, brothers that have been tested and tried by fire. Do you understand me? So when you got two brothers calling you out, 
you best to realize something's wrong with your walk. When you got two prominent brothers in this space that's calling you out and you still want to hold into your pride, it's going to be responsible for your fall. Pride goeth before the fall. When you got two men of truth calling you out and you still refuse to listen, you're not with the most high, bro. Let Google find out if it's true or not. Listen, chosen one. You are from different dimensions, okay? I don't know who watching this video right what? now. What? But you probably- Different dimensions? Fam, where is that in the Bible? What do you mean you're from different dimensions? That's not the Bible, bro. You're not teaching them the law, statutes, and commandments. Why are you teaching people that they're from different dimensions? What, do you, what is that? This is crazy. They go to different dimensions at night when you sleep. You go have dreams and stuff. You be seeing stuff. You don't even know why you having that type of dream. So they don't even know why they having that kind of dream, right? Can't you show, show them that from the Bible? Why they having that kind of dream? This is what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. This is Egyptology. This is witchcraft. This is evil, fam. Come on, y'all. But for some strange reason, spirit is revealing to you something that you can't really explain. What spirit is revealing this to you? And why can't the spirit explain this to you? Why would the spirit of the Most High be revealing that you're traveling from different galaxies and places, but not explaining to you what's going on? Come on, man. Okay. This is called a download. This is called a download. What download? What are you talking about download? What are you talking about? How could you get a download when you don't even have the operating system installed on your hard drive, which is the Bible? In order to get a download or a word from God, you would have to first know the scriptures. And that's something you don't know. And you said it publicly. So how could you get a download? How do you know you're, you're hearing from God? How do you know you're hearing from the most high and not the devil? How do you know? If you don't study the Bible, you're not going to know nothing. Bro, like on some real G, like you got to understand like what's going on. You know what I'm saying? If you explain that to regular people, they'll think you crazy or something. You know what I'm saying? But really. We thinking you crazy just by the pure fact that you're saying these things. It's not coming from the Bible. Nothing you saying coming from the Bible. And a lot of you folks that watch his content, y'all got to wake up, fam. This man is literally teaching you Egyptology, witchcraft, Buddhism, reincarnation. He said that we're coming, we reincarnated, uh, we call it uh, uh, pharaohs and, and, and Egyptians. The Egyptians put the chosen people in bondage. The Egyptians had us in captivity. So why would the Most High reincarnate the chosen people as Egyptians, as the enemy. What is he teaching you, fam? If you look at all the stories and stuff in the Bible and stuff like that, all the same stuff was happening in the Bible. It's just that don't nobody talk about it because people are afraid of the truth, yo. You don't even know the truth, bro. You're talking about what's in the Bible when you just said earlier in the stream that you never read the book. You don't even read it. You even said people who post scripture are not the chosen ones. This is what he said, gang. You feel me? You got a lot of people that just talk about stuff and just, they quote scriptures and put comments up on the video. Listen. And, and Hebrew this and, and James that. And, they, and they, they, they don't even understand what it really means. They just want to make somebody else feel comfortable with their problems that they have. They not the true chosen ones. Wow. He just said, we're not the true chosen ones. Did you get it? Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Now I beseech thee, I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. You see what the Bible says? This man literally said that the Hebrews are not the chosen people. He literally said that those who quote scripture are not the chosen people. So why he keep talking about chosen this and chosen that and hey, chosen ones, today's lessons is how to do, what is he doing? Who he's speaking from? Whose authority is he's coming in? What name is he coming in? He literally exposed himself, fam. All right. 
You're going to have a lot of people. Listen, it's a lot of people that claim to be this and that. They not this and that. He's talking about us brothers that are in the truth. Us brothers that are the Israelites. He's saying that we're not who we are. Because they have to they have to say that they are. Wow. See, when you're a true chosen one, you don't have to say it. So then why you say it all the time? If you're a true chosen one, why do you keep saying every video? All your titles. Chosen one with a siren emoji. You go to his channel, chosen one with a siren. Every video. Chosen one, chosen one, chosen one, chosen one. All day. Why? Because it's a trigger word that put people in a trance. A hypnotic spell. He's using witchcraft, fam. He's using witchcraft and sorcery. Because when people use that word in every video, in every title, and they keep doing it the way he's doing it, it's witchcraft, fam. It's designed to keep you in a trance so that you listen to it. He got everybody believing that they're a chosen one. Again, in the beginning of this live, this man said 144,000 people are the chosen ones. That's what he says. Matter of fact, I'm going to go right back over there just so you can hear it. Let me look at the timestamp I'm at. I'm at 2631. So let me go right back to the beginning. Watch this, fam. This is naturally. Watch this. What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Tran Genius. You tuned in once again, man. Look, so I'm making this video because I got a lot of people out there that, that keep hitting me up and they keep asking the same old question. And I know I done made like 10, 15 videos on this topic already somewhere in my archive, okay? But the question is, big bro, how do we know we the chosen one? How do I know I'm the chosen one? Listen, man, if you really want to know if you're chosen in this video, I don't know who you are, okay? I don't know if you think that you chosen. I don't know if you know for a fact you chosen, but it's only 144,000 chosen ones. Okay? I'm going to say that one more time. Wow. Everybody is not chosen. All right? Most of y'all most of my subscribers, most of y'all are not chosen. Okay? He just dissed his own subscribers by saying that they're not chosen either. <laughs> I bet his subscribers don't even know about this video. This man just said there's only 144,000 subscribers. I mean, uh uh chosen ones. That's a lie. He took something he heard from the book of Revelations and ran with it. Don't even know what he's talking about. It's only 144,000 chosen people in the whole earth. Wow. All right. So I don't know if this don't let this message offend you. Um, maybe maybe God is trying to work on you to get you to, to realizing that you are tr the true one, the chosen one, okay? But this message is just for people that's wondering whether or not they are chosen. I'm about to tell you in this video right now, it has come to a climax. People have wow, been asking wow, me, wow. what is You're going to have a lot of... I just wanted you to hear that part. I wanted you to hear that part for yourself. You heard what he said. Let's go. Let's get back to the tape. People, listen, it's a lot of people that claim to be this and that. They not this and that because they have to they have to say that they are. See, when you're a true chosen one, you don't have to say it. It's just naturally. You have it. You have a chosen one. You have a power. Okay, I don't know what your special power is, but you have a power. Some of y'all got the power of magnetism. Like, wherever you go, you can just attract people to you. Like, quick, boom, maybe like, you don't even know why you're doing it, bro. Everybody have the ability to attract people to themselves. Anybody can relate to what you just said. Th that's the problem with this chosen one thing. They make these talking points and, and these videos that they, they, it's like they say, they make stories up as they go that, c that anybody can, can relate to. You don't even know why you're doing it. It's just that people are naturally just driven to you and you'd be like, yo, what is this about me? You know what I mean? Some of y'all women have the natural gift of beauty. Natural okay? gift of beauty? What? You got... Nah. He said that women have the natural gift of beauty. So he's calling beauty a gift. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's see what the Bible says. You know, some girls... He's, let's see what the Bible says. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 30. It says, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that fear the Lord shall be praised. Did you get that? It did not say that beauty is a gift. It says beauty is vain. A lot of these women that be walking out here thinking about how beautiful they look, that might look nice on the surface. But according to the Bible, beauty is vain. According to the Bible. Vain. So when you see a woman and she's all into her looks, fam, she worships herself. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 25 
to 26. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. For by means of a whorish woman, uh-oh, a man is brought to a piece of bread and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Wow. It says the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. But he said that beauty is a gift. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that beauty is a gift. Try to make themselves look good. They, they try to, you know, they try to be fine and sexy. That's what they do on Instagram. That's what they do on Lonely Fans, selling their bodies. Why he's not teaching against that? Why he's not teaching against the daughters of Zion that are selling their bodies on Lonely Fans? Why he's not doing that? Because he don't want to interrupt or offend his female audience. That's why. You would never hear him do that. Never. Some women out there that's watching this video, you probably don't even have to try. It's a natural aura that you have. It's a natural presence that you have in your in your whole being, your whole genetic makeup. Do you not see how he's tickling everybody's ears with lies? He's saying things that anybody can relate to. That's why I'm saying some of some chosen ones are reincarnated. What? Angels. What? Okay. You might you might Notice what he said. Angels. What does the Bible says? Second Tim Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14 to 15. And no marvel. Let me let me make you see it. Hold on a second. Right there. And no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Wow. Verse 15. Verse 15, therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. That's him. That's him. Trend is one of Satan's ministers. Do you understand me? Because even the demons, Satan, have transformed into an angel of light. And Satan also has ministers too. And the Bible says, therefore is no great thing if his ministers also transform as ministers of righteousness. And that's what Tren is doing. He masquerades himself as a minister of light, as a chosen one, as a man of truth, when really, he's not a man of the most high Yah. I'm joking. You might be a, you a real angel. How could we be real angels? Fam, this is blasphemy. The things he's saying is unbiblical. Absolutely unbiblical. Okay. It's just that you be in the human form sometimes. You be in the human flesh sometimes. So you don't really understand, like, why, you know what I mean? Because it's hard to remember what, what was taken from you. Because What was taken from you? So who took it from you? Who took it from you? What is this guy talking? Fam, you got to not watch people like this, bro. This is dangerous. What he's leading you in is dangerous, man. Heresy. You probably grew up and hung around people that didn't ever tell you about stuff about yourself. But you might have power. And if you got power, you know what I'm talking about. You know I'm talking to you. You got a special power. You've been feeling it for a long time. I'm just confirming to you that you got a special power. Now, it's up to you to figure out how to make it work for your own good. Because some of y'all got power, and, and every you be letting everybody run over on you. You be letting everybody get over on you. You be letting everybody run away with your blessing and all this. It's because That's because they know you got the power, but they know you ain't going to do nothing to it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? You just wow. like, okay, whatever. All right. You got it. You got it. Come on, bro. If you a chosen one, see, you might be Michael. Michael ain't just one angel. Gabriel ain't just one angel. They represent a whole entity of people. They, they Are you listening to this mess? He's now telling us that we're Gabriel the angel. <laughs> represent a whole crew, a whole gang. You feel me? A whole family. A whole tribe, just like how, just like how I'm a part of your soul tribe, right? It ain't just you. It's a lot of people that that, rep that um, resonate with my tribe. His tribe. Are you not getting that? 
he has his own tribe, y'all. He's not representing the chosen people of the Most High. <laughs> He's representing his own tribe. His own tribe, y'all. He said it himself. But I'm just so happy to be speaking out about my tribe. Okay? It's the same thing. Yes, he did say a gang. Yep, he did say that earlier about the angels and stuff. But angels. And many different multiples of angels. Okay? But you just got to figure out which one you are. So we got to figure out which angel we are. Where in the Bible does it say to do that? Where in the Bible does it say that chosen ones have to figure out which angel they were in their past life? Angels are eternal. They don't die. So how could we be reincarnated angels? And you got to do the research on you know, your roots and how, what you... Wh what research on your roots? How do you research your roots on when you was an angel? How do you research that? How do you research when you were an angel? Where do you research the paperwork? You said you don't even read the Bible. Where in the Bible does it say we were angels and were reincarnated? What's resonating with your spirit and why you feel the way you feel? You see what I'm saying? So, you know, chosen ones, you, we here, we here for a special purpose. You here for a special purpose. My purpose, as who I am, I can't reveal to you who I am. What? Yeah. But it's, listen to what he just said, fam. Listen to what he just said. Resonating with your spirit and why you feel the way you feel. You see what I'm saying? So. You know, chosen ones, you, we here, we here for a special purpose. You here for a special purpose. My purpose as who I am, I can't reveal to you who I am. He said, I can't reveal to you who I am. I can't reveal to you who I am. That's what he just said. He just said, I can't reveal to you who I am. But it, my stuff revolves around motivating people and encouraging and inspiring people. That's my whole thing. What? Whoa. Motivating and inspiring people? No. That's not what a chosen one's supposed to be doing. No, 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 no. That's not what a chosen one's supposed to be doing, sir. Motivating and inspiring people? No. You're supposed to be teaching people the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Because, see, here's the thing. There are times when motivating people is necessary or inspiring people is necessary, but that also should come with the word of the Most High. In other words, the things that I'm doing right now, exposing you, is supposed to motivate people of the Most High. It's supposed to be inspire them to actually read the book. But a feel-good message, I'm not doing that. I don't make feel-good messages. I don't tickle nobody's ears. I got to teach you, thus saith the Most High. The chosen ones are supposed to be teaching this truth, rebuking the people, instructing the people. You understand? Holding people accountable. Not tickling their ears with fair speeches and smooth words. No. You know, chosen ones, you, we have... We here for a special purpose. You here for a special purpose. My purpose as who I am, I can't reveal to you who I am. But it, my stuff revolves around motivating people and encouraging and inspiring people. That's my... How could you do all of that when you don't even follow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? How? He said in the beginning of the stream that he don't read the Bible. He said he's not educated in the Bible. He don't know the scriptures. So how could he do all of that? How could he inspire you or motivate you with no truth? That's crazy, fam. Whole thing. I love to talk and to teach and to inspire people to be great. How are you going to teach them to be great when you're not great? How could you teach them to be great when you're not great? You're not great because you think you're great. The most high have to make you great. And that's a fact. What I do. Now, me personally, I was contacted by... A force. What? That's beyond this world. Whoa. 
he was contacted by a force that is beyond this world. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard him. He said he was contacted by a force that was beyond this world. What force did he get contacted by? A demon. That put me on this journey today. I was contacted by a force. Wow. That's beyond this world. That put me on this journey today. I was contacted. This is crazy. By a force that's beyond this world that put me on this journey today. I personally know a lot of people who I introduced God to. What? I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people who, who I've talked to and they just say, Big bro, can you please make me spiritual? Can you please make you spiritual? So people contacting this guy for them, for him to make them spiritual. I don't like that term spiritual. I think that when, when I hear the term spiritual, even though there's a sense of the word being used even in scripture or whatever the case is, but that word in today's context, when people call themselves spiritual, I want you to hear this when people say I'm a spiritual person. What they're saying is I don't read the Bible. I don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. I practice witchcraft, divinations. Um, I'm into sorcery. I'm into Egyptology, um, Buddhism, Christianity. I'm into Hinduism. Um, I'm into uh, Islam. I'm into all sorts of religions and beliefs and practices and rituals all in one. I'm into tarot cards, uh, 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 zodiac signs in terms of astrology. That's what a person mean when they say, I'm spiritual. It kind of make them sound like they're important when really they have no knowledge of God at all. None. It's a combination of multiple different belief systems all in one, which makes them spiritual. And really, they're just ignorant of the truth. Ever learning, never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. I can't make this up. Oh, I can't make it up. So if you are, if you was tapped into spirituality at a very young age. Tapped into spirituality at a very young age. Fam, at a very young age, people are playing with toys. At a very young age, we play with video games. Nobody is interested in no spirituality at a young age. This is how you know he's saying things just to say things and it's not making any logical sense. Chances are you could potentially be a chosen one. If you, you could potentially be a chosen one. The Bible says in Romans 6, 16 to 17, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offensive contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. You're, you're to avoid this particular uh, guy here, fam. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 2. Yea, ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. In other words, what he's doing is he's diminishing the word of the Most High in terms of chosen one. He's diminishing it rather than teaching people to obey the commandments of the Most High. So, by New Breed and myself reviewing his content, calling him out to the carpet to defend his doctrine, for some reason, rather than him doing that, he resorted to crying wolf as if though somebody's bullying him when all we're doing is examining the content to see if it lined up with what the Bible says. And based on the analysis of the content, it's very clear that it's not coming from the Bible. And this is very dangerous if you're a young believer in the faith coming up and you're looking for, for truth. You'll stumble across his platform hearing all of this rhetoric, thinking that he's a holy man of Yah, when really he's just another charlatan. Just another charlatan, another snake oil salesman. Let's go. If, if whatever family you was raised in, your mama, your daddy, whoever, if they brought you into spirituality when you was born, that was God himself trying to get you connected with him. What God? And how do we know that it's the right God? Because you're not speaking from the scriptures. What God are you talking about? Other people, okay? Everybody's not born into spirituality, folks. Wow. It's a sad truth. And I know you've probably been spiritual all your life, but this is something that you have to know. Being spiritual all your life. Like I said, fam, I don't like that term spiritual. 
to me, it's a cop out for people who are just not educated. People who just don't know God, they just call themselves spiritual to make themselves feel important. That's all they do. So when, whenever you hear anybody say they're spiritual, it means they don't know God. That's simply put. Everybody wasn't wasn't gifted or everybody didn't have the opportunity to be led to know who God is when they was born. The only way you'll know who God is is getting in that word. If you don't study to show yourself approve a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, you ain't going to never know the most high. You know the most high by his word. That's how you know him. All right. So you could potentially be a chosen one uh, if you was a. Uh, if you was led to be a spiritual person at a very, 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 very young age. That was like God getting you connected with him like at, at youth levels. You know what I mean? And so you have now at this point on your life. The Bible says to train up a child in the way they should go. And when they're old, they won't depart from it. So I don't know what this guy is talking about being raised in spirituality when you were young. If you were truly developed in the words of the Most High from a youth, you would still be doing it as you get old. You have, since you've been so spiritual for so long, your whole life is a spiritual journey, okay? You have access to see the spiritual realm. I don't like that term, spiritual journey. I cannot stand when people use that term. Again, it's another cop-out for I'm doing what thou wilt, doing what thou wilt, what you want to do. There's no such thing as on your spiritual journey. It's either you following the Most High, keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments, or you're going to the lake of fire. That's simple. Ain't no spiritual journeys. There is no spiritual journeys. You understand? It's either you following his laws, statutes, and commandments, or you're on your way to the lake of fire. It's one or the other. The only reason why we inhale and exhale is to obey the most high. That's the only reason why we're here. Let's bring it out in scripture. Let's bring it out in scripture. I said, let's bring it out in scripture, fam. Let's bring it out in scripture. Let's go. Let's go. Let me get it on the screen for you. Let me get it on the screen for you. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Let's bring it out. Let's bring it out. The whole duty of man. The whole duty of man is to do what? The whole duty of man is to do what, Ringo? What is the whole duty of man, Ringo? Okay, I'll show you. This is the whole duty of man. Check it out, fam. Check it out. See, you're not going to see him do this. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yah, God, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. The whole duty of man is keeping the commandments of the most high, fam. So why Trend don't teach this? Why he's not? See, this is what happened when you sent a novice out here trying to do this work. The most high never sent this man to teach nobody. The most high never sent this man to teach no one. He sent himself. Because the most high is not going to send a novice out here to, to teach and don't even know his word. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy, fam. The whole duty of man is to keep his commandments. But yet, trend do not teach anybody to keep the commandments. That's a red flag, and it ought to tell you where he stands. Basically, supernatural stuff. Okay. Let's read what it says. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 through 9. Let's read, fam. Let's read. It says... This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontentent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. Do you see that? It says from such, turn away. 
for of this sort are they which creep into houses or creep into YouTube or creep into TikTok or creep into Instagram or creep into Facebook or creep into Twitter. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lust, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Do you see that? Do you see that? Influencers like him captivate silly women laden with sin. I wouldn't be surprised if you were to see this guy's analytics, it'll say more women follow him than men. I can guarantee you more women follow this guy than men. I promise you, if he were to show his analytics today, more women follow him than men. Because on YouTube, it'll tell you in your analytics, it'll show you in the YouTube studio who follow you more, men or women. My channel is 100% balanced. Male and female follow me equally. You understand? So it goes on and it says, uh, let's see where we at. Let's see where we at. For this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Wow. Now as Janus, uh, as Janus and uh, Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith. That explains trend 100%. You understand? That, that's him 100%. It says, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifested unto all men. That's what it just said, fam. Their folly shall be manifested to all men, and theirs also, as theirs also was. Trent's folly is being manifested to all men right now. By this truth. His folly is being manifested to all men. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Okay, six sense. Okay, you, you have extrasensory perception. You have ESP. Okay, really? you might have clairvoyance. You might have clear audience, okay? You can hear ancestors talk. Your intuition is talking to you. You can hear things happening that it's not even around you, okay? That, this is how you know that you are a chosen one. You are tapped into the spiritual world, okay? And you know Tapped into the spiritual world. Fam, nobody's in the spirit world, fam. We're in the physical, natural world right here, fam. But you have, it's almost like you got superpowers, okay? If you have superpowers, go heal the sick. If you have superpowers, make money appear out of nowhere. You don't have no superpowers, fam. The only power you can have is if the Most High gave you power to do a particular task. You are not, you are nothing without the Most High. Anybody claiming to be powerful or have power, it must come from the Most High. It must have been given from the Most High. None of us are powerful without the Most High. You got superpowers and it's, it's like nobody knows that you have them, but you got them in, you, in a crowd of people or in a social setting. You like using superpowers, people sitting around you, but they don't even know that what you know. They don't even know what you're thinking because you tapped into the supernatural world. Do you hear how crazy this sound? Do you see how crazy this sound? This is not normal, fam. He have not even opened the Bible yet. With all the stuff we breaking down in this review, he have not even opened the Bible yet. Not one time did he open the Bible. OK, this is how you know you chose you the chosen one is because, once again, you got access to the most high. You connected with the most high and notice how he's using most high. But he's practicing divinations. Most high has a connection with you and communicates with you and talks to you and tells you things that he's not telling everybody else. He's going to talk to you from the Bible, from the scriptures, the scriptures you don't read, bro. You said you don't read it. So why would he be talking to you? See, the most high is a man of principles. The most high is a God of order. He's not going to talk to you when you don't even read his word that's in the book. He's not. If you're not reading what he wrote in the book, why would he talk to you? Okay, this is how you know you're chosen. When you got a connection with God, you was introduced to spirituality, and you can see supernatural things that other people cannot see. Remember, folks, everybody don't see what you see. Everybody cannot see what you see if you are a chosen one. 
You might think they can see what you see, but they can't see what you see. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to your own understanding. This guy is not following God, bro. He's not. He's just running his mouth like crazy. That's why so many times you get in relationships or situationships with people and it's like they don't understand you because they cannot see what you see. Like she might be doing something wrong, but in her mind, she thinks it's right. You feel me? Because you have a higher level of knowledge. You have a higher level of understanding as a man. OK, and so she don't probably see what you see. She don't see the lesson in what you're trying to what you're trying to get her to know or nothing like that. She don't see the silver, the silver lining. So as a man, you do you hear the madness, fam? None of this stuff have anything to do with the Bible, bro. Like, this is just pure madness. You might get upset with her because she can't see, okay? To him that has ears, let him hear. To those who have eyes, let them see. But you cannot see, bro. You're quoting, you, he just talked about they that have ears, let them hear. Eyes that can see, can see. But he's not even seeing the Bible. He don't even read it. He's saying these things, and to an unlearned Christian or an unlearned believer, They'll think that, wow, this is a spiritual guy from the Bible. No, he's not. He's not. Okay? So it's kind of like you got to break things down in parables for people to understand because they can't get it if you just explain it to them, like, logically or you just give them the, the ultimate in, infinite intelligence of, like, what you're trying to get them to understand. You got to break it down to, like, little, like, toys and little kibbles and bits and analogies and shit and examples so that they can understand it with pictures, like, pictionary or something. Do you see how he's thinking? And he's, like, he's thinking of you folks, you grown adults. He's looking at you as if though you're a kid in school as they, they play with the blocks and, you know, like A, B, C, one, two, three. That's how he sees you. This is amazing, fam. Absolutely amazing what he's doing here, bro. Let's go. Like that, because like I said, everybody's not chosen. Okay, can't, a lot of people is not that intelligent and that ingenious to see what you see. So, so he's the genius, right? That's why he titled his name Trend Genius. Are you not seeing that? Are you not seeing the connection that he's, he's putting himself up here? How you a genius when you don't even read the Bible. In other words, he's the genius that you need to be listening to. It's crazy, fam. Most of the time, as a chosen one, you're gonna come around a lot of people who just don't understand you and you be misunderstood. And they're gonna call you weird, they're gonna call you geeky, nerdy, they're gonna call you strange or whatever the case may be, but you're not strange. It's just you're just chosen to be able to see things at a higher dimension than the average person. You don't read the Bible, bro. You don't even know what you are. You don't even know what the Bible says. We're literally reviewing your content and I am not seeing nothing you're talking about in the Bible, bro. Like literally, I could sit here and listen to this guy's message and just, if I hear anything that's of the Bible, I'll point it out. This man has not said anything that's in the book. Nothing he said is in the Bible yet. Not one thing. He's literally speaking his own gospel, his own ideology, his own interpretation of what he want to follow and what he want you to follow. The gospel of chosen one. That's pretty much what this is. It's a new religion, which is totally different from the Bible. It's a new religion. Chosen one has become a religion now. Okay, so that's that. All right, let's, let's move on. Okay, stay, stay tuned to this whole video ends, folks. I got something very special for you. In this video, give this video a thumbs up if you- He always say that. This is another thing that you need to look at. This is pure manipulation. When he do his videos, he always say, I got something for you at the end of the video. So make sure you look at this to the end of the video. You know why he want that? For the channel retention. Viewer retention. Click-through rate. He want you to stay watching from the beginning to the end so that he could get the full ad revenue for the whole video. Because he know most people will click on a video, watch 10 minutes, 5 minutes, and then they leave. So he's telling you at the end of the video, I got something special for you. Normally, when you get to the end of the video, there's nothing there. If you actually look at the content and look at the manipulative tactics, he does this all the time. Make sure you watch till the end. I got something special for you. There's nothing at the end that was special because there was nothing it to begin with from the beginning that was special. Nothing. What's special is the word of the Most High, and he have not even given you that yet. Let's go. Resonate with it. If all of these signs resonate with you so far, just comment below right now something. And See, if all these things resonate you, hey, comment below. Click the like button. That's what he's doing. Speak it into existence, okay? Now, the next, the next thing that signifies that you are chosen one is... He's literally trying to speak things 
to make you see that, oh, if these things are happening, then you're really a chosen one. Listen. It's when you just, you make it from the bottom, okay? I don't know what your situation is like. I don't know what type of family you have. I don't know what your lifestyle is like. I don't know if you're from the hood, you're from the ghetto, you're from a silver spoon family. You, I don't know if your parents are rich. I don't know. But whatever, wherever you can. Notice how he scratched his head. This is when you know somebody's lying. Let's go. From, you made it from that. You, you was brought out of that place. Okay? You was brought out of the mindset of what your family members taught you. Okay? So if you were brought from the bottom to the top, then you're a chosen one. Really? So why the chosen people of the most high is at the bottom, the first fired, last hired? Why are the chosen people of the most high taken in slavery, if what you're saying is so? The guy's a liar, fam. How you know you chosen. It's like Future saying one of his songs, and when you make it from the bottom, you the chosen one. You know? Notice that. Remember somebody in my chat said earlier that they first heard Future use the term chosen one in a rap song? Notice, we just heard him use the same thing. As if though Future is out here living for the most high. Well, now, this artist Future, for instance, was an ex-drug dealer. You know what I mean? Future was listening to New Breed's content, fam. Let's just, let's just call it what it is, fam. All these rappers, listen. All these rappers watch our content, bro. All these industry celebrities, they watch our content low-key in the clouds, bro. Trust me. They watch. That's how they, that's how they get this talking point, bro. Like, you know, and everybody knows the end the results of selling drugs. Either you go to jail or you end up dead. If you make it out of the drug game, that's God. It ain't no way, other way to describe it because there's only two paths for that whole, that whole career. You so know? if you make it out the drug game, that's God? No. That don't make no sense. There's a lot of people who got out the drug game had nothing to do with God, bro. Have to do with a choice. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when you make it from the bottom, you cho you chosen, okay? This is a new hustle, fam. I'm glad somebody said that. The new hustle. This is exactly what it is, man. This is what it turned into, and this is why uh, it's upsetting to see this type of stuff, fam. Because when you are a brother in this truth and you want people to come to the most high and repent of their sins, and you see cats like this that are out here hustling the people, you know, it's disappointing. Because it's like we putting in this real work. We out here putting our lives on the line literally to get this truth out there. And you got charlatans that come in like this dude just using that talking point that originated from New Breed. And he capitalizing off of them, making a mockery of God, bro. That's very disappointing to see. And to see people supporting him and praising him when the dude literally said that we're reincarnated angels and pharaohs. And yet those people still claim that they rep the most high. People blind, bro. It goes to show there's a lot of work to be done. And there's only a few laborers. This is why the Bible says many are called and few are chosen. This is why. This is why the scripture says that. Because people are not out here preaching this gospel. They're not teaching this truth. They're not. That's why when y'all see Nike, okay, one of their slogans is the chosen, Nike, okay? When you are a superstar athlete or you're really good, like LeBron James or like Steph Curry or somebody, and you have uh, sponsors that come, people like Nike that come out, come after you and they want to write you a check and want you to wear their wow. clothes and their shoes and stuff like that, they consider you chosen. Are you are y'all picking up on what he's doing here? He's basically saying LeBron James is chosen because Nike gave him a check. <laughs> so if you have any sense of success, that automatically makes you a chosen one, right? Second Thess Thess Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13 it says, "But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God from the beginning, chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. How come Tran isn't teaching these Bible verses? God, the Most High chosen us to salvation and sanctification. How come he's not teaching that? How come he's not doing that, fam? How come he's not teaching the people these things? Because he don't care. It's all about fame, a check, and money. And that's the first thing that crossed his mind when he seen New Breed's videos. He saw it as he's losing money. They give you a no different than when you talk about these pastors in these churches. Why do you think these preachers in these churches get upset when YouTubers make videos about them? 
because it affects the money. They don't care about no souls, man. This has never been about no souls. It has always been about money, bro. T-shirt and it say chosen on it. You feel me? Because everybody don't make it to the everybody don't make it to that level of expertise in that craft. You wow. You mean in the witchcraft, not the craft, witchcraft. You understand what I'm saying? So if you the superstar athlete in your neighborhood, if you're a music artist or anything, you have to be chosen to make it. Now remember, he said only 144,000 people are chosen. So now he's saying, in order for you to be chosen now, you got to be one of them successful people in the industry. Meaning if you made it to the industry, if you made it to the NBA, if you're a rapper, if you're a movie actor, you're of the chosen. You can't see this as crazy. Notice they don't have to keep the commandments. They don't have to obey the laws. They don't have to do nothing. They're chosen simply because they're successful. Wow. What does this Bible says? It says, what shall, what shall it profit a man if he would gain the whole world and lose his soul? That's what the Bible says, fam. LeBron James out here wearing dresses and skirts, and this guy is basically saying that LeBron is a chosen one, and he don't even preach the gospel. He don't even teach nobody no truth. It's crazy. Okay, everybody that made it, they, they might have been chosen for the other side, but there's some people that chosen for the good side too, okay? This you see that? Might have been chosen for the other side. So he know that there's two sides. See, the side that Trent is chosen for is the devil's side. There's no way that this man is chosen for the most high. There's no way. We examine the tapes. The tapes don't lie, fam. The tapes do not lie. People that make it are chosen, folks. They wow, people who make it are chosen. So if you're going through any hard time right now, you're not chosen. That's basically what he just said, guys. To all you folks out there that goes through struggles, may be dealing with a lot of issues, you're not chosen based on him. In order to be chosen, you gotta be extremely successful and wealthy. It's no way you can come from the bottom barrel of crabs in a bucket and make it all the way to the top without nobody pulling you down or without ending up dead or something going wrong. If you make it, you chosen. You see that? So in his mind, people that got money, people that got success are chosen. People that are poor, people that are homeless are not chosen. So this guy despises the poor. So Trent is the type of guy that looks down on the homeless as if though they're not chosen people. Are you seeing that? This is the guy that you follow. If you make it from out the ghetto and out the hood, and now you stand in Beverly Hills or you ride down Hollywood Hills or Sunset Drive or, you know, you ride through Malibu, you ride through PCB or something like that, you in Santa Monica, but you grew up in uh, New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, so, so whoever's in New Orleans right now is not chosen. Are you seeing what he's doing? So if anybody's from this, if anybody in the chat is from New Orleans, basically he's saying you're a bum and you ain't nobody. You ain't nobody till you move out. This is crazy, fam. This is sorcery. Literally, this is witchcraft, man. This is pure evil. Uh, Holly Grove, <laughs> you chosen. Wow. You chosen. It ain't no other way to describe it. it chosen for what? What are you chosen for? Y'all can't see this as a gimmick. And I know this makes New Breed upset to see that something he started, which is for the people, something he started that is to, to, to wake up the lost sheep, something he put together to wake up the people of the book, to know their true heritage, to know the most high, to keep the commandments, to see guys like this profiting. It got to make you upset. It got to make you feel some type of way. And that's exactly how the most high feel when he see his, his people worshiping idols, living in sin, worshiping idols. Uh, false gods giving praise and glory to satan that's how the most high feel man it's righteous indignation fam and people can't understand that because they never been nowhere and they don't understand the scriptures let's go no what other way to describe it it took god to get you out of that situation so if you have came from a, a poverty stricken family or if you came from backgrounds that were not the most financially stable wow and you in a different lifestyle right now you chosen what are you seeing that madness so if you came from poverty, if you came from the ghetto, and now you're making money, you're a chosen one. That's that's BS, man. Fam, this guy is dangerous. This guy is dangerous, fam. This is really, really bad. I didn't know it was this bad, fam. That's why I had to review the videos, man, so that y'all could pretty much see this, fam. Had to review the videos so y'all could see this, man. Because this is, this is grossly bad, fam.
This is very, very bad. Whatever you're doing right now, y'all just want to let you know through this video, you are chosen. If you're well off right now than what you used to be back in the day, okay? So another thing that signifies that you're a chosen one is when you just notice all things working together for you, okay? If you notice, like, everything you touch turn gold. Every person you come around get blessed. So everything you touch turn goals. Every time you come around, people get blessed. You're a chosen one. This guy is nuts, bro. Everything you do, it, it works out. <laughs> you know, you, you can jump in a broke down car. It ain't working. And that motherfucker, motherfucker going to cut on. It's going to cut on. Because the chosen one, wherever you go, you, you have life. Okay? You have life. You speak life. Okay? Um, and It became a gimmick, y'all. This, listen, man. The deception in this video from this guy is, it's overwhelming, bro. I've been on for four hours streaming. Four hours breaking this thing down, fam. All I need is one video. That's it. I would never make another video about this guy unless he communicate with me, make any video about me. I'm going to address that. But other than that, there's really nothing more I need to say about this guy. He's a false teacher. And anybody that's listening to him is being led astray. It's just that simple, period. You got to find a new hustle, bro. Because the men of the truth are calling you out. You clearly don't rep the most high. Trust and believe, fam. If you was repping the most high, fam, we would have saluted you. We would have definitely saluted you. But you clearly don't rep the most high. And you have an ego problem with pride. You know what I mean? You threatened to run to Google on a brother that was just reviewing your video. You accused him of bullying you and attacking you. Nobody attacked you. That brother never made no threats. New Breed never made no public threats to you, fam. You don't even know what cyberbullying mean. Nobody was trying to intimidate you. Nobody. So why would you go there? We're simply reviewing your content, which is protected under fair use. You a content creator. You don't know that? So you mean to tell me as a content creator with 200,000 plus subs, you don't understand the fair use doctrine? Well, of course not. Because if you don't even read the Bible, surely... You're not educated in social media etiquette. Surely you're not. Why? Because you want everything for yourself. You're selfish and you want to make all the money and you're greedy and the most high dealing with you right now. And you can't escape this judgment. Anybody I make a video about, especially when it's of this magnitude, trust and believe me, fam. Any viewer of yours that see this content is going to stop viewing you, bro. You're going to have to let your audience know that you don't rep the most high and that you follow Egyptology, Buddhism, Hinduism, and various other beliefs, belief systems and just do your own spirituality content, but don't interfere with the biblical topics. Don't masquerade yourself as a chosen one when you know you're not. Don't do it. So as a chosen one, if you have, if you're carrying that energy with you everywhere you go. Energy with you. Energy. Notice the key words. Energy. It's going to activate people. It's going to activate people. Activate people. It's going to activate things. Uh, it's going to activate environments. Okay. Activate environments. Are y'all not realizing what he's talking here? Hey, you can go into an environment that's, that's dull as shade. But when you show up, the whole room just gets bright. Okay, you, you might notice everybody just gets happy. Everybody just starts laughing. All of a sudden, everybody's mood just changes and the energy in the room just shifts. Because this is the same guy that talked about how as chosen ones, when you walk into a room, people get quiet and people get angry because they know who you are. He's contradicting himself. Just, just because you're there. You're the chosen one, okay? so when The chosen one for what? He can never answer that question. Chosen one for what? What are you chosen for? Who chose you? For what purpose? He can never answer that question. You notice that all things begin to work together for the good of those who love God. No, that's not what it says. You understand? All things of what work together for the good. See how he's, he's misquoting the scriptures, you know. He's misquoting the Bible. That's one of the things that a lot of Christians love to quote. That all things work together for the good, meaning the good, the bad, everything is worked together for the good. How could bad things work together for your good? Does that make any sense? People need to go read the Bible and make sense of it with context. Hey, when you got the connection with God, you will... How could you have a connection with God when you don't read the Bible? Notice, all things work together for you. It don't matter if you're the damn crosswalk and it's, it say don't, don't cross. Everybody that was standing up there waiting on it to say don't cross, as soon as you walk up, it's going to say walk. Okay? 
it's traffic and it's traffic. You might be in five o'clock traffic, right? And as soon as you get in the car and you pull up on some traffic and it's traffic up there, it's gonna be a paramedic or ambulance that come right behind you and clear away just so you can go behind the ambulance because you're a chosen one. This really has turned into a gimmick, y'all. This really turned into a gimmick. The ambulance is going to come by, clear the path so that you could go through because you're a chosen one. So everything you do, you're a chosen one. If I go buy me some Jordans, it's because I'm a chosen one. You know what I mean? I bought me a PS5. I'm a chosen one. I'm going to fix me some breakfast after the stream it's because I'm a chosen one. The universe began to work for you when you chose it. That's another sign. Okay, another thing. Yeah, that, man, that's, that's exactly what it is, bro. It's like, I don't know, man. This this dude is definitely doing spells. The term chosen one is now a hypnotic phrase to, to, to put people in a trance because it's a spell. That's what it became. It literally became that, y'all. Where as soon as you say chosen one, they, they get back into the trance like, mm, they're in the trance again. It's like because you got to keep saying it every now and then because it wears off. Meaning the spell wears off after a certain duration. This is why every couple of minutes he got to say chosen ones. And they back in the, in the trance. Sleep. Listening to everything he say. Peep game, man signify that you chose is you begin to notice that you can speak things into existence all right he said that you could speak things into existence because you're a chosen one let's hear what he said everybody can't do this if some people tried to do this today it, nothing will happen nothing will move no mountains will move nothing will shake nothing will happen because they don't possess the spirit that activates uh this world for so you got the spirit so you got the spirit that activates everything but nobody else got it but you when you don't even read the Bible. Okay. That the chosen one has. But if you are chosen one, you have realized that everything... Notice how he keeps saying chosen one. Remember, it's a spell. It's a hypnotic phrase used to keep people in a trance so that they can stay under his words so he could continue to manipulate them. Trust and believe. He know what he's doing. You say it comes to pass. Okay. You got the power of prophecy. Matter of fact, you... Now you got the power of prophecy now as a chosen one. Prophet. Okay. Whenever a prophet speaks... If a prophet says something gonna happen and it happens and you and you know that they said it, that's a prophet. No, that's not a prophet. Nope. Uh uh. Because the Bible also talk about prophets who speak things and they do come to pass, but they're not sent by the, the most high. There is scripture in the Bible which says that there are men that are prophets say things that do come to pass, but what they say and did not come from the most high. This is how you know that this guy don't read. Just because something come to pass does not make it true or make it come from the most high. This is why you got to know what the Bible says. Because if somebody prophesy anything, it got to line up with scripture. All of these people today that claim that they're prophets and prophetesses, all of them are false. Every last one. Anybody you see on YouTube claiming to be a prophetess, false. Anybody on YouTube you see claiming to be a prophet, False. The Messiah was the last prophet, y'all. We don't need any more. We don't need any more prophets, fam. We already have the Bible. Everything you need is in the book. The only thing today are pastors and preachers. That's it. Pastors, preachers, evangelists. That's it. Everybody else is liars. There are no prophets today everyone on social media calling themselves a prophet this a prophetess that are false prophets all of them all of them this is why the bible says many false prophets will arise and deceive many that's all of social media that's all of christian broadcast network False teachers everywhere. 
okay? But if somebody says something, is, if somebody says something is gonna happen, oh, all the computers is gonna shut down, and it never happened. They're not a prophet. They're not chosen. If somebody say, oh my God, it's going to be a food shortage and you're still eating and then you still have all the food that you need, they're not a prophet. <laughs> I came in. Now, he's actually taking shots at people. I would, le listen, I would even go as far to say, and I'm sure Brother Newbury don't mind, but I can 100% sure believe that at this point right here, he was literally taking a shot at Brother Newbury. He was taking a shot at Brother Newbreed. You know why? Because Brother Newbreed make content where he talks about things in terms of preparing yourself for food shortages and so and so and so forth. So what he's basically doing right here is he's mocking Brother Newbreed by saying, oh, those guys that say this and say that, they're false prophets. That's what he's just said right there. That's what he literally is just saying there. In other words, don't listen to him. Listen to me. I'm the chosen one. And this is what happens on social media. They steal other people's talking points and then they try to erase their legacy, erase their history so that they can now own the rights to the whole chosen, chosen one talking point. And now they look like they're the authority. That's what's going on right now. Trust and believe, fam. More women are following this guy. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that, fam. I didn't even notice that. Good Times only says, while wearing a cross. Wow. I didn't even peep that. He's wearing a cross, guys. Wow. Wait, is that a cross? That's not a cross. That's not a cross. We got to correct that. That's not a cross. That's a T. That's a T, fam. That's a T for his name. But it do look like a cross, bro. It looked like a cross, but that's a T. That's a T. Let me let me see this. Let me. I gotta double check. I gotta double check. Hold on a second, man. We gotta double, triple check. We gotta check, fam. Let's check this thing, fam. It's a T. It's a T. It's not a cross. You know what I mean? But me personally, I don't wear chains. I don't like chains. I'm not into that. I don't believe in wearing that because we wore that in slavery. I don't need to wear no more chains. It's a T, fam. It's not a cross. You know what I mean? It looks like a cross, but it's actually a T. See, we're not going to say it's a cross. Oh, notice how I am, fam. I don't just run with stuff. I actually do the research. We have to make sure that we correct whatever it is. So I don't want to say nothing or say something that it is. It looked like a cross right there. It definitely do look like a cross, but it's not. It's a T, which represent his name. Pick this up. It's obvious. It's clear, it's clear as day. Okay. If somebody is copying somebody else's style, somebody uh -oh. else's swagger, uh -oh. and they're not being their true individuality, wow. they're not a prophet. Yo, man, bro, he literally telling on himself right here, fam. Check it out. If somebody is copying somebody else's style, somebody else's swagger, and they not being their true individuality, they not a prophet. Boom. He copied New Breed's complete style, bro. Bam. Bruh, this dude copied New Breed's entire style, copied video titles, copied the name, chosen one, and literally just confessed that if somebody's copying somebody's swag, somebody's style, they're, they're a false prophet. They're not a real prophet. He just exposed himself right there. They're not a prophet, folks, okay? When you're the chosen one, you have the, the power of prophecy. You can see things coming bef before it even happens. So now he's proclaiming himself as a prophet, y'all. Not only... Don't he, do he not read the Bible, but now he's proclaiming himself to be a prophet. You know what's about to happen in an environment. You know something bad about to go down and your intuition to tell you, get out. Really? Get out? Right now. So how come he didn't tell the people about the pandemic from the government? How come he didn't tell us that? If he's a prophet, how come he didn't prepare the people for the, the, the pandemic? How come he didn't prepare the people since he could see the future? How come he didn't prepare the people? You will leave and then you will look on the news 20 minutes later and you'll see something tragic happen where you were just there. That's how you know you're chosen. Okay? So that's how you know you're chosen. This guy's crazy, bro. This is this is this is insanity, man. 
See, people end up in bad situations because they're not chosen. Nobody. So people who end up in bad situations is because they're not chosen. He's talking to them. They don't got a communication with the most high. That's why they end up in a tragic situation and it all goes bad because they don't have, they don't, they're not protected. They're not secured. Wow. They don't have that anointing over them. You feel me? When you got the anointing over you, when you covered in the blood of God, okay, I say God. This right? is crazy, man. Right? Because God is a spirit. When you covered by God, before something happens, God will tell you, don't talk to this person. Don't even talk to that person over here either. Don't say nothing to this girl that came up, sat beside you, bro. She's a setup, bro. She's trying to set you up. Don't talk to her. You won't even talk to her. You just leave out. You just be leaving out. You be like, okay, cool. If you are the chosen one, you know, whatever you say happens. Okay, you will notice this if you haven't noticed already. If you spoke something and it happened, you chosen. That means so if you speak something, so let me get this straight. So if you speak something, you're chosen if it comes to pass. It's not what the Bible says. Let's address this person that's in the chat. Let's see what we got here. Uh, where is it? We got somebody in the chat says, why are you doing this? McGregor, step up to the floor and respond. You said, why are you doing this? Doing what? Who are you responding to me? Why am I doing what? Why am I doing what? Answer the question. Answer the question. Why am I doing what? Because the video title says what it says. Why am I doing what? Answer the question. Talking about trend? Did you read the video title? Did you read the video title, yes or no? Let's have the conversation. Did you read the video title? Yes or no? Talk. Did you read the video title? Give me a chance to type it out. I don't got time for this mess, man. I really don't have time. Let's just get back to the video, fam. Let's get back to the video. Because this is the type of buffoonery that we got to deal with. The video title says, Is Tren a chosen one sent by God or a false prophet? This person is telling me, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Do you see why we have to speak this truth? This is how sad it is in this culture that people are not paying attention. I've been streaming for four hours and 17 minutes. One of his fans come over here asking, why am I doing this? This is how, this is the, this is how strong the delusion is. The delusion is so strong that this individual didn't even take the time to say, you know what? Let me go to the beginning of the stream and watch it straight through so I can learn why. And this is the same approach people take in Christianity. When you talk about their pastor, they come into the comment section. Why are you talking about my pastor? Why are you doing this? You're a hater. Did you even take the time to listen to the stream? Did you even listen to pay attention long enough to understand all the things we uncovered about the false prophet that you serve and follow? Did you even do that? Did you even take the time to pay attention to the receipts we brought out, which proved that Tren do not follow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he's actually teaching sorcery, that he's actually teaching Buddhism, Hinduism, Egyptology, reincarnation? Did you not know that he blasphemed the Most High? Did you take the time to pay it? Did you graduate high school? Have you ever sat into, have you ever sat in a lecture for four to five hours? I don't think you have ever done that. Because to ask me why am I doing this is very foolish. When the video title says what it says, and this just goes to show how strong the delusion is. 
The people are under strong delusion, guys. Let's get that from the Bible. Let's get it from the Bible, fam. Let's get it from the Bible. Let's get it from the book. <laughs> Let's get it. All right? Let's get this. Uh, it's really sad, fam. And y'all seen that person's question in real time. I tried to give them the opportunity to have the conversation, but they talking about give them time to type. Give you time to type what? Yes or no? What are you talking about? We don't got time to be playing some game with you here. It's either you in this, this, this truth or you here playing games. We don't got time to play games, fam. This is real, real talk, bro. Real talk. We out here teaching these people. Gonna ask a silly question of why you're doing this. Do you follow God or do you follow the devil? Which one do you follow? Do you worship man or do you follow what the Bible say? Which one? And this is how I know a lot of people who follow him, they don't follow God, fam. They follow a feel-good message. This is why I made my video is the term phrase chosen one a gimmick or a reality because i see the gimmick i've known this for a long time i just kind of sit back and watch the show and now it's starting to take traction now where people see in this truth this has been going on for a long time man i've seen a lot of people pushing this talking point and i'm like yo it's really bad out here because people are not following the most high they're following influencers on social media they're not following the god of abraham isaac and jacob they're following influencers that make them feel good. That's what they're following. Let's find out what the Bible says. Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 10 to 13. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. See, these people, they hate God and they hate the truth. Right? And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. Do you see that? Do you see that? These folks hate this, man. You will never see Trent reading the Bible. You will never see him opening the scriptures. You will never see him teaching people to overcome sin or to keep the commandments of the Most High. Because if he did that, he would lose his audience because the people don't want to hear the truth. That man has never dealt with persecution. That man has never dealt with anything that comes to true believers that are in this truth. Never. When you're really pushing this truth, man, people are not going to like you. And we're not talking about people that are haters. We're talking about people that hate the truth. What truth? Repentance, overcoming their sin, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. People hate that. They don't want to hear that. That's why he don't teach that. He give them a motivational speech. That's not what chosen ones are here for. The Bible says that chosen ones are supposed to be bringing the truth, teaching people to keep the commandments, not to be tickling people's ears. But that's what people do. Let's get it from the Bible. Let's get it from the book. Let's get it while we're here. Right? Let's see. <laughs> 
Let me get this thing from the book, fam. Let's get it from the book. Because that's what's going on right now. That's why people go to him. They go to him because they want to hear lies. That's what they want. I'm going to prove it to you by the scriptures. I'm going to prove it to you by the scriptures, by the Bible, that people go to trend because they want to hear a false gospel. I'm going to prove it by the word of the Most High. We're going to see it right now. That's right. Let's get it. All throughout this live stream, I've been reading nothing but scriptures, breaking it down, line upon line, precept upon precept. We got more for you. I'm going to show you why people go to trend. It's because he helped to foster the errors they hold. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 through 5. I charge thee before God. Now check this out, fam. This is what the chosen ones are supposed to do. I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be it an instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, which is desires, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. You see that? But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Do you see that? The Bible says that these people are going to gather many teachers to themselves. Influencers is what they call them today. Influencers. And their job is to mislead them to help them foster the errors they hold. Let's get that from the Amplified Bible. Let's get that from the Amplified Bible. Because we want to get more out of that, fam. We don't just want a little bit. We want to get more information out of that. Notice how I keep going to the Bible. Notice how I keep going to the Scriptures. How am I able to go to the Scriptures? Because I read the Bible and I know exactly where to go. Trend don't read the Bible. So Trent is not a chosen one. He's not chosen to do this work. He's chosen by Satan because he's misleading you. If you're really in this truth, you should be able to open the book and teach the people. How are you out here talking about chosen and you ain't even opening the book? Come on, fam. You out here tweaking and tripping, fam. Let's find out what the book says from the Amplified Bible. Same scripture from the Amplified Bible. It says, I solemnly charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by, the appear by his appearance and his kingdom, preach the word as an official messenger. Be ready when the time is right, and even when it's not. Keep your sense of urgency whether the opportunity seems favorable or unfavorable, whether convenient or inconvenient, whether welcome or unwelcome, correct those who err in doctrine. Boom! Boom! Correct those who err in doctrine or behavior. Warn those who sin. Exhort and encourage those who are growing towards spiritual maturity in what? In the commandments of the Most High. Do you see that? That's what a chosen one does. But trend don't do that. With inextinguishable patience and faithful teaching. For the time will come 
when people will not tolerate sound doctrine and accurate instructions. You know, the instructions I'm teaching here, the instructions New Breed teach, the instructions Mark the Messenger teach. The instructions Pastor Dow teach. The instructions Rollo teach. The men of truth. It says, for the time will come when people will not tolerate. Wow, isn't that what's happening? Somebody literally came in the chat, chat New Breed, and was questioning me on why I'm making this video about Trent. Even though the title is crystal clear. This prove how people don't read the Bible. It goes on and says, for the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine and accurate instruction that challenges them with God's truth, but wanting to have their ears tickled with something pleasing, they will accumulate for themselves Many teachers, one after another, chosen to satisfy their own desires and to support the errors they hold. Do you see that? Notice why they chosen these teachers to satisfy their own desires. They went to trend. Why? Because he support the errors they hold. He don't teach against sin. He don't teach them to put down the weed. He don't teach them to obey the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. He don't teach them to stop watching corn. He don't teach them to stop fornicating. He don't teach them to stop committing adultery. He don't teach them to stop lying. He don't teach them to stop stealing. He don't teach that. He give them a full-blown motivational speech like a Joel Osteen to make them feel good in their sin. That's what he's doing, you know? So they gathered him to that fold. And it goes on and it says to satisfy their own desires and support the errors they hold and will turn their ears away from the truth. You know, the truth that he don't teach and will wander off into myths, Egyptology, different religions, myths and man-made fictions. I would like to say religions, man-made religions and will accept the unacceptable. You know, reincarnation. That's what they're accepting. But as for you, be clear-headed in every situation. Notice what the Bible teaches to the chosen ones for us to be clear-headed in every situation. Stay calm, stay cool, and steady. Endure every hardship without flinching. Didn't we see Tren flinch? At the first sign of New Breed making a video about him, was he calm? Was he cool? Was he collected? No. He flinched. Why? Because he got nervous. He got scared. Because a man of truth began to call him out. But the Bible says uh, to stay calm, stay cool, and steady. Endure every hardship without flinching. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill the duties of your ministry. But Trent don't have a ministry. Not from the most high. He don't have a ministry from the most high. He don't have it. His ministry is came from the devil. He's a minister in spirit from darkness. And we've proven that throughout the entire stream. So to all you fans that are under strong delusion from Trent, you need to watch this entire video from the beginning to the end. That's over four hours and 33 minutes thus far of non-stop truth, breaking him down to the smallest molecule. I have proven beyond a shadow of doubt that he don't follow the most high. He don't. 
So he have to repent and confess his sin to you and tell you that he was hustling you the whole time. It's about a paycheck, fam. It's not about you. You believe that he was a messenger from God. He's not coming from the most high. We proved it. We proved everything with his own words. All you got to do is watch the video, but we know you're not going to do that because when people are under strong delusion, they hate the truth. They would rather not see the truth than to listen and wake up. They would rather stay in the dark. Your power, you have, it's power in your tongue, okay? You say, let there be light, that was light, all right? Let's move on, moving forward. Your big brother, Trey, man, give this video a thumbs up. If it's resonating with you, listen, man. Say it one more time, man. Listen. I know this video pissing somebody off, but I'm telling you the truth. I can't make this up, bro. I can't. Listen. He haven't spoken no truth yet. So another thing that signifies that you're the chosen one is this. He's literally trying to teach you things that will make you know that you're a chosen one. Everything he taught and showed is nowhere in the Bible. Nothing he said is in the Bible. Yes. And I'm sorry, but this is going to disappoint people too. Okay, let's let's get disappointed. Let's see what you got to say. Okay. Get a session with me. If you really if you really know that you chose it, but some of this stuff ain't resonating Listen. with you, you might need to talk to me. Get Listen to that. He's telling you to book a session with him. Not book a session with God. You need to talk to him. It's about the money, people. That's all. A session with me. It's okay. I talk, I keep all everybody's secrets. Wow. He said he keep everybody's secrets. So he want to hear all your secrets, fam. He want to hear you talk about your secrets. Don't ever talk to this man, bro. Why are you going to this? And you know what's so crazy? I can not imagine I met a lot of women probably go to him. Hey, Trent, you know, I'm, I'm having issues with my man. Is there a possible way I can make him stay? Like, this is sad, bro. It's really sad how this, this is happening. Oh, uh, don't think I do. Comment below if you know you're chosen right now. Say, I know I'm the chosen one, big bro. But he Notice how he keeps saying chosen. He keeps saying chosen every five seconds, bro. Anyway, another thing that will happen if you are chosen is you will have uh, visions, dreams. Okay. What? Visions and dreams? What does the Bible say about that, fam? The Bible tell you to beware of those kind of people. These dreamers of dreams. The Bible tell you to beware of those folks. Yo. We have dreams at night when you go to sleep. Folks, there are some people that don't have dreams at all. <laughs> they don't even know what a dream is, okay? If you sleep at night, you have lucid dreams where it's like you're going into different worlds. You live in a totally different reality. When going into different worlds, different realities. Fam, y'all can't see what's going on, fam. Y'all can't see what's happening. You have dreams. Chances is you are a chosen one. So you're a chosen one if you have dreams. <laughs> okay, those dreams are giving you the the knowledge and the energy and the power and the understanding of what's gonna happen in your life the next day, the next day after that, the future, those dreams are communicating to you things that you need to know in this present moment, right now, right now, okay? He's making up everything he say as he go. Nothing he says is in the Bible. So many people be sending me messages like, hey bro, I had a dream about you. You didn't have a dream about me. Notice, now he says they ain't have a dream about him. <laughs> he said somebody messaged him and said that they had a dream about him. And he's literally telling the person, no, you didn't have a dream about me. Why not? Why not? You, are you saying nobody could dream about you? Watch what he say here. You just had a message that come to you about something that you heard from me or something I said, something that's going to happen for you that I said, some type of confirmation or something, or maybe we're just on the same wow. frequency. You didn't have no dream about me. It's not about me. Okay? It's about you. All right? So, wow. yeah. Don't stop sending me emails. Stop sending me emails, y'all. And yeah, <laughs> I think that... <laughs> Stop it. Just stop it. Okay? Because that's not, that's not right. All right? It you see the body movement, right? <laughs> you see the rainbow, right? Okay. I'm telling you, man. Anyway, dreams. You have dreams. Okay? You have dreams tonight. You have visions. Okay? So, um, another thing that signifies that you're the chosen one is when you have the spirit of discernment. Spirit of discernment, meaning you can see through the smoke screens. You can see through lies. You can see through deception from these Decepticons. You can see through... Uh, false information you can see through things that are not real but everybody's saying it's, it's real you mean the discernment that i have where i can look at you and i can read that you're a false prophet i have discernment i can tell that everything you say sir is a lie i have that discernment you're a liar everything you're saying is, is not in the bible you're literally misleading everybody this is a clear fact you can see through trickery you can see through sorcery you can see through spells. If somebody try to put a spell on you, you can see if somebody's real or fake, right? You have the gift of discernment. You yes, I have the gift of discernment, and I can see that you're fake. 
I can see right through it. You're fake, sir. You're not from the most high. Definitely. This is a fact. If you're watching me right now, bro, you're not with the most high. You definitely not with the most high, bro. You're not. That's two brothers in this truth that made videos about you. You're not in this truth, bro. You don't rep the most high. Clearly, you are practicing sorcery and witchcraft. Putting the people under spells. Using divinations. Repetitive speaking of words. To keep them under a trance. That's what you're doing. And you need to repent. We're on to you. To see through people for who they truly are. Right? If you have this gift, chances are you could potentially be a chosen one. Right? Because <laughs> you have like foresight. You have you have keen foresight to be able to penetrate the spirits of other people. You can see people's spirits by just looking into their eyes. You, you can see an evil spirit in this person. You can see uh, uh, positive energy in this person. Okay? And that signifies that you are chosen one if you have some type of gift of discernment to be. I have the gift of discernment, and I can definitely tell that you're a false prophet. This is so easy for me, fam. Like you are. You are so up there with the false prophets. It's it's like it's inevitable that you're definitely with Satan. Like you you literally show all the signs of a false prophet. Everything. Be able to discern things around you to know whether or not it's good for you or it's not good for you. All right. Last but not least, um, this is another thing that signifies if you were chosen. Okay. Your job, your craft, whatever it is that you do, you do it naturally. As a matter of fact, you will love your job. If you are the chosen one or potentially the chosen one, you will love it because it's something in your job that makes you love it because you do it effortlessly. If you got a job that you do and whatever your job is, whatever your business or your hustle is, if you do. He said hustle. Let's rewind that back. Listen to what he said, fam that makes you love it because you do it effortlessly. If you got a job that you do and whatever your job is, whatever your business or your hustle is, whatever your business is or your hustle is, his hustle is using chosen one to get a bag on YouTube. If you do it effortlessly and it just naturally comes to you to the point that you don't even know if you want to stop doing it, okay? You just do it so easily, it makes you money, it makes you profit. It's like uh -oh. the best thing that ever happened to you. Wow. If your job and your career is something naturally flowing through you chances are you could be a chosen one okay? wow god don't give uh, god don't give everybody a natural free flowing career path so you have a natural free free flowing path of income do you see how he just exposed himself fam it's a hustle fam i told you man wow it's a hustle he's talking about himself man let's go right some people got, got jobs they hate some people doing stuff that they don't really supposed to be doing and they don't even know why they're doing it. Y'all understand, I got doctors that I talk to. I talk to doctors, I talk to lawyers, I talk to attorneys, y'all, for real. You know what I'm saying? I talk to the higher up. Why would a doctor be talking to this guy? <laughs> and if you hear me chewing anything, I'm chewing some chips in the background. <laughs> why, would, why would he be talking to doctors? <laughs> We're talking about educated men and women why would they be coming to him to counsel for counsel? Let's go. People, I talk to politicians. They all tell me the same what? thing. Hey. He said he talked to politicians, y'all. <laughs> you know this guy's cat, bro. Man, is there anything of substance that you can help me learn how to do? You know what I mean? Is there anything that, that you see in me that's different from, you know, just being a judge? Like, I, I, I've been a judge all my life, Trent. Can you please help me just understand, like, I'm missing something because I'm not happy doing this. I'm not happy sending people to prison. I'm like, oh, whoa, okay. Well, look, first things first. How do you know if you're chosen? If your career path comes naturally, all right? If your career path comes naturally, or you could be doing a job that, but you don't like it, but something is calling you to do something more, more valuable or more, more fulfilling. If something is calling you to leave your job and to do something that you truly desire or love to do, that's God calling you up. He calling you up to your, your divine true nature. Okay, so you fam, what are those things he got on his wrist, bro? <laughs> Cause I always peep stuff. We see him throwing up the pyramid right there. But if you check out his hand, his wrist, he's had these little these uh things on his wrist. Potentially you see that? What is that? What are those things, man? Crystals or some sort of beads. 
Like, what is that, man? Trust me, man, that has to be with some sort of belief system, fam. I know what I'm talking about. He's definitely on to something, man. It's all coming out. Trying to make people see this, man. This is real talk, man. Because he got him on both hands. You know? What is he wearing that stuff for? Let's go. Your chosen one too, but you don't know it because you're not listening to the call. You're not answering the call. See, many are called, but the chosen are few. All right? So you can get the call, but you can also ignore it. Okay? God. Notice how he said many are called, few are chosen. But he don't even know what he's chosen for because he don't follow the Bible. This is amazing, man. I could put you in a situation to where you got the person of your dreams, but you're just ignoring it. You're not, you're not opening the door. And you open the, you're not opening the door because you're scared. You're nervous. You're thinking about, is he going to be the one? Is it going to be the person to come and actually fix my air conditioner? Or is it going to be somebody to, that's out to get me? All to find out when you open the door, it's just somebody that's coming to fix your air conditioner unit. Because they heard that you didn't have air in your house because you're just scared to open the door. <laughs> Many are called, but chosen are few. These are the signs that you are a chosen one. I hope this cleared it up for you. I didn't mean to disappoint anybody. Take it with a grain of salt. Whatever I said, if it resonated with you, it's for you, okay? Notice what he said. Take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> so he know that he's not really truthful. That's why he said, take it with a grain of salt. He's telling on himself. So remember this video. Save this video if you loved it. Okay, if you love this video, make sure you save this video in your archives so you can come back and watch it later. Okay, make sure you share this video with somebody today. Somebody you think that need to hear this message. Just simply just click that share button at the bottom and share this video with them. All right. Also, y'all know it's the end of the year. So I always like to do like little bargains and little discounts or whatever. So I'm going to discount on all my courses. If you need a course like the Money Vortex course and you want to make money in 2022, the chosen one way through energy and through thoughts and stuff like that. So the chosen Vortex money making course, that's what you're selling to people. That's what you're selling to people. How to make money through energy. People, if y'all can't see, something wrong with you. And you don't want to have to work for it. Meaning you don't have to work for money. All you got to do is get his course through the Vortex and you can make money without without working. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Hit that link below that says Money Vortex course. It, it got a coupon with it. I created a coupon. You can use that coupon right now up until Christmas. This is what charlatans do. They sell you courses. They use the prosperity gospel. Notice. Did he say he's selling you something to get you to the most high? No, it's how to make money. <laughs> All right, so click that link right now if you want to earn more money in 2022 using Big Brother's philosophies, okay? Just the term vortex should make you know where he's going with this. What's up, man? It's your big bro trend, man. <laughs> I'm tripping right now. <laughs> bro, I be tripping, man, listen. I'm going to go ahead and say it for y'all. For y'all people out there who are so entertained off of drama, I'm going to give you a dose of your medicine that you need. I'm going to give you a fix, okay? Because obviously, it's like dealing with spiritual crackheads at this point. You feel me? Like, people is really in line to see a spiritual fight between people. Like, where did it... How did it get to a point where people that's supposed to be uplifting and encouraging people start hating on each other? How? Do you see what he's doing here? Now he's trying to twist everything around as if though anybody that critique him is hating him and that is some sort of spiritual fight. No, he's fighting against God. God, the most high Yah, sent his messengers to test his spirit. Me and New Breed. And we're testing the spirit, and we can clearly see that this guy is a false prophet. False teacher, straight up. If this man was true, it would resonate with us brothers, and we'll be like, okay, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I need to check what I said. Okay, boom. All right. And we'll correct that. But based on my findings, this man is a charlatan, a false prophet, straight up. You know what I mean? So he made this video in response to New Breed, and basically started crying that like if he's being attacked, like like if he 
is being bullied on social media when all we're doing is trying to warn the people that if you are in the faith as a believer who followed a Messiah, that followed the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, we're supposed to be following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And if this if this brother right here claimed to be a chosen one, then he should uh, he should be practicing the very uh, you know nature of the Most High in terms of what chosen men and women should be uh, pretty much accomplishing in today's day. You know, like if you're a woman in the truth, you should be teaching other women how to be keepers of the home, how to be wives, how to be submissive to their husbands, how to do this, how to do that. This is what women should be doing. You should be teaching sisters to keep their legs closed, to be chaste. We should have women in the truth teaching other young ladies how to cook, how to cook dinner, how to prepare different meals. We don't even have that. There is no women on social media teaching women how to cook on a daily basis. None. But yet women want to be wives one day. I don't see that ever happening for you because you don't even know how to cook. The men of the Lord are supposed to be teaching brothers and sisters to repent of their sins. He don't teach that. So because of this, he is triggered by the fact that we're waking the people up by doing the actual work he should have been done. And he know by new breed making videos, as well as me, it's definitely going to get the attention of his audience now. See, I'm calling names. I'm not with none of that stuff about I'm not calling your name. I'm calling your name. Because in the Bible, when the Messiah spoke to demons, when the Messiah spoke to anybody, he called them by their name. That's how you deal with the spirit behind the demon. You have to call the name. And in order for viewers to know who we're talking about, then I must tap into Trend's algorithm. And his algorithm is normally people that might be pretty much searching for his content. So when they search for his content, they're going to find my content. And they're going to wonder, why did this guy make a video? Let me see. Is Trend a chosen one sent by the Most High or a false prophet? That's going to raise curiosity. And they're going to want to know, is this man really sent from the Most High? And they're going to click on my video. This is why it's very important to have names because how else are people going to find the truth? Just a simple question. I need to make sure that there is content where we can verify if this brother is actually a minister of the Most High or a minister of the devil. It's just that simple. There is nothing wrong with that. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says to test all things, to test the spirit, to prove all things, whether they be of God or not. It says to judge righteous judgment. Let's go. Why well, did it get to a point where people like that start hating on each other, bro? Like, bro, as long as I've been doing YouTube for eight years, bro, I ain't never, I ain't never talked about nobody, bro, at all. I ain't, why? What I because you're not sent of the Lord. If you were sent of the Lord, bro, you would have been talked about other people because your job as a minister of truth would be to call out the false doctrine. It would be to rebuke, urge, and correct. It would be to call out the false prophets, the false ministers. By the pure fact that you said you've been doing this for eight years and you ain't calling nobody out, that's more proof that you a false prophet. That's more proof right there. You mean to tell me for eight years you've been on the job and you ain't have not one battle yet? You ain't have not one battle with the demons and the devils yet? That's crazy, man. I need to do that for. Why should I come out my character and start talking about another content creator? That ain't paying my bills. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with my bread. Nothing to do with his bread. Nothing to do with his bread, fam. So you see what it's all about now. It's about the money. It's about the money, y'all. This is crazy, man. This is absolutely crazy, fam. Wow. Absolutely amazing. 
So this man never called anybody out, never exposed a false teacher because it's not about that. It's about making money. And when you're focusing only on money, you don't want to disturb the peace. You don't want to disturb nobody. You don't want to ruffle no feathers because your focus is just making the money. That's it. That's all you care about. You don't care about the people. I'm 100% sure, fam. This man have no love for his viewers. Because if he did, he would be teaching them to follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Didn't the Bible says that this is a true saying, a new commandment, that you are to love one another? Because when men see that, they'll know that you're of me. He's not teaching the law, statutes, and commandments. That's how you know he don't love his audience. Let's go. And my butter. I ain't never had to do it. Why? That's not, that's not my place. I stay in my lane. Wow, wow, wow. But unfortunately, some people don't see things like that. And half of y'all out there, y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself, literally. Notice he disrespected his own audience, fam. <laughs> he disrespected his own audience by saying that y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Y'all, some of y'all out there, y'all call yourself godly people and stuff, spiritual people. Y'all, some of y'all is the devil, bro. Some of y'all is just carrying evil, toxic spirits, and you think you so holy, and you really not. No, the truth is, bro, you're not holy. <laughs> you're not holy. Because if you were, you would follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. You're disrespecting your audience because you got people calling you out and you don't like it. Because you never had any sort of conflict. You never been on the battlefield as a soldier of the Most High. The Most High didn't even call you into his army. You're not even... You're not even supposed to be on the battlefield right now. You're literally, you're literally encountering real men of the Lord right now. I don't think, I don't think you realize what's going on. You're really, right now, in your hearing, encountering real men of the Lord right now. Real biblical teachers that teach the truth with integrity and righteousness. Men of the Lord that been doing this for a very long time. You're not dealing with no novice right now, fam. You're misleading people, teaching them doctrines of devils. You're not teaching them, thus say of the Lord. And that's why you're upset with New Breed, because you figure, oh, he's talking about me. And you're trying to play the victim as if though he did something bad to you. Nobody did nothing to you. You're the one doing the evil. But you can't see it because you're so proud and prideful. You can't see the errors of your way because you don't read the Bible. The only thing you read is money, and that's your downfall right there. You encouraging hate. You encouraging division. Division is allowed in the Bible. Let's find it in the scriptures, fam. Let's find, let's find this, this, uh, division. <laughs> let's see if we could go get this, fam. Let's see if we can get this, fam. Let's find some of this division, man. Let's see if we can find this. Uh. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. <laughs> Let's see if we could find this. Because he said that, um,. We're promoting division and, you know, all this other mess. Let's see what the Bible says. I want to see. Maybe he's right. You know, maybe he's right. Maybe we're promoting division. Let's see. Let's see. You know, I'm going to go to the book. I'm not afraid of any conflict. I'm not afraid of nothing. Any of these YouTubers step up to the plate trying to challenge me with anything regarding these this, this scriptures, they're going to be literally uh, put to shame. Because I'm going to I'm going to embarrass you with the word of the Most High. You're not talking to no novice. I've been doing this since 2006. And for whatever reason, people love to come out of the woodworks every now and then and act like they're some sort of scholar, some sort of teacher of truth. No. It don't work like that. Uh, let's see. 
All right, let me just get this, put this on the screen here. Um, that's a good, good point you made. Let me see. He blocking his eyes. He's blocking his eyes. He don't uh, got no vision. Well, actually, he don't want you to see the anger. The anger is already there. We could see it displayed in his character and how he moved. But what he's really trying to hide is the evil that's in his heart. Because the eye is a gateway to the soul. That's why a lot of celebrities, they could be in a dark room and they're wearing dark shades. You're wondering how in the world they see. Right? Find out what the Bible says. You know? Before we do that, let's rewind it back. All right? Let's rewind it back. Because we want to be fair. He said separation. Right? Let's see. Y'all yeah, ought to be ashamed of yourself. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. Literally. Y'all, some of y'all out there, y'all call yourself godly people and stuff, spiritual people. Y'all, some of y'all is the devil, bro. Some of y'all is just carrying evil, toxic spirits, and you think you so holy, and you really not. You encouraging hate. You encouraging division. Okay. He said we're encouraging the division. The Bible can encourage division. Let's find out what the Bible says. Let's find out what the Bible says. Second Corinthians chapter... 6 verse 15 to 18 uh and what concord has belial has christ with belial or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel and what agreement have the temple of god with idols for ye are the temple of the living god and as god hath said i will dwell in them and walk in them and i will be their god they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord. The Bible says to come out from among them and be ye separate. Sounds like the vision to me. What say you? He said that we're promoting division. What did the Bible just say? The Bible said to come out from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And I will be your father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. So why he's going around saying that we're promoting division? This doesn't make no sense. He also said that we're promoting hate. That's a, that's a lie. What hate did we promote? We ain't promote no hate. Let me see. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. All right. Hold on a second. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I didn't even realize the time, fam. Wow. Wife sent me a message asking for money. What you talking about, Willis? Hold on. Let me see what we got. Uh, she probably like, why are you telling them for? <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Hold on a second. I got to send some cash. All right? All right, let's see what we got. All righty, all righty. Okay. All right, took care of that. All right, now, uh, where were we? So, we were talking about the scriptures where the Most High is literally telling us to be separate, which is division. We have to separate from the unclean. But for some reason, he don't know that because he don't read the Bible. He also said that we're promoting hate which is not true because we don't promote hate. If anything, the only hate that we would pro pro uh, promote is the hate against uh, evil. I hate evil, evil doers. Yes, I definitely would hate that. Anything that's evil, anything that is uh, unrighteous, yes, my job is to hate that. Why would I love that which is evil? All right? But promoting hate 
by simply critiquing his content. No, we're not doing that. So you got to find another way of um, figuring this out. You know? I don't have time for that. I understand all the scriptures about there's a time in this for a season. I don't got time to read that. That has nothing to do with the context of what I'm teaching right here. If others want to read that, that's their prerogative. What I'm teaching here has nothing to do with that. Respectfully. Has nothing to do with that. Because if you understood what that mean, there's a specific time for that. There is no hate in reviewing somebody's content to prove whether or not they be true or false. That has nothing to do with hate. That have to do with video analysis and reviews. When someone is given a review, it has nothing to do with hate. They have to do with what they think of a certain situation. Now, that being said, uh, let's get back to the tape. You encouraging people to, to be mad. Some Who encouraged people to be mad? No, you're mad. How could he encourage people to be mad? No, you're mad that he's teaching the truth. That's what you're mad about. You're mad that he's showing people the truth and you know they're going to question you. That's what you're afraid of. Has nothing to do with he is encouraging people. No, he's not doing anything. You're the one who's upset. People hit me up. Y'all, people hit me up. You know your seconds I said this about you. People hitting you up because you're a teacher and they want to know if you're misleading them. That's all. Why are you crying about that? You always said that people going to hit you up for consultations and for your course, but you don't want to hear people hit you up regarding your belief system? Come on, man. You're a fraud. You're a fraud. You don't got no problem if 100 people hit you up to buy a course. You don't got a problem with 100 people hitting you up because they want a one-on-one -on -one session. But if people hitting you up, questioning you about your faith and your teachings, all of a sudden it's a problem? I don't think nobody hit you up, bro. I don't think anybody's hitting you up. Grown me. You know what I said about them? How you gonna respond, friend? You know do you see the feminine energy? <laughs> Are you seeing that for yourself? Trying to show y'all, fam. Check it out. Uh, y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. Literally. Y'all, some of y'all out there, y'all call yourself godly people and stuff, spiritual people. Y'all, some of y'all is the devil, bro. Some of y'all is just carrying evil, toxic spirits, and you think you so holy, and you really not. You encouraging hate. You encouraging division. You encouraging people to, to be mad. Some people hit me up. Y'all, people hit me up. You know, you said this, I said this about you. Grown men. You know, said this, I said this about them. How you gonna respond, friend? Like, bro, y'all like kids. Like, what? Fam, you talking about people being kids and you a grown man running a YouTube, bro? You know how bad that look, fam? You know how bad it look as a grown man. And I don't know how old you is, bro. I'm 46. I'm a grown man with a family. For you to make a video saying you running a YouTube, to, to report a man because he's critiquing you. That's weakness, bro. There's no way around that, fam. That means you talk to the police. That means you the type of brother that would snitch on a man. That's crazy, fam. You're supposed to be showing strength. You're supposed to be showing leadership qualities. That right there is a bad look. Any woman that listens to that video of you saying you running a YouTube to snitch on New Breed, that's weakness, fam. You should never do that as a man. If a brother critique you, you post to make a video and talk about what the brother is criticizing you for. And let's see you hash that out like a man. If you're supposed to be a chosen one and you got all this power that you claim you have, Surely you should be able to hold your own, right? Since you get downloads from the spirit, right? Since you're being led by a force, surely you should have this information, right? Come on now. I don't think you got any spirit in you, bro, because I never ran the YouTube for nobody. Never. In the history of YouTube, 
I don't care if anybody talk about me. That's YouTube. That's that, that's what people do. You know what I mean? I mean, you talk about people. You tell your people who watch you, chosen one, you know, people going to do this and people going to do that. People going to do this and people going to... You, you constantly talk about people. So why it's okay for you to talk about people and what people going to do, but when somebody's actually talking about you, you cry wolf. Explain that. You're supposed to be a soldier. But you're not acting like a soldier, bro. In a sitcom or something. Like like y'all at the Oprah show. It's crazy. Oh, and I'm a, but honestly, bro, I don't, I don't even... Who is this dude's name? Y'all had to tell me. Y'all had to tell me on who he was. I had to go look it up. My, I didn't even know this cat, bro. I'm riding in the... I'm riding on the highway... Taking my girl to the airport. <laughs> Taking your girl to the airport? <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? I don't believe that. The way you carrying yourself, bro, I doubt you did that, bro. I don't believe you did that. Well, let's go. I get a message on my phone talking about Trend. On, on my phone, somebody on my Instagram, hit me on my Instagram and my TikTok. Trend, trend. Somebody trying to trend, trend. Like, bro, I'm not on I'm not even worried about no other man. Like, bro, what a why 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 be worried about? If you're not worrying, why you made a video? <laughs> if you're not worrying, why you made a video to respond? Of course you worrying. We got you shook, bro. <laughs> yeah, in your car. Crying. Grown man. What the other man for? What's his name? Oh. This dude look like Raz B, bro. <laughs> it's Raz B's brother, man. Let's go even know this dude name notice 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 how he's acting like he don't know who new breed is he's literally acting like he don't know who new breed is he's like i don't even know this dude's name you know good and well what his name is you know good and well what his name is fam you don't want to utter his name because you don't want your viewers to go to new breed's channel because that been your goal the whole time. You don't want your viewers to know the source of where you get the material from. They're gonna know now. And they're gonna send you a lot of messages to question your beliefs. But like, I guess somebody talking about me. I don't even know dude. I don't know dude. I never talked to him in person. I never talked to him on the phone. He ain't never reached out to me by email. He ain't never came to me personally and said nothing that he's telling so-called y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea why dude is mad at me. I don't know. I have done no business with dude. I don't know. I guess this be, I guess dude just like my name or something. I don't know. You like my name. I, you know, I, I can't stop people from liking my content, but obviously, obviously, obviously he watched my content, I guess, because I ain't never watched this shit until now, but I don't know, man, it's just childish, it feel like, I feel like I'm doing, I feel like I'm vibrating on a low frequency right now trying to tell y'all this topic, because I know y'all probably listening, like, yeah, it's true, talk about it, talk about it. Now he's talking about he's vibrating on a low frequency by addressing the situation. That's crazy. Why talk about it? You taught your audience to ignore haters. So why you even made a video? Because you know it's affecting you. So clearly right here we can see that the things you teach people in terms of chosen one messages, you don't even follow your own advice. You don't even follow your own advice. Because clearly, you making that video mean that you're nervous and you're concerned 
that people are going to start watching a new breed and learn the truth about who you really are. Because I know you watch the brothers in the truth because that's where you get your talking points from. Now you're going to have to find a new skit. Now your audience are going to come on over here. They're going to watch my video. They're going to watch new breeds video and they're going to go back to you and they're going to be like, hold up, hold up. You really are not in this truth. And then they're going to leave. Watch and see. Come on, grow up. Grow up. Y'all ain't even on y'all. Y'all claiming to be, like I said, some of y'all claim y'all so spiritual. And y'all sitting back watching some controversy. Y'all want to see problems get started. And people, man, we supposed to be helping each other. We supposed to be motivating people and, and, and inspiring people. Motivating and inspiring? No. You're supposed to be teaching people the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. You're supposed to be teaching people to repent of their sins. Not motivating them in their sins. Not inspiring them in their sins. Not making them feel good. Your job is to teach them thus say of the Most High. And you're not doing that. Instead, you're profiting off the people. That's the problem that's going on right now, fam. That's my ring camera alarm going off. You already done know what it is. <laughs> he's, he's not even doing the work of the ministry, bro. This is crazy, man. He's making it seem like, like we out here beefing or something. Like this is some sort of like, like some sort of fight. No, this is about reviewing content to see if, if he's in the faith. That's what this is about. He's scared he's going to lose his money. Yeah, he should have just kept quiet. He don't realize who he's dealing with. You're dealing with men of the Lord now. It's crazy. Let's go. When did it turn into, I'm mad at you because you inspiring people. I'm mad at you because you motivating people. Like, bro, come on, this ain't them basketball. Like, it's crazy. What the world coming to, bro? It's crazy, bro. Christian people out there debating with scriptures. Like, come on, grow up. So hold up. So if people debate with scriptures, they need to grow up? Are y'all not seeing this? So basically what he's saying is you're not supposed to use the Bible to find out if something is true or false. So how do you know what's right from wrong? Come on, man. This makes no sense, man. And to all the folks that come over here to troll, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time coming in here with no dumb stuff about this and that, and you over here watching the content. Like, don't play yourself. If you come over here, it's because obviously you want to hear what's going on. So if something in the content you don't like, leave. What's the point of being here? What's the point of being here? You're not out here doing this work. The most high didn't call you. So leave. And this is the problem with people. Anytime the men of the Lord stand up to execute judgment, or the correct error, here come people talking about, oh, we shouldn't do this. Judge not lest you be judged. Oh, you're a hater. It's like people love a feel-good message. That's what they love. Feel-good messages. Putting scriptures on my, my videos and comments. Trent, you ain't right. Look at this scripture. Like... <laughs> you know what's so crazy, man? Hold on a second, fam. I got to find this scripture, man. Ah, oh, man. Let me see. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I got to get my thoughts right. Um, trying to find a particular verse of scripture that's in my mind right now. Um, is it the book of Proverbs? It's not the book of Proverbs. Found it. Good. 
Found it, found it, found it. Yes. Man, this is good, bro. This is good. You in trouble now. You in trouble now. Okay. Watch this. Let's get the scriptures. Wow. Reason why I'm saying this is because I think I seen New Breed in the comments. He said, uh, he said the scriptures cut him down. Right. The scriptures cut him down. But as soon as you said that, another scripture popped in my mind, which is this. Let's bring it out. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 11 to 13. Let us labor. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into the re that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. That's where trend is. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Do you see that? The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Man! That's the word of Yah. Neither is there any creature that is not manifested in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. That's why Tren hate the men of the Lord. Because we use the scriptures we use the word of the Most High, which cut deep. It's a discerner of thoughts and the intents of the heart. It pierces the soul. That's why he fear the men of Yah. Because we know the truth. That's why you see him grinning and smiling. Because he hate the children of God. That's why. Let's get back to the tapes. Let's go. I sound like kids, man. I sound like toddlers just telling on each other in class. Mr. Matthews, he, he, ain't, he ain't working, boss. Boss, he ain't working. Look, look, y'all. This is how y'all know train ain't working. Look, y'all. By, by the pure fact he's trying to make a joke, it's just proof that he's not taking this matter serious. It's nothing funny here, bro. Serious business. You claim to be spiritual, but clearly you carnal. There's no knowledge in you, bro. The truth is not in you. Look, he did this today. He did that today. Y'all don't believe in him. Like, bro, y'all, bro, I swear, bro, I don't know what's wrong with this shit, man. Y'all some bots, bro. I don't even be have time to think about this type of stuff. Like, I'm not even thinking about no negativity, bro. I'm always focused on positivity. I'm always doing my own thing. We're focused on positivity over here. You're focused on negativity. This is what happens when a novice tried to act like he's the chosen one. When real men of the Lord come out, I mean, I'm over here just teaching, eating pretzels. You know why? Because I know the Bible from cover to cover. I challenge any of these false prophets to step into the ring, step into the lion's den and try to debate. I'm going to destroy you with this truth. Do you understand me? So don't even waste your time. This guy's a false prophet. And focus on me, bro. I'm always focused on me, bro. Like Notice he's always focused on him. He's not focusing on the people. He's focused on him. He's full of himself, y'all. You can't see pride. You can't see selfishness. You can't see the ego. It's all about him. It's not about you, the people. Fam, when I do my content, I do it for the people. I've been streaming now. Five hours and 23 minutes. Five hours and 23 minutes of nothing but truth. 
Why? So you got one video that can edify you about everything regarding him. This video is going to save souls from the grips of the devil. Anybody that watch his content is going to find this video and they're going to view it and they're going to view all of it. And the more they view, the more they're going to see and they're going to leave his ministry. No different than when I exposed all of the false prophets, all of the Creflo dollars and Benny sins and all of those guys and people left the churches. Hey, to, so to maintain my stability and make sure that I can keep myself afloat and keep the keep him, keep himself afloat. Did you catch that? He want to keep himself afloat because he's concerned about losing something. I'm telling you, man. People that listen to my my way of putting things, keeping them in order. Wow, his way of doing things. His way, not God's way. His way. Like, what y'all think we live in? A, a, a Photoshop world? Y'all think everybody's supposed to be the same? Every teacher's supposed to be the same? No, the way my philosophy, the way I teach is different. He just said his philosophy, the way he teaches different. He's not even teaching from the Bible. He's not teaching from the Bible, fam. So why are all you Jesus followers, why are all you Bible believers listening to a man that don't even teach you from the Bible? What are you doing? Let's go. It's that simple. If you don't like what I teach or how I teach, why are you mad at my teaching? At my because you're leading people astray. You're leading people astray. And it's my job as a biblical-based Israelite to call it out. That's what the Bible says to do. It says to mark them that cause divisions, right? That teach things which they ought not. Because you're doing it for filthy lucre. You're not saving souls. So the people need to know who you are. The hustle is up, bro. The hustle is up. Find something else. Because the more you do that talking point of chosen one, we're going to be over here making content, making the people understand that anybody they see doing that are misleading them. Because you're not leading them into the truth. You're not teaching them the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. You're brainwashing these people with sorcery. And that's wrong. My teaching routine. Why? How can you be mad at the way somebody else is teaching? Are y'all not seeing that? How can you be mad at the way somebody else is teaching when the man is constantly acting like he a follower of the Most High, masquerading himself as a chosen one, speaking countlessly about various topics that he don't even know about? He don't even read the Bible. He admitted to not reading the Bible. How could he teach you biblical-based topics and he don't read the book? So what? It's not your cup of tea. So what? Basically what he's saying is go away, leave me alone. Go away, let me continue to mislead people. I don't want to be held accountable. I don't want nobody that's smarter than me to, to hold me accountable. I don't, I don't want nobody to, to correct me. I want to be a teacher. I'm above reproach. Nobody could correct me. That's what he's saying right there. Damn. It's crazy. This is madness, man. You know what's madness is that you're driving. That's madness. What's madness is you're on the road in traffic, driving and going crazy in your car, looking at a camera when you should be looking at the road. That's exactly how you are when you teach. When you teach, you're not looking at the word of the most high. Your eyes is not on God. Your eyes is on other things. And that's how we know that you're a fraud. You're false, bro. This is some boo-boo gaga stuff. This is what women do, bro. So then why are you doing it? I mean, for you to say that's what women do, when all throughout all the video clips, it was very clear that you was giving off feminine energy, you're not in a position to talk about what women would do. Real spit, fam. Now he's using, now he's using shaming language by saying, Men who try to correct other men are acting like women. <laughs> That's what he's doing. He's basically trying to shame us by saying when you try to correct other people, it's now looked upon as you're acting like a woman. So he don't believe in correcting one another. Let's find out what the Bible says. Let's find out what the Bible says. Let's go. 
right? Let's find out what the Bible says. I want to see if the Bible says that. Let's see. Okay. I want to see if the Bible say that. All right? Because he said that we acting like women. So I want to see if the Bible says the same thing. Because maybe he's right, right? Maybe he's right. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm open for correction. But let's see what the Bible says first. Let's see what the Bible says, because if we can find out what the Bible says, then we can determine who's right and who's wrong. Let's see what it says in the Bible. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 20 says, Them that sin rebuke before all that others may fear. Bible says, them that sin rebuke before all. I think I'm doing that right now throughout this, this live stream. I'm rebuking you before all that others may also fear. Fear what? The most high. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. He is publishing a gimmick by using chosen one just to profit. You don't care about nobody's soul. I'm a grown man. Oh, women gossip, bro. Gossip? Gossip is defined as talks or communications that have not been confirmed as being true. That's gossip. Gossip is defined as people talking about something that have not been confirmed as being a fact. All throughout this live stream, I've been reviewing your videos, showing what you said, which are facts. And I compared it to what the Bible says. How is that gossip? This guy is a novice in the faith. He's not even supposed to be teaching. He, don't, he shouldn't even own a microphone. Nothing. He's leading people astray. Literally. I don't gossip about nobody, bro. I don't talk about nobody for what? I'm a whole grown man. So why are you making content? Why are you making videos? Why are you crying? Why don't you just continue making your chosen one content while the brothers in the truth will continue to expose you? Why are you even speaking? See? Can't practice what you preach, right? These dudes on YouTube out here talking about me, bringing my name up, using my name for clout, okay. Using your name for clout. Fam, you don't got no clout. You don't got no clout? What clout you got, bro? You been on YouTube since 2006? You haven't been on YouTube since 2006, right? Because I've been. So why would anybody use your name for clout? That just goes to show that you're all about yourself. All about pride and fame. Clout. Keep talking. What is that doing for you? It's not doing nothing for you. You just look bad. Oh, I never look bad when I speak the truth. You're the one that's looking bad, bro. You're looking heavily bad. I never look good. I never look bad for speaking the truth. You're the one who's looking bad because we've uncovered the facts that you're not teaching the gospel. You're teaching Egyptology. You're teaching sorcery. You're teaching about reincarnation. Come on, fam. That's not the word of the most high. You're on a different frequency. Just confess to your audience that you don't believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Make them know that you worship many gods. Whoever talking, I don't know. That's crazy. How can another man talk about another man that he ain't even never met before? Nobody have to meet you in order to respond to the fact that you're leading people astray. You can tell this dude, I don't know, man, but this dude looked like like he never had no sort of conflict ever. Like he never had no sort of, like 
like no issues ever. That's how it looks. Like he never had no sort of conflict at all because he's crying too much right now. And I'm trying to figure out, we supposed to be grown men. If, if, if somebody call me out based on my teachings, I'm going to listen to what they got to say. And if what they say is true and I, and I did something wrong, then I'll, I'll correct it. But if what they say don't really affect what I'm doing, and it's like, ah, that person just talking crap. I'll just ignore them. But this guy, this guy is showing signs of fear, meaning he's concerned about other people waking up to the truth because the blinders are being pulled off their eyes. That's what he's afraid of. It's just like the Christian pastor. They don't want their congregation to know that people are talking about them on YouTube. They don't want that to happen because that means no tithes, no offerings, no memberships at the church. Ladies and gentlemen, YouTube has become a church now. Content creators have started churches right on YouTube. Just to get paid, bro. That's it. Again, there's nothing wrong with making money. But when you're misleading and deceiving people with lies, it's a problem. Come on, man. Grow up, y'all. God, man, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, man. Of course you don't know what to say. You can't say anything. Sad, man. It's, it's sad. But... No, it's sad that you claim that you're a leader, but you are not out leading the people when you're confronted by men of the Lord. Men of the Lord are calling you out, questioning your doctrine, so as a chosen one that you claim you are, you should be able to stand your ground like a man. You should be able to stand your ground like a man, step into the light and allow the truth to resonate. But you're not doing that. You run from the light. And even the Bible says that people like you flee. As soon as the righteous come out, you flee and run. Like I said, Again, man, that's why I told y'all, bro. It's a lot of people out here that want to motivate people, that want to help people, and all this and that. They can't even help people because you got people mad because they help people. Like, come on, man. Come on. You're not trying to help nobody, bro. You're trying to help your pockets. I don't sense no love in your heart for people. You found a hustle. You learned how to milk the system. It's been working for a while. Now the Lord is paying you a visit now because you've been using... His, his, his talking points, you've been using his lingo. You've been, you've been out here literally doing what false prophets been doing for a long time. Merchandising the people. Merchandising the people. I think there's a Bible verse about that. Merchandising the people. Let me see if I can pull that up. Let me see if I can pull it up. Let me see if I can pull that up. I know there's a scripture in there. Okay, yeah, there's scripture. There's Bible verse in there about that. I got it already. I got it already. I got it already. Let's get it. Let's get it. I got it already. Because that's exactly what he's doing. He's making merchandise of the children of Israel. He's making merchandise of the children of Israel. Let's bring it out. Let's bring it out. Second Peter chapter two, verse three, and through covetousness shall they with feign words, feigned words. Did you get that? With feign words. Listen, fam, this scripture right here, this Bible verse right here, this Bible verse right here says it all, man. This Bible verse right here says it all. It gives us everything we need to know about trend. <laughs> My goodness. Yo, this is brilliant. Let me put this on the screen also. Let me put this on the screen also. Hold on a second. Let me put this on the screen. Hold on, hold on. K 
Okay. Uh, let me see. I'm not even gonna put that on the screen. I'll just re read out the meaning. Uh, and through con covet um, covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. They pretend feigned words, simulated feigned words, fam. Do you understand? They manufactured. Do you understand? They, they manufactured these words, feigned words. They, they use their imagination. They pretend. They make up stuff as they go, words, and make merchandise of you. That's what, they're, that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. And through covetedness. Why? Because he want what other people have. He want riches. He want cars. He want money. He want jewelry. He want what he see others have. So by feigned words... Let's get that from the Amplified. Let's get that from the Amplified Bible. Let's see if there's more to that, fam. Now, we've been cooking for a long time. There's been a tremendous barbecue. There's been a tremendous barbecue, man. Watch this, fam. Watch how the Amplified Bible destroys him. I told you already, Tren. Once I make a video about you, it is over. I promise you it's over. The Most High has anointed me for this, fam. You don't know what you're dealing with right now. You are literally having an encounter right now. I am literally at work using my power right now. Watch this, fam. Watch the Amplified Bible. Watch this. 2 Peter 2, 3, Amplified Bible. And in their greed, they will exploit you with false arguments and twisted doctrine. Do you see that? And in their greed, they will exploit you with false arguments and twisted doctrine. Their sentence of condemnation, which God has decreed from a time long ago, is not idle, but is still in force. And their destruction and de deepening misery is not asleep, but is on its way. It's on its way. It's on its way. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is going to deal with you. This work is the work of the Most High. The scriptures that I read is the word of the Most High. This is coming from a real chosen one, a man of the Lord. Trend? Woe be unto you, for you have spoken boastfully, proud, arrogant, said many cunning, devilish things uttered from your tongue, you will eat every words you uttered. For the time is coming when all your viewers will know the truth and one by one they will exit. And what you have established, the God in whom you've created, the golden calf 
that you've created will be destroyed just like the golden calf in Egypt. Imagine that, ladies and gentlemen. They will exploit you with false arguments and twisted doctrine. That's exactly what he's doing. And it's all for filthy lucre's sake. It's all for filthy lucre's sake. He have no love for the people. He have no love for the people. Oh, man. Look at the world we live in nowadays. And like I say, man. The world we live in has always been the same. Nobody's talking about that. We're talking about you be the same people going around claiming God did. I told y'all, bro, these people that claiming, these people that's running around talking about the, how they know it and they holy and the doubt. Do you see that? This Remember we showed you the video clip where he was talking about Hebrew this and how we're not the chosen one? Okay, now you see him confirming it right there. Now he's saying, remember when I was telling you about these people who do this and do that, how they're not true? It's because his job is he's sent by the devil to try to make you not listen to the true chosen men of the most high that's what he's doing right there these people is they they the real wolves in the sheep's clothing bro no you're the real wolf in the sheep's clothing you're the wolf in the sheep's clothing you've been exposed bro there's no way around this you got to find a new career you could continue to do that chosen one nonsense but it's not going to work from here forward because people are going to know about you and we will continue to make content where we make the people understand that when you hear content about chosen ones, be mindful that if they're not teaching you thus and so and so and so, then they're not true. And we know you don't know the Bible and you don't read the Bible. So don't try to act like you're teaching them the law, statutes, and commandments now because it's not going to work. Because it's already clear that you believe in reincarnation. It's already clear that you said we're reincarnated angels and gods. How could we be reincarnated gods? How could we be reincarnated gods? if we're supposed to be serving the most high and he is the only God. How could we say, how could you utter those words? That's, that's blasphemy to say that we are reincarnated pharaohs and Egyptians. Are you kidding me? This is what he said, y'all. Again, we've been streaming now for five hours and 46 minutes. Nothing but truth all throughout this live show. They do it. They, they love it, bro. They thrive off of, of that type of energy, bro. I don't. I'm a positive being, like, period. You got people on here talking about me, trying to bully me and cyber bully me and stuff like that. Okay, well, if that's the case, we're going to have we're gonna have Google to, to, to look at it. Notice he said that New Breed is cyber bullying him. When have given commentary and criticism become cyber bullying? To be cyber bully mean that you're making threats. It means that you're using intimidation. And this is typically what people do to kids. You're a grown man and you're suggesting that somebody's cyberbullying you by doing a reaction about your video. That's crazy. You're crying like a baby at this point. I can't respect a man that would resort that low to say that other grown men are cyberbullying him. Fam, I'm 46 years old. I have no reason to do that. That's just dumb. Especially when I have a platform and I understand the terms of service. You're just upset because you cannot com combat the truth that's being shared. That's what's bothering you at this point. Because I don't talk about nobody. And I don't go back and forth on the internet. I don't go back and forth with internet thugs and stuff like that. I don't do that. Why are you calling people thugs? Why? Are you Notice he's calling us thugs, guys. He's calling family men, men with kids. He's calling us thugs. He's calling us thugs. He's actually projecting his own lifestyle onto us. I just go tell, I just go holler at Google and let Google do their investigations on it. And let's see what Google think about it. How about that? So hold up. As a man who claims he's a chosen one, you going to Google to snitch on New Breed? Ladies, do you respect a man that do that? Let's start a poll. We got to find out from the ladies, man. Let's find out from the ladies. Let me see. Start a poll. Find out what, what's going on. Uh, let me see. 
Is Tren a strong leader for running to Google? Right? I want, I want, uh, I, you know, it's so funny. I don't even know if all the ladies are going to pretty much vote because some of you guys might try to vote for them. I really just want ladies to vote. You know what I mean? But to the ladies and, and don't vote for them, guys. Like, let's be fair. I don't want none of you men voting. Right. Don't click the don't click nothing, fam. Let women do this. To the ladies only. After listening to Trend. Talk about he's going to go to YouTube and Google to snitch on New Breed because New Breed criticized him. And he's crying that he's being bullied and attacked. Is Tren a strong leader for running to Google? Yes or no? Ladies only. Not you guys. Ladies only. Only ladies, only ladies. None of you guys should be clicking anything because women will never respect a man that do that. A woman want a man that's going to stand his ground. You would never see me crying like that because somebody's talking about me. People talk about me all the time. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy, man. Got 11 votes. Uh, 8% says yes. Uh, 92% says no. Got 14 votes. And again, only ladies, only ladies should be voting, not you guys. Only women. Only women. If you're a woman and you're viewing, do you think that Tren is a strong leader? for running to Google because men are critiquing his ideology. Do you find that attractive that a man that claim he's a chosen one would run to Google to give a false report about other men? Do you find that to be leadership qualities? I'm telling you, man. I don't know what else to say about that, man. This is this is absolutely crazy. At the end of the day, it's crazy. Let's get back to the tape. Let's go. Cause I ain't I don't really get into the drama, bro. You feel me? But if somebody taking if like y'all said, if somebody taking my content and they using it to to attack me. Nobody's using your content to attack you, fam. Grow up. You sound like a crybaby, bro. How old are you, bro? How you on YouTube and you're talking about somebody taking your content? Fair use, bro. Fair use. How you a content creator with 200,000 subs and you don't know what fair use mean? You don't know what commentary and criticism mean? That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. It's a cyber bully me and stuff like that. Okay, well, guess what? Okay. Okay, well, guess what? We can go to Google. We, we got Google. We got, we're going to go to Google on it. So you going to Google. Well, we gonna go to, it sounds like you saying you're gonna go get your, your team. You're gonna go get your boys from the hood. <laughs> you're gonna go to Google? Bro, I don't know, man. If ladies, if you find this to be attractive, I don't know. Maybe it ladies, you gotta think about what I'm saying. Is that the kind of guy you want leading you? <laughs> that as soon as something go down, he's like. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna go call I'm gonna go call my cousin. <laughs> you gonna go call your cousin? You right here? Why don't you do something? Well, I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> That's crazy, man. We gonna go to Google on it and we are gonna see if it's true or not. Cause I don't know if it's true. We are gonna let Google find out if it's true or not. What do you mean if it's true or not? What are you talking about? This is crazy, bro. <laughs> man, I would have took that video down, bro. That video right there, I would have took down. I would never want my audience to hear me display weakness like that.
I would have took that down. And they'll tell, they'll, they'll prove and they'll see what's right and what's wrong. It'll be see, they'll see what's fit for it. Cause I ain't got time for it. I get paid way too much money uh -oh. to be going back and forth. On he get paid way too much money. You see what I'm saying? It's way, it's all about the money, y'all. It's internet with internet thugs and stuff like that. I don't got time for that, bro. But we gonna, we gonna holler at Google. We gonna holler at Google. Yes, we gonna holler at Google. Okay. Bro, if you think that makes somebody fearful, go to Google and talk all you want to talk. Google is going to tell you that as content creators, you have the right to critique people, review their videos, do commentary and criticism, reviews, video analysis, and so on and so forth. All of us have been following the guidelines, following the rules. Nobody's cyberbullying you. Nobody's hating you. Nobody did anything to you. We haven't uh, said anything that's out of pocket. We're reviewing your videos, your content, and we're weighing it against the Bible. Why are you crying? That shows weakness. Your audience is looking at you as a weak man. If you're truly chosen and you talked about all that power you got, where is it? Where's the power? Where's the bravery? All that talk about chosen one, all that talk about, oh, you in the universe, you can hear from the stars, you can hear from this, the ancestors, all of this energy, where is it? Where is it? This is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. I got to get that scripture, man. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find I'm hearing a scripture in my mind. Um, uh, where is that scripture, man? Trying to find a scripture. Da, 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 da. Um, where is that scripture? Oh, that's probably why I was looking in the wrong Bible section. Let me see. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. That's not it. That's not it. Okay. I think I know. Okay. All right. Here we go. Found it. Found it. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Don't you just love when you find the scriptures? Don't you just love when the Most High reveal a scripture to you and you get it? And then you, you, you're able to locate it? Okay. Um, this, is, this is what Trend does right now. This is what he's doing right now. Proverbs 28, 1. The wicked flee. When no man pursueth. But the righteous are bold as a lion. Wow. You see that? He flee. He flee when no man pursueth. But the righteous are bold as a lion. We stand firm. Brothers in the truth stand firm during battle. We don't run to Google and cry. We don't do that. That's crazy. I would be embarrassed if I did that, fam. I would literally be embarrassed. And that's what he did, fam. He went to Google to snitch to make up stories. And Google is going to literally ignore him because... That's exactly what happened when you file bogus claims. People over here doing content, reviewing your words. If you're truly a teacher, you got to be 
ready for public scrutiny. You got to understand what criticism is all about. Obviously, you're a novice in the face, faith, and the first sign of any sort of adversity, all of a sudden, you're ready to cry. Like somebody did harm to you or something. Like, this is crazy, bro. I don't think that this is for you. I really don't think this is for you. Because you're the type of person that will put out a book and it'll get bad reviews and you'll start crying because everybody's giving you bad reviews. You'll want to contact Amazon and be like, why y'all publishing all those bad reviews? It's messing up my sales. For a minute there, I thought my microphone was off. <laughs> I saw the chat moving so fast. I was like, hold up, wait a minute, is my mic on? You know, so he said he's going to run to Google to report, hey, run, run, run as fast as you can, bro. <laughs> Stuff not bothering me. That shows that you weak, bro. You just told us what we needed to know. Imagine, imagine this, bro. Two hundred and something thousand subs, and you're telling your people that you run into Google. Do you know how that make you look, bro? I wouldn't be surprised if the people in your comments actually call you out on that and be like, bro, why are you, why are you running to Google? when these guys didn't do anything to you. If you're such a chosen one and you're so powerful, why aren't you running to God? Why aren't you praying? Why aren't you doing what the Bible says to do? Because he don't know the Bible, fam. He don't know the Bible. At Super Villain, if you now join in the stream, we've been speaking on this topic for six hours. So I suggest you rewind back the video when it's done and view it from the top. We've been talking for six hours straight. Six hours. Let's go. Hey, and we're going to see who doing the cyber bullying and who doing the attacking and, and sending the negative. Uh, Ladies, if this is the guy or the kind of guy that you call chosen one that is strong and powerful, you're in trouble. Because at his first sign of criticism, he's accusing grown men of cyber bullying him. Off of what? How? Where, where, where the charge at? Because to do that, you have to be threatening somebody. We're not threatening nobody. We don't condone cyber, cy uh, listen, we don't condone cyber bullying on this platform. New breed. Don't condone cyberbullying. None of us condone any of that. And we know the community guidelines. We know what we can and can't do. We know if we're crossing the line. So for you to be making these false allegations, it's almost like you're trying to put a battery in your viewers back to do your dirty work. That's why in your community section, you told your audience to go and report New Breed's channel. That's evil. If you're one of his viewers, don't you dare do anything like that. That's evil. And you trying to do that to a real man of the Lord? There's consequences for that. Trust and believe that. Imagine another man is telling you, go and report somebody. How come he can't use his power of his influence to teach and lead? Why are you reporting people for? You trying to silence somebody for speaking the truth? Is that the game you want to play? Is that the game you really want to play? Because that's a bad game. Because when you got two brothers in the truth speaking this truth, it's not cool on your part. Because like I said, your audience is going to hear these videos and they're going to question your talking points. They're going to question your doctrine. And they're going to learn that you're really not repping the most high. So you got some explaining to do, fam. You could play the victim all you want, but as long as you pushing that chosen one doctrine, it ain't going to have no power no more because now the men of the Lord are speaking against it. Not against it as if though chosen ones from the Bible is bad, but what you're doing is bad. You made it into a gimmick. You made it into a merchandise. You're merchandising the people. You're doing this for filthy lucre. You're doing this for a YouTube check. You don't care about the people's souls. You're not winning souls. You're not teaching them to overcome sin. You don't have no content teaching people to overcome sin. Nothing. 
You're lying to the people. You're misleading women and you're misleading men. You're not doing anything to help these people. And that's sad, man. That's really sad. Real chosen ones focus on the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. They aren't out here teaching Egyptology. They ain't teaching reincarnation. That's not in the Bible. Toxic uh, threats or whatever to me. We gonna handle that. Nobody made no threats to you, bro. Time stamp and date. Show the video clips where New Breed threaten you. Show the video. Nobody threaten you. And this is why Google is gonna ignore everything you say. And you may even get in trouble for making false reports because they don't play with that. Don't make no false reports. That's dangerous. To the people out there, fam, if this is your leader, you need to stop following that. Because never follow a man that cannot stand on his own, bro. Never follow a man that claim he a chosen one. And when he's under public scrutiny, the first thing he want to do is cry. No. If you wrong, you wrong, bro. If you wrong, repent. But see, you can't. You know why? Because you don't teach repentance. So whatever. Okay. So I don't, you know, I, I'm legal with my stuff. I don't really. Notice he said he's legal with his stuff. Why? Because what he's saying is I'm not doing nothing illegal by misleading people. That's basically what he's saying. I'm not misleading people. I don't get into the, 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 I don't get into the ghetto stuff. I don't get into the ghetto stuff. I'm legal with this stuff. You feel me? And I ain't playing no games with my stuff over here. So if you think you're going to come over here and just try to like toy with me and play around with, with what I have built all over this time of these years, you got the wrong idea. Wow. Dog. You got the wrong idea. You better have your money together. You better have everything together because guess what? As soon as I holler at Google, as soon as I tell them, as soon as I show them, if y'all send me the information, it's like y'all been doing. As soon as I tell them and show them and they see the proof, it's going to be in the pudding. It's your big bro trend. I'll holler at you later, man. Peace. Wow. Are y'all seeing this, fam? This is what this particular guy is doing, fam. Misleading the people. Lying to the people. Making them believe that somehow, some way, he's providing knowledge and understanding. But yet, when put on the spot, for some reason, he cannot, he cannot respond. And this is very telling, fam. Very, very telling. Uh, let's see what we got here with these scriptures here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Let me do this real quick. For, uh, John chapter 10, verse 1 through 10 says, Verily I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. That's him. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him that porter open and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of a stranger. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what they what things they were which he spoke unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. You see that?
The Most High is giving us this truth this early morning. Let me continue reading these scriptures, break this thing down for you. Um, 1 Peter 2, 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him that have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. See, that's what happens when you're a true chosen one. The Most High call you out of darkness into the marvelous light. You have to repent. 2 Thessalonians 2.13 But if we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Acts twenty two fourteen, And he said, The God of our fathers have chosen thee, that thou shouldest know his will and see that just one and shouldest hear the voice of his mouth. See, we have to know his will. And in order to know his will, you have to know his word. If you don't know his word, you don't know him. Do you understand? It goes on and it says, Deuteronomy 14, 2. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. See, we are the chosen ones, the biblical Israelites. But is trend teaching that? No. Deuteronomy 6, 7, for thou art an holy people. See, everything is about being holy. Trent ain't teaching the people to be holy. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's what the Most High is saying, fam. This is serious. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Though therefore, thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Notice, teach others, teach others, right? Uh, let me see. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Da, 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 da. Okay. Tell her. Okay, hold on a second. Just give me a minute, guys. I'm communicating with my wife. All right, I may end, I may end up getting uh, interrupted again, but uh, let's get back to this. All right, okay, let's see where we at. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. okay, and the things that thou has heard of me, among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hard hardness. As a good soldier of Jesus Christ. See, as a, as a soldier, as a chosen one, right? You're a soldier of Jesus Christ. It says, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a, chose, a soldier. See, Trent is not a soldier of the Most High. He's, a, he's, he's been chosen by the devil to do the works of the devil. That's why when we teach this truth, he fight against it because it's not really in him to do this truth. It says, and if any man strive for mass masteries, yet is he not crowned, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully, right? The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord giveth thee understanding in all things. 
See, none of these Bible verses did Trent ever read in his life. He don't even know what these things mean because he's not with the Most High. He's not. John 6, 70, Jesus answered and said unto them, Have not I chosen the twelve, and one of you is a devil? See, the Messiah chosen the twelve disciples, but one of them was a devil. Which means, a lot of people that claim that they're chosen, there's going to be devils amongst us. There's going to be devils that will be amongst us claiming they're chosen. John 13, 18, I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen, but that the scriptures may be fulfilled that he that eateth bread with me have lifted up the heel against me. He's talking about Judas. He's talking about Judas because he ate the bread with him and got exposed as the devil. John 15, 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of my father in my name, he may give it to you. See, the fruit that we're supposed to be bringing forth is the fruit of righteousness. That's what we're supposed to be bringing forth. John 15, 19, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hateth you. And that's exactly where Trin is. Trin hate brothers in this truth. Trin hate men of the Lord. He hate us because we're not of the world. If we were of the world, the world would love their own. And that's just the truth. And this is really sad, fam. Let's see what else we got. Matthew 20, 16. So that the last shall be first and the first shall the first last for many are called and few are chosen. And that's the truth. Many are called, but few are chosen. Everybody is not a chosen one. If they were, they would be doing this work that I'm doing. We'll see five hour, six hour live streams every day from content creators if they were really chosen for this work. They're not. They're not. Matthew 22, 14, for many are called, but few are chosen. Chronicles, 1 Chronicles 16, 12, 14, it says, Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, his servants, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Do you see who the chosen ones are? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see who the chosen ones are? Now, this demon said the chosen ones are only 144,000 people. But what he didn't tell you is that the 144,000 people came from the 12 tribes of Israel. And the 12 tribes of Israel came out of the seed of Jacob. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Jacob had 12 sons, created the 12 tribes. We are all descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. And we are the chosen ones. The problem is we may be the chosen people of the Most High, but when the Bible talks about chosen ones, Trent is not speaking on that. We're supposed to be bringing forth fruits of righteousness. We're supposed to be obeying the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. He's not teaching that. He's teaching Egyptology. He's teaching reincarnation. He's teaching sorceries and spells and wearing of charms on his wrists. That's what he's teaching of. We're supposed to be obeying the laws of the Most High. We're supposed to be repentant of sin. We're supposed to be overcoming the fiery darts of the wicked one. The Bible says in 14, He is the Lord our God and his judgments are in all the earth. The seed of Jacob, his chosen ones. Trend don't teach this because Trend don't read the Bible. He don't read it. He don't. Anyway, that being said,
it is crystal clear that Trent is not a genius. He's a false teacher, a false prophet. I have committed six hours and 19 minutes to this live stream. If you view this video stream from the beginning to the end, you will learn the truth that Trent don't follow the Bible. He don't follow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He don't. He follow various gods, various false gods. He believe in the resurrection of so-called uh, uh, Egyptian gods. He said in his videos that chosen ones have been reincarnated as pharaohs and Egyptian people. The Egyptians were the enemies of the children of Israel. Why would the Most High turn his chosen people into Egyptians now? He said that we are angels, that we've been resurrected. When in the history of life did angels die and have been resurrected in human form? He's getting this from Buddhism, from Hinduism. They believe in stuff like that. You be the judge, ladies and gentlemen. You be the judge. Okay. Let me shout out these cash apps real quick. And then we're going to get up on out of here. I know y'all got to head on out to work, do y'all thing. Some of y'all probably already at work. You know what I mean? Shout out to all the people out there doing their thing. It is what it is. Um, hold on a second. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right, we're going to end just now. Let me shout out these cash apps real quick. Um, let me see. Shout out to Rallo. Hold on a second. Let me get this. All right. Shout out to Rallo for the $12 support. Rallo, salute to Rallo for the $12 support. Vern for the five. Um, let me see. Is that Daris? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it properly. Um, Daris? I'm probably messing up your name. My apologies if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. But uh, appreciate you for the $5 support. Said longtime subscriber. Shout out to Revolutionary Loss for the $5 support. Um, Tilmo for the 10. Tilmo for the 10. Uh, is this Shanta? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Shanta for the, for the five. Let me see. I don't know if I shouted out everybody here, but these are like older, older cash apps. Shout out to Rallo again for the $5 support. Hawa for the five. Anthony for the five. Um, Nairobi. For the twenty dollars support, V Dub Man. For the seventy, DeMarco. For the three dollars support, I think that's about it, fam. So hey, we're gonna get up on out of here. Um, appreciate everybody coming through. You know, what I mean, this is a good one. You know, very very good stream. Salute to the mods in the chat. Everybody that came to the building. Um, shout out to Ant. Ant for the for the $10 support. Salute to Ant. For the $10 support. Peace and blessings, man. All the people on the 9 to 5. All the brothers and sisters on the grind doing what you got to do. The truck drivers. The mechanics. You know what I mean? The security guards. Sanitation. All the sisters in the salons. All the people out there doing what they got to do. You know what I mean? Have a blessed day. Peace and blessings to all the brothers and sisters in Home Depot, Lowe's, all the home improvement stores, all the shopping centers, Macy's, everybody that's out there on the 9 to 5 grind, in the fast food joints, McDonald's, KFC, uh, White Castles, you name it. 
If you out there doing what you got to do to survive, salute to you. You know what I mean? Have a blessed day, all the Uber drivers, all the, all the Uber Eats workers, everybody out there that's doing what they got to do to survive. You know what I mean? You have a blessed day. Salute to all the workers for New York City Housing Authority, all the caretakers, all of the so-called heating plant technicians, all of the maintenance workers, the carpenters, all of the people out there doing what they got to do. Salute. We're going to catch you in the next stream. It is what it is. Y'all take care. Peace and blessings to the real chosen ones, the people out there repping the most high, the people that's keeping the commandments of the Lord. Salute to you. Always remember, the most high is one. Repent today and stay in this truth. And don't let no deceiver deceive you. Don't be deceived. Open your eyes. We out of here, fam. Y'all take care. We out of here. Peace and blessings. It is what it is. We out. If you like our content, consider supporting via Cash App at dollar sign Ringo TV Raw. Become a patron on Patreon.com for exclusive video content not shown on YouTube. You could also support through PayPal at paypal.me slash ringotvraw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new content. Follow me on Instagram at ringotvraw. This is Ringo TV Reactions. The only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth 100% raw. And uncut. I'm out. Peace.